Welcome. How you doing? Hey, welcome. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're doing pretty good, or at least decent, on this day of the year, January 10th. Hey, welcome. Uh, hope you're all doing good. Uh, we're gonna continue Papier Mario. So, hope that sounds good to you, because it sounds good to me. Uh, let me, hold on, let me put that and that, put that over there, and that over there. Bum, 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 bum. Um, itchy beard, though. Oh, my beard hurts. Sorry about that. That's good enough, right? Doing okay is good enough. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. It's okay to just be like, eh, you know. Uh, but yeah, we, we started this last time. We're basically almost done with the game, clearly, judging by this UI here. So, you know, we're gonna pick it back up and get back into it. Um... A terrible mood, I'm sorry to hear that, night. Hopefully watching a little Mario Sprite go, wahoo! Except he doesn't make noise. He looks surprised and jumps around. Six star stream, let's do it. Let's get it all done today. Um, and uh, hope you're doing, I'm doing good. Yeah, I, I got to uh, spend a little bit more time with Onsta yesterday because she's in town, uh, but she's heading back to Japan soon. Um, and watched a little bit of AGDQ last night because that's going on this week. Some very cool, fun runs yesterday. Watched, like, um, Ape Escape 2 and Frog Gun. I mean, I'll be honest, a lot of the reasons- I mean, I like GDQ a lot, uh, and I try to make time for it when it's on. Uh, I specifically wanted to watch last night because Nicole was on the, uh, the host mic. Nicole Goodnight. Friend of the stream, Nicole Goodnight. And someone donated and mentioned Hot Amos. And it was a nightmare, because <laughs> the GDQ chat was in shambles. It was rough. It was a rough time for us all. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was wild. Anyway, it was fun. Um, I saw some familiar names in the chat, and, uh, man, I should, I should dig up my tweet that I tweet, like, every GDQ of Leonardo DiCaprio in Once Upon a Time in, in Hollywood, when he's pointing at the screen. Because that's me whenever I see one of my emotes. Thank you. Not sorry. Was that you, Wire Mouse? I don't even remember who it was. That's your fault. What game? Uh, I think that might have been during Ape Escape 2. But Nicole was on the host for a whole block. Thank you for that. Do your two. Hey, Jesus, thank you. It's you. It was you. People must know the truth. No, I mean, the less people know about anything, the better. I'm anti facts and knowledge. I'm team none thoughts in all forms. You tell me something like, hey, did you know? I'm like, la 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 la, I'm not listening. I don't want to hear about it. You keep your facts and your knowledge and your know-how to yourself. I'm here to fly through a void, gently drifting along the current, and maybe play a video game or two. You better try Hot Amos on stream. I would rather die. <laughs> hey, thanks, Chokewado. Thanks for the fits. If 2022 was the year, none thoughts ASM, but it was 2023. Well, here's the problem is we didn't have any thoughts last year. And we need thoughts to come up with a theme for this year, so... The theme this year is... Uh, you got any spare thoughts? Maybe there's a reason we should have some thoughts sometimes. Um... Anyway. Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna- we're gonna get back into this. Um... The, uh, the VOD for part one is not on YouTube yet. Should go out tomorrow, I think. Um... Annoyingly, one of the songs I started the stream with got claimed, and it was a bullshit claim, but I'm like, I just don't want to deal with it. So I just swapped it with something from the YouTube audio library. So if you watch the VOD on YouTube, me going, uh, into the mic for the first, like, three seconds of stream is is cut out and replaced with the, the most goofy music I could find in the YouTube audio library. So, not nothing of value was lost, but I thought I would acknowledge it in case someone's like, huh? What's that about? Hey, Kale, thank you. Literally unwatchable. Thank you. Shoutouts to me starting stream with just kind of going, Muh. Wow. So there was a hype train. Thank you for that. Now, there's a message I've never seen before that says you missed the train. Not like this, not like this. The hype train is long gone. Better luck next time. That's new. I don't really like that. I, I, I like the way it was before. It was just like, oh, the hype train's over. Now emotes are being sent out to people who contributed. This is like, oh, you missed it! Oh, like, that, that kind of has a weird vibe to it. Anyway. 
Yeah, the FOMO. Also, like, as the streamer, I don't even have an option to join the hype train. So I will, by definition, miss every hype train. Cool. Hey, sucker. That was the hype train failing to fire? Oh. I thought, okay, even, that's also weird. No matter what, that's weird. Anyway, thanks, Twitch. The FOMO train's always waiting. Anyway, uh, thanks for that. Listen, it's cool. Um, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, 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 ba. I better start stream before we go insane listening to this on loop. So, um, oh, okay. So there was a hype train, but it was just like a, like a level one. Mm. Still, I've never seen that message before. I don't like it. It's not that it's new and I don't like it. I just don't like pressuring people. And it had a weird vibe to it. Anyway, uh... You give me a fun fact when I literally just said, don't give me facts and information? Um... As long as it contains enough oxygen and there's something to take your carbon dioxide away, you can breathe liquid and apparently terrible. It feels like you're drowning the whole time. Thanks for that. So you're saying that The Abyss was a documentary. I knew it. Jim Cameron wins again. Who said it was a fun fact? They said terrifying fun fact. That's why it's fun. Hmm. You ever seen The Abyss? It's a good movie, but man... Can be hard to watch <laughs> when he's just in a in a fishbowl helmet filling up with water, and they're like, "Just breathe," and he's having a terrible time. Uh, don't recommend if you're like, "Fuck that." You have it on VHS. Nice. It's a fun time. Uh, you performed a bit from the Abyss soundtrack for a marching band. Whoosh. They nearly drowned a whole lot of people making that movie. Sweet. I hope they learn things in making the Avatar movies, because a lot of that was shot with motion capture underwater. And apparently, most of the actors had to learn how to hold their breath and act because they couldn't emote and have their faces tracked if they were wearing scuba gear. So they had to just hold their breath for crazy long periods of time, which sounds really tough <laughs> and very stressful. But, you know, when a movie makes a billion dollars, I guess you can afford to pay people enough to deal with shit like that. Um, anyway, the thing about fun facts is that we usually don't say who they're fun for. Right. Passing cursed knowledge is fun. Receiving cursed knowledge, less so. Um, hey, Morgan, sorry to hear that, but yeah, hopefully we have we have some goofy Mario. I mean, you can't look at Paper Mario, literally the character, and not be like, well, he's just a little guy. He's looking, he's just peeking behind file three and file four. What's he doing back there? He's lurking. Uh, anyway, let me get a couple alerts and stuff so we can, again, stop listening to this loop. <laughs> so... Uh, ba 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 da 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 a little paper cut. Oh, no. Uh, Screaming Flamingo, thanks for a year and a half. Enjoy your very mild cursed skeleton key. Thank you. Smash for A3Bits. Oh, my comments last stream weren't too annoying. I'll try to ease up if you want. I play this game a lot and know a lot of stuff about it, but not all of it's necessary. Plus, you know, some things might not be helpful in the long run, like a certain someone will encounter in the desert town. Um, no, you're fine. I think my, my take is, so it's like, I have two standard modes for stream. If I've never played a game before, and I'm playing it for the first time on stream, but it's a game that's not brand new, so people know about it, I'm usually like, just, like, usually let me get stuck and figure things out and only really speak up if it's like, I'm gonna be passing a point of no return and really need to go back and, and do something I missed. For a game like this that I have played before, it's like that, but just a little bit softer. Where it's like, I still would prefer, like, don't be like, hey, in three rooms, there's a thing coming up. Just let me get there. But if I'm gonna be leaving something, be like, hey, before you leave, there is a thing. You can still be vague about it without just like, I don't know. If I need a, a more explicit hint or something, I will ask for it. I hate facts. That's true. Thank you. <laughs> well, I play the sequel after this. I adore Thousand Year Door. I adore. That, it almost rhymed. I mean, I mean, it does. I don't know, rhyming a door with door, or even a door with a door, seems like the worst kind of rhyming you can do. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I would love to play that on stream if there's interest in it. I would hope so. I know it's a game a lot of people, myself included, quite like. But uh, typically, I don't like to stream stuff in the same franchise back to back to back. It can be a lot. So if we get through this in a timely fashion, then... You know, maybe some point later in the year, we might tip a tone there. The rhyme technically, I know, I know it's like, they're, they're not the same word, but I'm just like, it just feels bad. Like rhyming hour and hour, yeah. I implore you, yeah. I mean, that's, this is not a short game. I recall a Thousand Year Door being quite beefy, so it would, it would take a few streams to get through, but I'm okay with that. MGS3, long time after. Yeah, I, I do 
I do really want to stream MGS3. So I'm trying to think about that as well. Um, all of Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3 pretty much back to back. Well, yeah, but that was on account of the brain worms. Can't put me culpable to that for that. It's a chonker. Yeah, it's a beefy game. Uh, anyway, bop, bop, bop. Big interest when you get to it. Appreciate it. Uh, Buster Bubo, thanks for 15 bits. Have a good stream, you delicious smoked meats. Catch you on the VOD. I love to smoke the meats on the grill. Uh, G, thanks for 17 months. Welcome back. Uh, I have a, there it is. I had a hair. Is that an eyelash? I don't know. I was just like, nah, nah, nah. Anyway, I'm fine now. Uh, thank you, G. Welcome back. Figment, 43 months. It's gone so long I have no funny messages to put here anymore. Listen, if people were expected to come here and be funny, then, uh, uh, first of all, what am I supposed to do? Because I don't even know what a joke is. Again, none plots. So, MGS3 is my favorite MGS, so. Definitely. Smoke meets Erde. The poo brain. Exactly. Tiny Mary, thanks for 58 months. That's so many. I'm back, babes. Been struggling, busting it. I got a new job and I'm feeling fine. Hope Bar and Chad are having a good new year so far. Congrats on new year. And I uh, hope, you know, things are going well for you. Happy New Year, etc. It's it does it's already January 10th, so I'm like that. Do we still say Happy New Year? Sure, why not? Who's gonna stop us? Tiny Mary, thank you. Hope you're doing good. Ty Dave Kayser with 100 bits. Chat. Yes, hello. I was wondering if you could play that song again. Barry, hmm. Which one, chat? Chat. The one that goes bang, bang, bing. Uh, no, chat, you're thinking of bing, bing. Bing, bang, bing. Bing, bang, bing. Bing, bing, bang. Bing, bang, bing. Bing, 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 bing. Manic, thanks for 47 months. Thanks for the prime. Welcome back. Big and Friends Gaming, 64 bits of soup. Get you some paper soup. Yeah. Yeah, crumple it up. You with a spoon. Toaster Posey, 27 months in a tier two. I had soup for lunch and said soup to myself in the way of our people here in the house. Thanks for irreparably rewiring my brain. You're welcome. Just Jessica, thanks for four years. Long time Vodder. Hopping in to say that these streams are really one of the highlights of my day. The vibes are always good and chat is always super cute. Hope y'all are having a good year. Thank you so much, Jessica. Hope you enjoy your key card. And uh, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Sony uh, Ilderim. Thanks for four months. Yeah. I am fine. Thank you. And you? Como estas? Bien. E2. Uh, Joe Guado. Thanks for 10 bits. Appreciate it. Welcome. KL. Thanks for 100 bits. Life's been awful lately. I'm finally moved into a new place. Nice. That got me through. All that got me through were your VODs and the friends I made on Twitch. Thanks to you. Wow. Senator. The Golden Gargle. Also thinking of streaming this game myself soon. We shall see. Thanks again. Kale. Sorry things have been poopy. Glad to hear things are on the up and up. And uh, I hope you enjoy this game. If and when you stream it. Thank you so much. Zamui, thanks for 10 bits. If there's anything I learned from a bam bam, and apparently there is, don't try to decide a theme for the year. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I had a recurring bit of having a theme for the year before last year. So that's why I don't, I'm not interested in forcing it. In the same way, I'm not interested in forcing any bits. Bits, bits need to ride the wave and then die. And then explode with the explosion gif that's overused. That's the way of the world. So. A little goof me watching the VOD later. Have a good goof and a good VOD. Milky Pork, thanks for 25 months. I don't need a hype train. No. We're a strong independent stream that don't need no hype train. A while back, I did hit a button. Because, like, uh, the hype train has settings the streamer can set of, like, how rare. So I always set it to be, like, there can only be one per stream and it needs this many uh, events in order to trigger and, like, all that stuff. Because I was like, eh, to me it should be a rare thing. And a couple weeks back, I just clicked the button that was like, just do it for me, Twitch. <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't know. Because they, like, changed a bunch of settings with it and I was like, there's too many options now. I'll click the button that has them do it for me. So if it seems like hype trains have been more frequent... I, if people are like, this sucks, I can just go back to the way it was. It's not really something I thought about that much. Um, so I'm climbing the train and later people on top of the train. There's a man on the wing of the train. Fill the headset, thanks for 51 months. Who smooshed the marrow? Unsmooshify him this instant. Uh, he's fine. He wanted to be smooshed and so thus he was. Get that block in the desert that crashes the game for 400 plus years, right? How much time do you guys got? I love that kind of shit. There's a lot of that in this game that people have found. Uh, Zerfell, thanks for five months. Welcome back. Triumphant Obtuse, thanks for 30 months. 
Enjoy your outhouse key. I can finally shit and fart. Well, you always could shit and fart, but now you can do so within the properly designated receptacle. But feel free to let her rip. This is a welcoming space. <laughs> uh, Senator Servbot, thanks for 21 months, and a tier three. Hope you continue to enjoy the Golden Gornigal among all the other emotes. Thank you for your continued support, Senator. Uh, Wallenberg, thanks for 38 months. 30 months to support a great streamer. Nice. Playing my favorite game. Hey, nice. You have good taste in games, and thank you. Good taste in streamers, too. This guy. Uh, Thin White Duke Nukem gifted a sub to Cahill for the 37th month. Thank you, Duke. Hope you enjoy the emotes. Cahill. Unnamed Transco, thanks for 69 bits. Nice. Help, I'm untangling yarn. Send help. Uh, well, this is not, um, Kirby's epic yarn, so, you know, you're gonna, you're, you're on your own. This ain't arts and crafts. This is Paper Mario's serious business. This game's rated, uh, adults only. It's not even M for mature. It's the only game Nintendo ever published that's adults only, just due to content. It gets real intense. Content warning for every single thing ever. This game goes places. Uh, thanks, Evbay. Thanks for 100 bits. A uh, break Paper Mario by getting a hype train. This strat saves five seconds. Mario kills a guy. Mm-hmm. In real life, every time you play the game. I prefer Yoshi's epic yarn. Yoshi's wooly yarn. Monodoc, thanks for 61 months! That's a lot of months. Appreciate it, thank you. Remember that Oot speedrun that uses RAM manipulation from cartridge swapping for Paper Mario? That shit was wild. Computers are neat. Uh, anyway. It gets super spicy. Uh, let's hop back in. ba ba da ba 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 da ba Hey, so last time... We walked over here. Remember that? Uh, so, uh, we... What 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 happened last time? Um, Bowser stole the star rod from space. It lets him grant a wish. All he wished was, um, apparently to be under the princess. So his castle lifted the princess's castle up into space. And then he wished to have plus one to defense and plus two to attack. Which is very underwhelming when you can wish for anything you want. We were sent back down tumbling to Earth. We now need to rescue... All of the, uh, MacGuffin stars, these guys, uh, and once we have all seven, we will learn, uh, uh, what is it, Giga Beam Zeta Flare, and then that'll allow us to defeat Bowser, even with the power to wish for literally anything, including you could probably wish these things out of existence, don't worry about it. A plot revolving around wishes is never gonna make sense. Um, uh, so we came to the first place, which was, uh, over yonder, um, Koopa Bros Fortress, where the old man... Star was held. We got him. We also have two party members. Three party members. My goodness. We got Goombario. He's just a little guy. He knows a lot about things. We also got Cooper. He's also a little guy. He doesn't know many things. And we just obtained Bombette. We broke. We she broke herself out of prison, and we were complicit. Um, and uh, and then we uh, Peach is being held in the castle. She's being assisted by a tiny little star spirit named Twink who uh, has been flying back and forth between Peach and Mario to deliver uh, Peach's newsletter. And we learned that Bowser was like, haha, the next star is at the Dry Dry Desert, which is the same name as the track from Mario 64, Mario Kart 64. So don't worry about it. When's Gino join? Uh, he only shows up if you do a, a frame perfect trick. And then if you don't do it correctly, it crashes the game and deletes your save. So, you know, you gotta be careful. But anyway, ah, we're fine, we're fine. Actually, am I close to a level? Not really, no. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, but we need to go back to, I don't know, town? I don't really know where we're supposed to go, actually. All I know is we apparently have to get to the desert. So there's that. You gotta go underneath the truck. Yeah. Oh, that was dubbed my bad. You're right, Calamari Desert in Mario 64. Dry Dry Desert was in Double Dash. That's the one with like the quicksand and stuff, if I recall correctly. Uh, so yeah, we got We got to get more of the MacGuffins. Anyway, we're off. Oh yeah, the bad shop. Boops. Sure, we can do a murder. Listen, who's anti-murder? Not Mario. Just look into his eyes. Beady eyes, like a doll's eyes. Do 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 Calamari Desert has the never works non-shortcut ow of following the train tunnel through the mountain. Yeah, that never really worked. Oh, also we have star spirit power now, right? Charge star energy refresh. That's kinda neat. 
Um, let's do this. Dang it. Whenever he jumps, th this is true of every Paper Mario game and Mario and Luigi game, is I, I like get into a rhythm for the timing for when they're on the ground and you jump on them. But as soon as you jump and they're flying, it's like shortened and like, it's such a simple little change, but my brain's like, no. When is it? Got him. Hell yeah. Oh my god. This is this is huge. We're gonna get so much experience of fighting these guys. Look at that. He's made of paper. Double Dash's best Markar. It's pretty good. 64 is the one that I played the most out of any of them. Nah! Three. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, yeah, whatever. Double Dash is real good, though. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a... Maybe it has some of my favorite Mario Kart tracks. Although Mario Kart DS had Waluigi Pinball. And it's hard to top that. So I don't know. Three bees in a trench coat. Thanks for 37 months. Hope you're doing good. Yeah. Bo, 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 bo. Yeah, I heard about that. It's a bummer. Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, God. Hold it right there, Mario. There's a badge you can get with Cooper. Never mind. I can go back. I've been waiting for you. Is this Cooper? God dang it. I told you I'd be back. Now I'll get my revenge. Here it comes, baby. Check this out. Mario, I'm talking to you. I promise you, this fight will be much different from before. Who's this kid? Let me get this straight. He wants to challenge you? He's gotta be kidding. Shut up! You, Mario! Of course you remember me? Who are you? What? Darn it, you don't remember me? Listen, you, you big lug. My name is Junior Troopa. Remember it and tremble. I I feel like if his name was Troopa Junior, I would remember it better. Junior Troopa doesn't fit right into my brain. It's like a round block into a square peg. Or sure, let's go with that. Remember it and tremble. After this beating, you'll definitely remember it. Sure. Junior Troopa. And it doesn't have like like a good cadence to it. It's it you know it's gotta be like a bup ba bup ba is his name you know. Junior Troopa. Yeah, maybe that works. Junior. Get ready to hurt Mario. I'm gonna show you a new skill I just picked up. He's got a gun. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, check that out. You never seen anything like that before, have you? Your attacks are useless now. Oh my God! He become egg. Um, sure. I'm gonna crack that egg wide open. Um. Wait, does he have... Oh, uh, maybe I should tattle. Ow! Well, that was a bit rude. Alright. And... What if he just did that and then there's just a fucking egg splatter? Just all, just gone. Just the music cuts out. Ouch! Who knew that Mario had such battle skills? Yeah, it's not over yet though. Yeah. All right. Um, tell me about him. What was his name? Junior Trooper? I don't remember exactly. Just joking, kid. Damn. Holy shit! 15 HP. He looks so adorable hiding in his egg, doesn't he? So cute. It should be a snap to beat him now, I, I think. Cool. Thank you. Defensive one, it says you're nice, got much of a challenge. Yeah, he's just doing what he's doing. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, let me do a regular jump to see if this... Yeah. All right, I do need to do more than one attack at a time. Then, uh, let's blow him up. Good thing I didn't waste a power jump on him. Ow! Bum, 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 bum. 
Bob him. Blow him up. Boom! Nice. That's my bum bet. Bam. His name in Japanese is Kowappa, which means something like brat. Kowappa. Huh. And that kind of sounds like Koopa. Koopa. A little bit. Blam. Murder egg. Dip him in boiling water like a hot emus. That'll show him. I'm okay. Um. Nah. Nah. Meh. We well, can just murder him this turn. Nice. The boy's dead. Yatta. Murder the child again. Oh. Junior Trooper. He used to boot us out of the forest near Goomba Village. He thinks he's pretty tough. As far as I can tell, he goes around picking fights with people who are stronger than he is. Talk about dumb. His hobbies are working out and ordering stuff by mail. Huh? Alright. <laughs> it's very specific. Sure. Sure thing. So there's a there's a, a Koopa badge we can grab back here somewhere. No. Where? Uh. Eh. eh. Meh. Dude's an Amazon shell. Same. Oh, it was back down here. Or no? Or yeah? No. Wait, where am I thinking of? You can hit him. Why would I do that? I got straight into the game. Well, ish. There was an area down below that led to a thing that I couldn't do earlier. We're all Amazon shells here. Yeah. Listen, I earned the majority of my income from streaming on Twitch, and then I'll go online and buy stuff off Amazon, and I'm like, boy, we just reinvented the company store, didn't we? It's just a circle. Shit. Between Go Village and where you fought Junior. Okay, so I hadn't gone to it yet. All right. Um, I really appreciate that the uh, low health beeping doesn't play literally constantly. Just you know, a lot of the time. It's also not a high shrill beeping. It's just like you're in danger. But yeah, I know. I am the danger. We're going peril strats, like right, chat. That's what you want. Chat loves peril strats. You aren't paying an ammo bucks? True. I'm not forced to buy stuff off Amazon. But it does cross my mind when I do. When the retail place you work at gives you an employee discount. Yeah. A little bit. Eh, eh. This stream of a neat sound cue to a certain number of script, I mean bits. <laughs> Uh, good work. <laughs> Oops. Uh, no, we're good. Everything's fine. Maybe I should, uh, you know, heal or something. Literally anything. Him feetsies. Yeah, do need some better shoes. Here, how about, how about I just create a suspend point? And then we don't just don't speak of this again. I'm playing this on the Switch, by the way. Eh. Fucking get get him. Wait, did I Did I pass it? A save state for an RPG? Yeah. That's what I do. Wasn't it what? Where is it? Cause there was like a bit down below, and it led to like a thing. With the bridge before Koopa Village. Before Koopa Village? Oh. So that's not here. Nah. 
I completely turned around. No, it's to the right. Oh, that's the separate path. We'll just... We'll just go... So I, I did need to go back. Okay. Imagine remembering things you did two days ago. Wouldn't be me. Wait. Wait, this is one of the things I wanted to do, though. Wait, <laughs> shit. Damn it. Thanks. Thanks, Coops. I mean, Cooper, whoever you are. I'm gonna call him Coops at least once. Per minute. And I'm not gonna apologize, but I am sorry. I already did last stream. Yep, it'll happen again. Ow! I am on the verge of death. Ow! Stop it. Very rude. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. You've done it now. Making me eat a mushroom. Scrumptious. Wait, why don't these guys have health bars? Have I not tattled them? Or is this one of the things I needed to tattle because we died and then I never did again? I got- I died and then we hadn't come back this way. Got it. Okay. Now I'm good. I'm good. I'm back. No, I tattled them when I first met them, but then I died because I'm very good at RPGs. Ow! That was early. Um, and then I didn't do it again, and then... That ha Okay, yeah. Good. Well, yeah, if you tattle them once they're on the ground, they're not Paracrumbas. But no, I last stream I did... Listen, I messed up. We're good. Uh, so this way, and then there's a thing on the path on the way to Koopa Troopa Village. Wait, what? Or did I... I was talking about the star piece, so then we're good. I'm going back to town then. You pay, play 16 streams, what do you get? Another poo brain joke and deeper in debt. More than Koopa, don't you call me because I don't owe my soul to the Amazon store. What? Yeah, yeah, what? One resub, one bit. No, no, damn it! I was trying to get around. I should. I am good at video games. Well, let's listen. It's good. We can tattle on him. It was uh, c correct. Ignore this. I will. No, wait. Tattle. I kind of appreciate the tattle's just an ability in this. I mean, it is in Thousand Year Door as well, but you have to, like, press a button <laughs> with a vague semblance of timing. And listen, that's not what I'm about. I want to just tap A and be like, all right, moving on. Yeah. yeah. We have 81 star points, which looks like a really good face. Sideways. Come back. Yeah. He's like, hmm. What? Yo. Ah. Ow! Crap. I'm good. I'm good. Listen. Don't you worry about shit. No, I'm good, though. Um. Get him. Nice. There you go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You gotta look good while you're doing it. It's true. It's licking food out of the corner of its mouth. Yeah. He's like, mm, yum, hum. Nice. 81 sideways, 23 skadoo. Now we're at 83. A good, a good face. I have a lot of Koopa leaves that I am not really using. So that's cool. Hi, Jax. What, what has, what has happened? But <laughs> Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, Jax. Um. Uh. He got smanched. <laughs> I really like Goombario on the second panel there. 
Oh, I know Vietnam. I was there. It was horrible. But 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 smanch. Oh. Uh, thanks, Search for the Hydrate. Oh, God. Oh, it's so sad. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, uh, Commander Squeaks, thanks for 27 months. Who is this sassy lost child? Junior Trooper. Don't remember the name. In the deep Mario lore, Goombas betrayed the Mushroom Kingdom, and in this game, some of them are still on Peach's side. Yeah, I mean, they basically make it seem like, by default, Goombas are- they're just little guys. But some of them choose to work for Bowser for some reason. So, they mentioned Hot Amos a minute ago on GDQ. Because we mentioned it. But if GDQ is now- Hi, dear. <laughs> If GDQ is now independently bringing up Hot Amos, this is a terrible day for all of us. How you doing, dear? Bowser offers dental? Oh, shit. I mean... I know he's even all, but dental? That adds up, man. A dono just brought up. Is N Nicole's not on the mic again until, like, Thursday. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, this is your fault, Wire Mouse. Where are you? They brought up Nicole like in- God damn it. Nicole specifically. What run is happening right now? I'm gonna want to check that out. That is hilarious. They're asking chat about their food crimes. Good. At least- At least they're acknowledging that Nicole's committing food crimes whenever she commits hot Amos. It's Jack 2. Oh, I want to watch Jack 2 anyway. Sweet. Yeah, I saw there was a Mario race on the schedule. I want to check that out too. Vaguely proud of myself. <laughs> Yeah, friends don't let friends commit hot Amos. Uh, it, it's, it was fun, too, because Nicole, like, over-enunciated Amos, and half of chat was still like, did she say anus? <laughs> it's like, it doesn't matter, you have to say, like, Amos, or else people are gonna be like, that just sounds like you're saying anus. Hot anus? You can't say that on GDQ. <laughs> uh, Dr. House Party, thanks for 43 months. This game has my favorite speedrun. I love the, uh... The, 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 the Mario, Paper Mario, the, the, specifically the N64 Paper Mario has some crazy stuff in it. Like someone mentioned earlier, there's the block that crashes the game if you hit it for 400 years. There is some nonsense with the cooking minigame, I forgot exactly, but you can break time and space with that too. Deer is dashing through. I'm here to drive by. Have a good deer ride. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, deer. Hope you're well. Uh, Tilted Turtle. Thanks for 16 months. I'm a computer. Thanks for 42 months. Enjoy your doki. It's been 42 long ye months. Have a great stream. Did you see Baba does taxes? Yeah. Actually brought it up a couple streams ago. It's a very fun couple of minutes. I recommend it. As a prior broke white collar office drone, I got the get the necessity of hot aimless, but it's the fact that Nicole violently defends it. Snack Stockholm Syndrome. Goodbye, dear. Stop and swap using oh, is insane too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Baba is a tax evader. No, Baba does their taxes, and you have to help them. With Baba does taxes. Snack home syndrome. Hey, Scribblin. Just curious. Feel like I've been playing myself. I've been getting played a lot recently. Oh, I mean, uh, the primary reason is I finally bought one of the stupid Switch Online N64 controllers. The N64 is the first console that we owned. My first gaming dedicated machine was the original gray brick Game Boy, which I got when I was like five. And then we got the N64 within its first year or so of release. Um, so this is a console very nostalgic for. And I just wanted to be like, what does a new N64 controller feel like? The answer is, it's nice. Although the buttons are a lot clickier than any of my actual N64 controllers. And I keep thinking there's a cable here and it's breaking my brain. Um, so I'm like, nostalgic for it. I finally bought this and I was like, well, I don't have the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack Plus thing, and I might as well give it a go. And I was looking at the games that were on the the, the Switch Online, and I was like, yeah, I can do Paper Mario. <laughs> it wasn't well, it wasn't extremely. I mean, I I have a modded N64 that I can capture HDMI out from directly, and it's very handy and cool. But yeah, it's wireless. It's weird to me. It also is sealed where the controller pack goes, but they have Rumble in there. It packed the rumble pack. They made it tiny. But it goes like rub 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 like the old rumble did. 
so. Speaking of Stockholm Syndrome squinting an N64 controller. Yeah, no, it's not a good controller. Um, and if you look at it, you're like, what the hell is this thing? But, uh, I don't know. I like it. It's, it's neat. <laughs> I like it because it's neat. It's far from my least favorite controller. Um, my hot take controller opinion is that the Dreamcast controller is kind of garbage. I don't like the face buttons, the sticks don't feel good, and the controller port comes out of the bottom. The cable comes out of the bottom, which is presumably to accommodate the, the giant gaps in the top where the VMU can go and stuff, but uh, a cable coming out of the bottom is awful in almost any circumstance. So, uh, yeah. Dreamcast controller. Stick single- right, I just had the one stick. And it's also like a big disc with like big handles on the side. I don't know, it's just kind of weird, but... You can fold it back and make it better. Right. But if you're- for example, if you are a kid at your friend's house playing Dreamcast, and you're kind of sitting kind of far from the TV, and the cable's not really long enough, you, you have to hold the controller upside down and like away from yourself to reach it. Just merely having it on the top means at least it's right side up, even if it's kind of far. Oh, hi, dear. Wait. Switches the cable out of the bottom? Like the Switch console? I mean, yes, and I don't love that either, but you only need it plugged in if you're charging it. You redeemed? Oh. Uh, this is a link to the VOD with a timestamp. Oh, God. Um... Uh... Oh, hold on. Was this- was this when- when it went down? Uh... Uh... What? Now, before I read some donations here, I want to read your donations. You've got a lot coming in. I've had something stuck in my craw a little bit the past 24 hours, friends. You see, Chromebook doesn't let you clip. That's fellow weird. host Nicole Goodnight mentioned dipping famous Amos cookies into hot water, which she calls hot Amos. God damn it. I also happen to know that another incredible host, Breezeby, likes to eat macaroni and milk. So chat, I want to unlock Resident Evil Shadows of Rose as bad as you do. And I also kind of just want to talk about food crimes. So I want your donations. I want to reach 500K. And I want you to tell me what food crimes you commit on a daily basis. You tell me. Get those donations in. Let's unlock. Okay. Uh, I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll give Nicole shit all day because it's funny. Um, Hot Amos is a travesty. Macaroni and milk is a war crime. That is... <laughs> That is abysmal. That is awful. That is real bad. Milk is another stage of cheese. Listen, I don't care if you can defend that with logic. That's fucked up. That's like being like, I'm going to have like cheese cereal. I'm just going to get crumbled up cheese and milk and eat that. It's kind of the same thing. It's like, no, that's don't do that. I don't think you should do that to yourself. I, you should love yourself. Your body is a temple. Maybe I will. Okay, well, God help your soul. I hate this I hate the internet. I hate people. Just pour in a cheese packet. God damn. Well, if you melt the cheese in the that's worse somehow. Wait, there was another wait, there's another redemption. Hold on. Wait. No one's talking about food. Like, can we ban food? Let me be a robot and consume dedicated wham and go on in peace. Um Okay, so A Towns redeemed the poll. J Jax wants to know which is more cursed. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes. Which is more cursed? Your choices are Garbage Ape or Hot Amos. And then there's another poll to do after that. Jesus. Uh, Silver Dragon, thanks for 22 months. Been catching up on a bunch of odds thanks to the Mario Odyssey ones. I'm now burdened with the knowledge of garbage apes, so yeah. Raise a glass to the Nintendo. Blame Scaredy for that. The like, Nintendo 64. Telling the story of its body. It has four megabytes of right the expansion pack. My mom puts cheese in her coffee. Get a new mom. Go to, go to the store. Get a new one. Hey, Nicole. Yeah, I was talking shit. I'm glad you're here and I can talk shit to your face. <laughs> How you doing, Nicole? Shouts to Nicole doing a stellar job as always on the GDQ host virtual desk. 
But also, I mean, really? We were saying this before. Um, not that Nicole is blameless in this, God no. But really, it's Wiremouse's fault. Right, right, because they're the one that initially made Nicole talk about Han Amos on GDQ. Well, no, it's it's a two-pronged issue. Well, no, three-pronged. Okay, it's, first of all, Wiremouse's blame is paramount, because they said this first. Second, it's the GDQ uh, donation volunteers that approve and filter through the donations coming through, because they're the ones that then forward it to the host to then read. But then the final point of, 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 uh, I can't think of the phrase. You know what I mean, though? Like, the final line of defense, maybe that's the word, words, is the host. So, it's Wiremouse's fault, first of all, the donation crew's fault, second, and then Nicole could have abstained and gone, nope, not reading this out loud. But Nicole said yes and, so, I'll, everyone's culpable in this. Most of all, probably me, somehow. I have no regrets. It, the... Immediate, like, like, GDQ chat was, like, trucking along, as usual. Kind of about the pace that my chat is right now. You know, just every now and then someone be like, I have a thing to say, whatever. Nicole read that, and then chat just stopped. And then it was like, and just everyone was upset. Everyone disliked that, dot JPEG. It was instantaneous. People were mad. Well, I, I think as Gam put it, it was like 50%... Oh my god, who does that? What's wrong with you? And 50% did she just say anus. It was like 50-50, but everyone was mad. So, it was- a gr And now- And now another host has independently brought up Hot Amos, so we're just screwed now. Several people are typing. Still better than RJ bringing up Triforce? That was also the need of your civilization. It's true. Me when Hot Amos mentioned on GDQ. <laughs> Shiv for- Shiv forgot where they were. And that you're not allowed to swear in GDQ chat. <laughs> well done, Shiv. <laughs> uh, 76% said Hot Amos is more cursed than Garbage Ape. I can't say the fuck word. You're not allowed to say the fuck word. You're gonna make GDQ cry. Uh, okay, and then we have another poll. That was redeemed. Um, by Snail Physics. Ah, this sucks. Anyway. No fucking cursing in this G-dang house! Uh... Uh, this... This... Okay, Snail. May I be the first and not the last to say, fuck this. This is a... This is bad. This is a bad poll and you should feel bad. Uh, it reads, how do you add your macaroni and milk? A. Milk first. B. Macaroni first. Or C. I don't know cuisine. How dare you not provide people a, an out. Anyway, uh, Silver Dragon, thanks for 22 months, and yeah, you have Scarity to blame for Garbage Ape entering our consciousness collectively. And I'm sorry. Uh, Lil Birdie gifted Jax their seventh month. Thank you, Lil Birdie. Lil A Noodle, thanks for 27 months. 27 months of hot Amos. God, if only. I've only had that knowledge in my head for a handful of months, I think. I don't even remember what month it was. It's actually Ansta's fault for coining the phrase Hot Amos. You're right. Goddamn... Ansta's brain is too powerful. We could have just been like, why would you dip your cookie in the, in the water? And then been done with it. One day watch the Max and Milk video. It's worth your time. I don't want to. I don't want to watch any videos ever again. What do you mean, which way do you add the milk? L listen Hi, NGC. <laughs> First stream for me since I saw you on Grumps, so it's been a while. Nice to be here. I'm happy to have you. You are currently stepping in on in the middle of a very normal conversation for us. I, I, I can't even defend this as saying this is not a typical stream. We're yelling about several conflicting things right now. It's a normal one. Sorry I had to be like this. <laughs> uh, uh, Hobo Joe, thanks for a year. Thanks for the prime. One cumulative year. Yay. Thank you. Uh, the word cumulative is very fun. Uh, enjoy your Wild well, the Chris Skeleton Key. Mr. Ten says 20, 29 months. I just got here and here's war crimes. Later. Have a good one. Thank you. Mac and milk is very specific. I just don't want to. Craft fucking ma macaroni and butter. Okay, that might 
I can see that being okay. Anonymous, thanks for the hammy. My mom puts cheese in her coffee. I, again, go get a new mother. Nicole, thanks for 42 months. You talking shit always. Hope you're doing good, Nicole. Enjoy your doki. You can press it and it puts dough on the computer. That's just butter noodles. I don't want to call macaroni noodles, though. You know what I mean? You cook the macaroni, add some milk, add some butter, seasoning, mac and milk. It's disgusting. You had me for literally like the first step. <laughs> you need milk for Kraft Mac and Cheese? Not necessarily. Like, Easy Mac, you can make with water, and it basically is totally fine. Because the water just kind of... ...vaporizes. You do- you- milk can be used for a cheese sauce, but... Listen, if you say mac and water, it's not as good. Typically, yeah. If you say mac and water, that sounds bad. 51% said I don't know cuisine. Macaroni first, milk first. <laughs> you gotta put the macaroni in before the milk. I- let's not. Big and Friends Gaming Thanks for 100 bits. Milk first or cereal- cereal first? Um... I'm team cereal first. And then you add the milk. Because if you- if you have a thing full of milk... Because, you know, the milk rises... ...with- with the cereal. So... Why would you... Bowl last. Yeah, put it on the counter. You need to boil macaroni in water? What the fuck are you even on? I was talking about Easy Mac. I'm t way too lazy to actually boil water and cook my own. Listen, if I'm boiling water, I'm making like spaghetti or linguine or some kind of a noodle out of a box. I'm not making Kraft Mac and Cheese on the stovetop. I'm making Easy Mac or no mac and cheese at all. Okay? I'm extremely lazy when it comes to, to, to cooking. But craft fucking mac ain't fancy shit. That's my point. So I don't I don't care about dumping it with some water and nuking it in the microwave. I'm like fuck it. I've already given up for the day. I don't need to be putting in more effort right now. Thank you. People have and do boil noodles and milk. Boiling milk is just okay. Anyway, uh, Lubin doing things for 15 months. Barrio. Cheetos mac and cheese is real. Oi, oi, oi. Mm mm. I'm not slandering mac and cheese, I'm just talking about myself. Do you mac and cheese? It requires milk, no it doesn't. Alfredo's just stronger milk and noodles. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. I don't disagree with that. Pro tip, find boiling water for pasta, too much of a hassle, boil some ahead of time, and freeze it for later. Man, that's easier noggin. That's some good, good thought. Str you gotta have strong milk. Uh, Lil Bernie, thanks for 102 bits. For the first time in my life, I'm applying for a job because I'm excited about the position, not because I'm unemployed. Wish me luck. You don't need luck. But good luck, regardless. Sometimes luck comes in handy. Breaking news. Bub, 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 bub. Oh, Falof, are you here to save us? Oh my fucking god, thank you. Holy shit, Oaf is MVP right now. Most valuable p chatter. They scream! This is half of chat listening to the other half of chat right now. Thank you. <laughs> it's good. You make your hot cocoa with boiling water like a cretin? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of time, yeah. If I... I mean, I haven't had hot cocoa in... Maybe like a decade. But the last time I made it, I did make it with hot water. What are you gonna do? Unsubscribe, unfollow? Good. You should. <laughs> anyway, for unrelated reasons. Um... Hot cocoa with water is fine. Yeah, right? Come on. I like the strawberry talks about macaroni for a long time. Microwave water for tea or not? Well, yeah. We do have a kettle for tea. Uh, Smash Brothers for 10 bits. Do not add milk while making mac and cheese. I do that whenever I make craft mac and cheese. That we're talking about drinking milk with mac and cheese. I think that's what the original point was. We've very much lost the plot. Unnamed trans girl for soup. Frozen sweet peas smothered in ketchup and with a spoon. Good day. Mario. I just want to see Twink. Share- There he is. Mario, Mario! It's me, Twink. Remember me? How could I forget you, Twink? 76% of chat says mac and cheese requires milk. Show me the boy. I heard you saved the honorable star spirit who was captured by the Koopa Bros, period, exclamation point. Bowser and his gang are so angry about it! I knew you could do it, Mario. You're on your way. Bam. But enough celebration for now. I come bearing important information for you. 
It seems that one of the star spirits is being held captive in dry, dry desert. I'm cooking Team Hot Amos now because of my anger over milk noodles. I'm out. This sucks. You know, like 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 when water is like so cold it feels hot, or like it's so hot it feels cold. It's like you kind of like loop around. Your brain is not a process the, the stimuli. That's just what happened to the deer's brain. We don't have time to play games. We need to get back to the milk discussion. I snuck in a second link. How dare you, Oaf? That's illegal. This is bad. You just need to Photoshop Bowser's head from Paper Mario on top of this. What did Twink do? Look at him. He's just a little guy. What is Eggman's problem? We did smash an egg earlier, so you know what? Fair. You know what? Fair. Uh, VJ bots, thanks for 40 bits. There was plot? I mean, no. They're just little guys. My cat is here. Tell him we say hello. Professor Funkenstein, thanks for eight months. Welcome back. He's in the dry, dry desert. Bowser wrote it in his diary. Some place called Dry, Dry Ruins. The princess braved the dangers of the castle to get you this clue, Mario. If we find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you. I have to go back to her highness now. She's so brave. Hope this news helps. <laughs> Nicole tells me she started something, and I'm here to defend myself about the Mac and the Milk. Hey, so... Why? Wait, it, 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 is, 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 is it? Is it? Boiled milk as part of the process of creating the foundation for the mac and cheese. Or do you create mac and cheese and put it in a bowl of milk? That is what needs to be... That is the foundation upon which all anger must be built. I don't like that you just said so. You're digging yourself into a hole. You could have said anything else. Number one, no cheese. Go on. You boil water, uh-huh, and make noodles. Macaroni, specifically. And then, like cereal... Can I have a mod timeout, Bree? <laughs> you pour milk on it. I... I... <laughs> wow. Holy shit. I... 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 I want you to know that I... I wholeheartedly, with all my being, support you in your endeavors. You add butter and salt, too. Okay, never mind. I take it back. I was gonna try to be nice. <laughs> you just stole that option from me. This is a real thing my family made on the regular. Man. It's like butter noodles and milk. But it's macaroni. I. Hey, Brie, we support you in all things except cooking. <laughs> Thanks, though. Americans aren't allowed food anymore. I mean, I was gonna say, is Australia that much better? And like, uh, you've described to me, Shiv and Gam have explained to me a handful of Australian foods, and I'm like, that does sound pretty good. Which is more cursed? I, I we can all lose. It doesn't need to be this side wins. <laughs> Dear, just timed out free for 900 seconds. No, I was joking. Bring B back. Bring Bree back. Bring them back. Brie has also made blended pizza. We need Brie back to explain blended pizza real quick. Just real, real quick. I need to find out what blended pizza means. And that that's not done as part of like a challenge, like a TikTok blended food challenge or something. But like actually, if that's a thing you independently decided to do. I want to know. I want to know. I had just gotten my wisdom teeth out. Okay. Okay? Let them speak, chat. And I really wanted pizza. This is all checking out so far. Don't say no. Hold on. If you haven't had your wisdom teeth out, you don't know. You're not rational when your mouth's full of gauze. And you're hopped up on shit. 
I took the pizza and put it in a blender. Okay, was this like a frozen pizza you had at home? This is important for context. Or was it like a, like a delivered pizza that you got in like a box? We ordered pizza. Okay, thank you. I need to I need to create I need to put it in my mind palace so I have the the scene set up. Okay. Order pizza, open pipe and hot hot box of pizza, take it in the blender. Except it wasn't very wet, so it was more like dipping dots. So less smoothie. <laughs> A spoon! No, wait, that's the only part that makes sense. I wouldn't drink a smoothie pe or dip and dots pizza sauce smoothie. You need it, you need an implement to transfer it. Was it still warm? You need the spoon. And a fork's not gonna work because it's all gooped up and stuff. So you know that's I redeemed the poll to let chat decide now that we have full context. Thank you, Figment. Let me, let me see. It wasn't very goopy. It was a little cold. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just like toss it in the microwave a few seconds? I, you didn't even say it was like lukewarm. You said it was a little cold. Oh man, Bree, I, I don't know. Holy shit. Wow. I want to go home. <laughs> Blaze, thanks for the hydrate. My face has been scrunched up, yeah. Ugh. You can't eat hot foods after wisdom teeth? Okay, I forgot that part. I had, I only had, I think I had my top two wisdom teeth removed. I played a lot of Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood. That's all I remember. Um, where is that poll? Um, where is it? Okay, well, okay. Well, there's a f several now. Um,. Okay, first there was this one from Dylan. Um... Bum, 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 bum. I'm just gonna do this one as a quick pull. Oh, there's already a pull active. Never mind. Who commits more food crime? Me, Nicole, or Bree? <laughs> there's 73% to Bree. Columbus. Okay, no worries, dear. Thank you. Appreciate it. And then after that, we'll do Figment's poll for Hot Amos versus Mac and Milk. Horseradish sandwich versus Hot Amos. Listen, I haven't had a Hot Amos. I did eat a horseradish sandwich, and then it was it was a a roast beef sandwich that just happened to have more and stronger horseradish than I was prepared for, and I lost. The, the the horseradish won. It wasn't a horseradish sandwich. That makes it sound like I just had bread and horseradish. Uh, it was good. It just I took a bite and like my eyes started watering, and then I just I was in a call with friends, and I was just yelling, and everyone was like, "Stop eating the sandwich!" I was like, "No." Ah! Fuck this conversation. Have a good time out, Ants. 07. I gotta go to the desert. Not in the game. I'm gonna just go walk outside into the desert. Um. Let's just have a lie down. Please, just refresh your body and soul. That's what I need right now. This is, this is us. All of us right now. There you go. That's better, isn't it? And Killy wants to pull after the next pull that's coming up. You feel better? There's better food in the desert. Take me with you. You got it. We're going. Jesus. Just to contemplate. Let me create suspend. Oh, Jesus. Stream is over. It's all downhill from here. As a species. Wiremouse. Somehow Wiremouse is to blame. Sorry, Wiremouse, but you know what you did. Mario, yes, hello. Well, it seems that you've received some mail. Which letter would you like to read? Colorado's wife? Did I ha add Hot Amos to BTTV? Maybe. 
There's a video of Brie eating the mac and <laughs> That's what Nicole was talking about. Oh, God. Oh. Can you pick me up a cactus? Sh sure thing. Another, another pull. Nicole was not happy about that one. Hey, public key. No, we're good. We're good. Cooper, how you doing? Your mother dropped by for a visit the other day. We had a really nice talk over some Koopa tea. What's in Koopa tea? She did seem a touch disappointed that you were still on the road. We just left. She said that she's going to cook a delicious dinner when you come back. Some milk and mac just the way you love it, Cooper. Just the way mama used to make. You have something to look forward to. Oh, yes, if you happen to see my wayward husband, tell him to come home more often. Take care, Colorado's wife. I don't have a name. I only exist in relation to my husband, Colorado. No, I'm good. We'll keep the letters for you. Come on by. See you later. Oh, my God. Are we back to the game? No. I'm just going to play the game and just let chat continue having a breakdown. Three more pulls. <laughs> Deer is struggling to make anything load on their Chromebook, and chat's like... I want the mods to do a lot of things. Colorado's wife doesn't pass the Bechdel test? No, she doesn't. Does any Paper Mario game pass the Bechdel test? I would kind of doubt it. They're always talking about Mario, that handsome man. Uh, Toad Town Newsflash, Mario more than a match for Koopa Bros Fortress. Our hero Mario has vanquished the Koopa Bros who lived in the Great Fortress to the east. Koopa Bros, longtime underlings of Bowser, have been left to guard one of the kidnapped star spirits. That star spirit has returned to Star Haven, all thanks to our hero, Huzzahs, from Mario. Huzzah. Current poll, question mark. Hot Amos or m Milk and Mac? Spelling Mac with a K... ...makes it kind of worse. It's like, more viscous, somehow. Coop Co Colorado's wife is Denver? That's good. Any part of any Paper Mario's passed the Bechdel test? That's my question. I was- uh, my first thought was the, like, sisters in Thousand Year Door. The, like, Vivian sisters, and I'm like, I think they're always talking about Mario. We're watching AGDQ on the main TV, and I just came over the first time to chat because it was funny, and every time I went back to AGDQ, I had to come back to say what the fuck, it was astounding. Yeah. If Amos wins, it's gonna be which is better. God damn it. Where's the fucking... Uh... uh... Where's, where's, where's BTTV? Is it just called Hot Amos? What did you call it? Yep. Fuck. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, hold on. Stand by. Stand by. Bup, 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 bup. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, Smasher, thanks for nice six bits. Let me know when we're back to the game. We're we're never back. Well, this is us forever now. Emotes were a mistake. Ah yes. A ba 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 da ba. Big and friends, thanks for hundred bits. It's a good day to catch live. Hey, thanks for two hundred. Oh, thanks for sixty two bits. Do you add milk to the pizza? Well, yeah. Bree said it gets dry, so you gotta. You gotta add some mo moisture in the blender. Zebra gift to the sub, the breeze be. Thank you, Zebra. Appreciate it. And CW Jolly, thanks for gifted. Morgan Legay, their second month. Welcome back. Put us in emote only. Yeah, B BTTV emotes don't work in emote only. That's a good idea. Will the strings of poles ever end and let deer leave? No, yes, hot Amos. The train parked at the station at the south of town is pretty spiffy, isn't it? It's called K64. Nice. Thank you for the Nihimus. Paracarry never delivers them. He's ruining their marriage. Unfortunately, a huge boulder has fallen on the track and the train can't go anywhere. Talk about a crying shame. A railroad lover. Shoutouts to trains. They're big. They go doot doot. Hey, mister. My dad's opened his shop. Don't you want to take a look? It's real cool. It's a badge shop for badges. Come on, check it out. I don't have a choice. Oh, that's charming as hell, though. Don't smack talk moisturizing the pizza with milk before you microwave it. I don't want to read. Ever again. Okay, go a little hot Amos. Yeah, no. That's what chat's job is. Yeah, I'll do a tier list stream for trains. Every train zest here. We have lots of rare badges. Take a very close look. Nah. 
Hey, welcome, buddy. Well, we got it open. What do you think? Pretty spectacular shop, huh? How about buying something? Just press I in front of a badge you want to buy. Multi-bounce. Kind of expensive. Increases distance bar. I can spin. That's kind of nice. Let's bar destroy a weaker enemy with the first strike. We earthbound now. Maybe later. Well, I can afford it now. Fuck it. I knew it, Mario. Oh, Shiv needs a timeout. Goodbye. Thomas is almost an anagram of Hot Amos. Very relevant. If you insist. We all need a timeout. Yeah, that's a timeout. Tom is Hot Amos confirmed. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wish I could just add this to my stream overlay. Um, I want to add this like the DVD logo. Screensaver just bouncing around between the corners. What a terrible day to have eyes. Just want it going around. Scroll back up and read what I did first. That's a timeout, right? Uh, oh, dear's band shiv. Unbanned Shiv. Por favor. By weak credit means ones that don't give you any star points anymore. Oh. I thought they would still give me the rewards and just be like, you skipped the fight. That makes sense. But maybe I'm good. Although. Oh, you're saying I would fight it and it would only it wouldn't give me any star points anyway. So in that case. That's still probably worth it. Because the, the higher up you get, the less star points you get. Right. Because no send me back. 07 shift. Backtracking through old stairs. Gotcha. If you get into the coin minigame, you can cheese it for infinite money thanks to save test on the Switch. That's true. Takes a while for that to happen. Yeah, I'm going to wait. Well, I could just buy it and then forget about it. How's that sound? It only needs one BP, so... I'm gonna buy it and not equip it, and then forget about it. I wanna spin more. Let me spin. I would like to spin. I don't think I have... Yeah, I'm... Mm. What am I not using? Um... Um... Yeah. Uh, Deer's banned shiv... Unbanned shiv, dear! You can get rid of close call. I mean, it depends on how high the chances of them missing. What do you more bup? Bup. Shouts to Toad. Uh, if close call is garbage, then I don't need it. But if it does actually work sometimes, that could save my bones, as I am bad at the game. Um, power jump is just stomp on a single enemy with a lot of attack power. Eh, yeah, I'm not really using that. Refund, you get so much money in this game. That's true. And I can get infinite money. You're right. That does make sense. Shiv likes the darkness. I, they asked to be timed out, not banned. Also, I will forget that Shiv is banned and not unbanned them. Holy shit. Now that's a spin. Now that's what I call spin volume. Woo! Maybe I should just be banned. <laughs> Shift, you're not helping your own case. Uh -huh. Why well, grow up over there to be a train conductor? Train conductors are so cool. Station stop on a board. You keep up the good work, kid. Doesn't something smell good? Tasty lives in this house. She's an incredibly good cook. She just taught me the recipe for delicious fried shroom. Oh, thank God. You make it with a shroom. I'm outie. Are, are there any poles left? Did we get them all? Pass the blended pizza. We enjoy pain. It's funny. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thanks for the hydrate. Dear timed out shift for 999,999 seconds. How long is that? A food pick. Don't make me regret it. Time me out. Yeah, this sucks. I regret it. 
It's it's fake, but it's still bad. That's about 11 days. <laughs> you got to chug that cottage cheese. It's not a real product. If it makes if that makes it any better. Um Stop the bit. Stop it. Stop the bit. All right. Hey, welcome back to Paper Mario. How are we doing? Um if I get price to become a master chief. Oh shit. Chief, what are you doing? Finishing this croissant. Oh my goodness, it's Mario. My name is Tasty. I love to cook. Yeah, it's a toad. <laughs> you a toad. If you bring me ingredients, I'd be happy to fix you one of my energy-giving dishes. Would you like me to cook you something? Which ingredient would you like me to use? Uh, use a Koopa leaf. Make me a nice spinach. I'll whip something special up just for you, honey. It'll be fabulous. Just a moment. No. Go have a food, dear. Thank you. Have a good one. Tra la 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 la. Just got some turntables back there. Here you are. This recipe's not too bad. Please. Oh, Koopa tease me at a Koopa. You know what? That makes sense. Nice. A cup of tea. Look forward to it. This is free? Just make my items better. What can I make out of syrup? You're a master chef. <laughs> Imagine, you know one of those cooking competition shows they are like, here's your ingredients, you have this much time, go. And they're like, uh, okay. They pull back the curtain thing, and it's just maple syrup. <laughs> That's the only ingredient. You have access to nothing else. Go. <laughs> well, that was quick. Recipe's not too bad. She turned it into maple syrup soda. Oh. Oh, no. Tasty, I'm concerned about what you're doing. Um, well, these are just objectively better, so might as well do this. Yeah, Kier's being small, which Mario desperately needs. He's a small man. And it's not that smallness is an issue that needs curing, but in Mario's case, he's just so tiny. Give me, give me that again. Thought we were getting away from this. Listen, I... It's out of my hands at this point. It's all GDQ's fault. Goodbye! Dab it up, bub it up, bub -ba. Mario, Mario, Mario. Have you ever met Mer Lovely of Shooting Star Summit? That lady, she's so lovely and mysterious. Oh, I'm crazy for her. I heard that her hobby is cultivating bonsai trees. Maybe I should try that too. By the way, did you know that Merlovely Lovely is a twin sister? Her sister must be really gorgeous and charming, too. That one is the hots for the wizards. Toad Town Station's just south of here. The train there is the only way to reach Dry Dry Desert. You aren't thinking of going to the desert, are you, Mario? Be careful if you do. Dry Dry Desert's huge! Wherever you go, you can see sand. Many a wanderer has gotten lost, so travelers should use extreme caution. Oh, and you should avoid any whirlwinds, you see. According to my sources, if you get close to a whirlwind, it'll blow you far away. Chances are you'll get lost. Thanks, bud. It's a good thing we're not going to a wet, wet desert. People say that there's a big dangerous creature living deep inside that pipe over there. But when people tell you not to go in, it kind of makes you want it even more. Of course, you'll be all right if you carry lots of items. Pro probably. Gandalf Big Naturals. Hell yeah. P. Oh! Puff! Well, hello there! My name is Bubble. I came from Flower Fields, the wonderful land of flowers. I love to spread the wonderful flower- wondrous flowers of Flower Fields all over your land. You like flowers, don't you? Of course you do. Who doesn't? For that reason, I'll entrust this to your care. You gave me a seed. That's a flower seed, which you all care for, a beautiful flower will bloom. These flowers are delicate, only one with a loving heart will make them bloom with beauty. But each take good care of it, the beauty is fragile. Okay. Most flowers don't speak, but they all listen. When you grow flowers, be sure to speak kindly to them. You got it. Eh. Get some spring water. From the forest. I gotta give it to what's-her-face. Hey there. 
Water and dirt, sunshine, power, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name's Minty. Enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I thought it's a lovely flower. We don't have your bubbles. Yeah, it's literally like down the street. Really not far from here. I got you the seeds. Oh, you give me the seed. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll plant it right away. And yeah. That was quick. He sits right to an age-old story. If you plant all four of the different colored bubble flowers, a miracle will occur. I wonder what will happen. I can only wait for that day to come. All right. Thank you. Does Minty have a Mr. T? Mr. T? Shit. Wait, what's here? Oh, God. Oh, the pigs. Oh, the pig. Oh, the famous oink farm. Hit the bar, red pay 10 coins, wait for the egg, hit it with the hammer, hatch the little oink. Try to find out what kind of little oink will be born. Have fun watching those adorable little oinks. Be careful, though. If someone gets inside the fence, all the little oinks will run away. You can have a maximum of 10 little oinks on the farm. Forgot about this. Little piggy. Pork gambling. When the 11th little oink enters, the first will leave. Try to see all the different types of little oinks. Dude's just staring at an empty pen. I love little oinks. Love them. You, you want to learn about them? Little oinks are timid and mysterious creatures that hatch from eggs. They spook easily and will run away if you approach them. Observe them from out here. There are many breeds of little oinks. They're very easy to tell apart. White ones, black ones, even gold and silver ones. If you're curious about the breed of a newborn little oink, come over to talk to me. I wish the world were full of little oinks. That would be grand. Yeah, yeah give me, give me a pig. It's like a gotcha, but every time you get a, a pig. If more gotcha games were like this. Yo, we got a tiger stripe golden pig poll. That's like a five star poll. Pog. It's a tiger little oink. Look at those stripes. Look at them. Yeah, what? Low poly N64 animals, my beloved. Let him go. I have been influenced and game gamed my savings away. Who needs virtual money when you can have virtual pig? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No Amy's, no Amy's, no Amy's. It better be a pig. It's a pig! Huge. Absolutely huge plays. It's a pink little oink. Such coloring. Yes. Yes. Pigs are mammals. Mammals come from eggs. These eggs just happen to be on the outside. It's no biggie. Wait, does this mean that... Not gonna finish that thought. Whoa! 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 Look at that pig! Look at that pig! Oh, wow! It's a silver log! Look at its silver hide glittering in the sunshine. What a gorgeous creature. Holy shit. Look at him go. Why are you saying that with hot aim? Is... <laughs> Oak. That's... Alright. We're not gonna get a better pull than that today. I am... I am sated. Mario, do you do keep a good supply of items on hand, don't you? If you get attacked when you have nothing, you'll be in a pretty tight fix, eh? My advice is, whenever you're going on a long journey, you should stop by a shop and load up with supplies. We can't work because Peach's castle flew away. Oh well, guess there's nothing to be done. The girls and I always wanted to go on a long trip. How lucky for us. At first I said, let's not go because there's so much trouble going on, but... Eventually I came around. We're ready to roll, but now the train can't move. Great. Our first stop was going to be the desert town. I wish we could go right now. I love trains, don't you? I love to come here and watch it come and go. But it doesn't seem to move at all now. It's really a lot more fun to watch it when it's moving. Problem must be that gigantic rock on the tracks. Get it. Well, I'm out of ideas. I am ruined, done for. A huge rock is blocking the train tracks. When Peach's castle was uprooted, one of the boulders from that stack rolled off and landed here. What bad luck. If we can't do something about that boulder, I can't make my run to Mount Rugged. Sucks to be you. Princess Peach's castle. That, you yeah. know. That's all you need. 
What's wrong with the toad with a deep voice? Ever been to Dry Dry Desert? It's a really scary place. I've seen packs of cactus monsters. Cacti monsters. Thieves. Who pr Actually, no, cactus monsters is fine. Thieves who prey on travelers, coins, and even whirlwinds. It's a lot safer to stick to the path so you don't get lost. It goes in a direct line from Mount Rugged to Dry Dry Outpost. Thanks, Toad. No problem. What's up, Mario? Like slides? The slide on Mount Rugged are the coolest. He's so small. Yeah, some are kitty size, but they're also huge ones that launch you way out. I want to go there again. Why are you so small? Very small. He's as big as my hammer. BTTV formatting. Yeah, it's just like regular formatting, though. But at least with Twitch emotes, you know, it's like... Lowercase emote prefix and then uppercase for the suffix. Typically. Actually, no, that's required. Um. What's in here? It won't open. Cool. That's tasty. I haven't been this way, though. Hammer. Jump. Port Peach's Castle. Hey, if you want to get the dry, dry dust, I'll take the train from Toad Town Station, you dig? Yo, little man. Name's Chat Rippo. Pleasure meeting you. Say, man, don't you want to upgrade your status? Heh, <laughs> yeah, I know you do. It's usually 390 coins, but for you, and only you, I'll do it for just 39 coins. Hey, you give me 39 coins, I'll upgrade your HPFP or b -b I'm not lying or cheating you. Come on, you know you want it. That is most of my money. That's no toad. Exactly. That's what exactly what Smash Matt said. Yeah, give me that. There you go. Good call. Here's your current status. Maximum HP is 15, FP is 10, and BP is 6. Choose the one you want to upgrade. Um... Give me more f -p There you know. Why not? Alright, so you want flower points to be upgraded. Here goes! Alright, now your flower points has been upgraded. Oh yeah, another status might have dropped a bit. But I can't do anything about that. Oh, and the badges you got on are now off. Don't forget to put them back on. See you later! Yeah, my HP went down. Hey, wait, right, get back here! I only have three BP! Did I, I think I was already at 10 HP, right? But my BP went way down. <laughs> I only got three BP! Well, we have to be more picky now. Um... Well... Give me, um... Give me a hammer throw and... Power... Yeah, maybe sm smash charge, power jump. Close call. Hey, I got. What do you mean that sus man wasn't trustworthy? Ah, sheesh. Oh, these cute little guys. Here comes Red Ranger T. Pow. Here comes Yellow Ranger T. Boom. Here comes Green Ranger T. Donk. Look, look, Mario. We three are heroes like you. They're so cute. Donk donk, donk doa, donk donk, donk donk, donk donk. Eh. I like Green Ranger. Yeah, he's my fave. The hell is this? Stone cap. Turns my stone makes him unable to move for a while. Doesn't sound very useful to me. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. What's locked up back here? Hey man, what skeletons you got in the closet? Welcome to Harry's shop. Uh, hey, are you Harry? No. Um... What happens if you cook a goom nut? Anybody know? I wanna cook a goom nut. Actually, I'll finish exploring over here. Such a magical name. I'm new to the neighborhood. I never expected it to be so nice and quiet in the big city. It cost me a small fortune in coins to get this place, but I think it was worth it. It's such a lovely house, isn't it? It sure is. Hey, you're Mario, right? We just moved in. We only just unpacked. It's like a dream come true. A quiet and gorgeous home all to ourselves. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. Of course, happy as I am, I know these are sad times. I try to act too jolly when I'm out and about. That's very selfless of you. I'm so proud of these lesbians for moving into the city. They're doing it. They're making their dreams come true. 
Eh? Huh? I've heard a rumor about this great big hidden ruin somewhere in dry dry desert. But I don't believe it. Well, I've never seen it. Once I see it with my own eyes, then I'll believe it. I only believe things I see directly. You got anything back here? No. OMG, they're empaths. <laughs> I'm very happy, but I try not to show it when I'm out and about, on account of me being an empath. You know Postman Paracarry? He delivers letters to many towns in the Mushroom Kingdom. But he's easily distracted, so more often than not, the mail runs a little slow. No. Oh. Oh, that, that was... he said that. Okay. This neighborhood's the quietest place in Toad Town. That's why I often come here to walk and think. Oh, I try to put on a glad face. The grass won't come back just because we stay home and mope now, will it? But it will come back if I stand around the town and mope. Weird. Do we start chapter two yet? Not yet. I have to take the train, but I'm exploring. Oh shit, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Look at these guys. Yeah, I'm glad Peach legalized gay marriage. Let the toads be gay. Today's menu, sailor's lunch special. Mushroom pasta, seafood soup, seafood salad. Mm. This is the port, welcome. If you wanna go to dry dry desert, you can't get there from here. Go to the train station instead. Oh, memories of younger days. River runs with sunlit rays. We ramble as the music plays. Oh, what is it about the ocean that makes me want to sing? It's beautiful. Look at that fish. Not an animation to be found on it. That was amazing. Tis true. Big fish I be getting whenever I fish here. Yar, I hear caterpillars be making the best bait. You fuzzy peed. You're me bait. Just cause you're all fishing, I got to be bait. No. You're a proper fool. I may be a caterpillar, but I still got some rights. What is this conversation? <laughs> All right. Well, I want to. Wait. Well, I want to. Want to know? Tell me more. I really hate eating fish, but fishing does look fun. Fishing in the harbor must be pretty relaxing. My dad goes fishing too. I wonder if he knows this guy. Seriously, I hate fish. Not all fishermen know each other. Gosh, Goombario. He's a fuzzy peed. What a weird little creature. People use fuzzy peeds as fish bait, but they often mangle the. They often manage to cut the line. He's pretty robust for such a little guy. He's a little guy. Bump, bump, bump. Hi, Kelly. All right, let's. Oh Jesus, is this the video? Um. Content warning. This is exactly what you think it is. Um. This is, this is. I. I, um. I'm scared. Alright, let's just, this is, this is the movie maker, money maker here. You're gonna take your milk like fucking cereal. <laughs> You're just gonna pour it in. Be generous. I don't. I want to see it. I want to see all your nudes covered. Why in the hell did we open? Hmm. <laughs> this water noise is not making me feel better right now. It's fucking raw. Thank you, Kelly. Oh God. Uh huh. Meh. Meh. Huh? Yeah. What? Meh. Meh. Oh. <laughs> um, was that milk or cream? I think it's milk. Shiv sent me, um, a screenshot of what was on their computer. And they said, crying. It says, you are currently timed off from chat. You can chat again in one week, four days. <laughs> <laughs> Something less cursed. What do you got here, Jax? Um. No, oh my God. Honey syrup. I'll cook it right up. Tra la 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 la. Secret. What does that say? 
the a secret fridge. I thought it said fill a dot, and I was like, what's a fill a dot? Anyway, I don't know how to read. Uh, into the secret fridge, ta-da, and bam, it turned into soda. <laughs> she's a genius. That tasty, I, she's a culinary wizard, I tell you. Hey, Gabri. Hope it was a good dream. I get. I don't know what's worse. Hey, thank you. Ichan, thanks for 30 months. That's almost a month. Bar yuck. Enjoy your, um... Okay. Wait, no. That, no. Outhouse? Ke wait. Yeah. Outhouse. Wait. Yeah. I know my own things. I posted a poll. Oh, God. Thanks, Ichan. Uh, Oi, Rocks, thanks for 20 months. Bunk Patrol, thanks for two. Enjoy your bronze key. Whoa. Hey, baby, thanks for bits. All hail the no animated low poly fish. Long may he reign. And Maverick Buggy, thanks for eight months. That mac and cheese cereal was a sin. The ultimate sin. Okay, we're gonna do this poll. And I'm also going to uh, just go ahead and disable the channel point redemption for poll. We've had too many polls today. This is the last one for the day. Uh, eh, eh. It's gone. All right. Nah, 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 nah. Manic! How you doing? Uh, we must decide on Bree's punishment. Actually, I changed my mind. Bree doesn't need to be punished. I'm just gonna refund your points. <laughs> this is fine. It's like capital punishment, exile, community service. Eh, don't worry about it. Appreciate it, though. Um, yeah. Bam. Hey, what? I gave you your points back, man. Is this Mac and Milk the new Pilk trend? No. Hope not. Uh, da 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 Oh, bountiful, bountiful, beautiful sea. When I behold the ocean, I feel peace and serenity. When you feel sick in body or in heart, nothing heals you better than the sea. It's just a dock, but sure thing. I want to pull. Should we have more pulls? Yes, no. I have a new addition to my VTuber model now. Is it a relevant link, DNL Kiro? I ask that links be relevant. I just heard pizza smoothie on GDQ. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh. Yep. They did it. Pizza smoothie is a wall is Wally shit. If it was warm, I would consider. Not gonna lie. Would I enjoy it or like myself? No, probably not. Hey Mario, I heard you went over to Koopa Village recently. A long time ago I went to Koopa Village too. I remember it like it was just yesterday. There were all sorts of people. Uh, that is Koopa Troopas. There. One Koopa loved the radio. I recall those four rowdy brothers. That giant Ken... Kent C. What? Oh yes, there was also that world-renowned explorer and archaeologist, Colorado. If I recall correctly, his wife was always worrying about him. I suppose she wanted him to stay home a bit more. I often wonder how all those Koopas are holding up. Yeah, they're fine. Um... Um... Uh... Yeah, it's a food. Okay. Last one. Ken C will come up later. I was gonna say, I don't remember meeting anyone by that name, but also... Yeah, this sucks. It's just a peanut butter sandwich loaded up with pickles. I don't want to look at that. Thank you. Uh, what we got in here? Wahoo! Yippee! Oh, hell yeah. Mmm, hi. I'm Chanterelle. Nice. I'm known around here as the pop diva of Toad Town. Oh, I used to be able to sing any song perfectly. Each note, a masterpiece. Those times are behind me now, perhaps forever. The sight of Peach's castle flying high into the sky was such a shock. I haven't been able to sing since then. Okay. 
I was like, is someone falling asleep on the keys? Now I'm a pop devo, cannot sing. Cruel irony, isn't it? I'm Simon. I'm Ryman. To folks who know it, I'm the master poet. Poor pop diva cannot sing, but my lyrics are just the thing. If my lyrics really rock, our pop diva will be cured of shock. I'm tragically stuck, though, because my last line's a no-show. Later, Pluminator. Damn. Toad mentions the name Shantarelle in the Mario movie. Hmm. Welcome to Club 64. How do you like the club, dude? Pretty posh, right? Yeah, my buddy there and I opened up last year. This club was broken here and there in that earthquake, but no problem. We'll get it all fixed up in no time. Yep, we lost a whole mess of glasses around here when the earthquake hit. Been cleaning ever since. It's a shame, lots of fond memories in those glasses. <laughs> I bet. What do you want? A hot cocoa? And perhaps a toad tea? Yeah. He's fucking the face of the lad. Remember back when toads had, uh, there were uh, unique toads that, in not just, um, the most of superficial manner? Not just, like, I mean, even, like, just recolling their head is, like, pretty basic. But I'll still take it. But then these ones have, like, different hair and different clothing, and there's some that are just, like, completely unique sprites, and, like, it feels like a little town. A bunch of little guys running around. And then you play Color Splash, and it's like, I'm Toad 5082. And yes, I am still mad about that, and we'll continue to yell about that. Till the end of time. I can't help it. It makes me sad. I want to look at my pigs again. Yeah! Yeah! Look at them! I want another one. I want another one. Give me one more. Casino's in this area. Oh, did I miss it? What about Waddle Dee's? That's Kirby. Eh. Whoa! Holy shit, what is that? Who is she? What the fuck? You can get an iron from Silver Pig? Why would I ever? It's a black little oink! They're known to be wild! Look at it go! It's got the zoomies! Look at those little feets going! Holy shit! Unstoppable! Damn, it's a LeChonk! Uh, where's this, uh, wait. Eh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh. It was never fun when that old Koopa Troopa lost. He'd blame it on everyone but himself, then raise a big stink. Phew, it was a crazy scene. Female toads do not exist. They have not confirmed whether they existed at the time of this game's release. That is implies something terrible. What about Toadette? Double O! Talk about rotten luck! Were they stuck down here? No. They want to be here. Hello there, Mario. Welcome to the ahem, playroom. To ahem, play here, you need a member credit. The kind of game you can play depends on the kind of member credit you have. Cool, you have a silver credit! Excuse me. In that case, I'll make a pipe appear that will lead down to the jump attack floor. Ignore this. You got it. Hmm. You wanna play a game? So that is a gender. Oh. Did not know. Create, suspend, point, yes. Maybe Nintendo's just sex. I just like there being different types of creatures. Ooh, well, that's a nice little spotlight effect. Rules for jump attack. When the game starts, 11 blocks will appear in the air. When you hit a block, a panel will come out of it. There are four kinds of panels. Hitting blocks is the only way to make the panels appear. The coins you get will be determined by the order you hit the panels in. This is a one coin panel. I'll give you one coin. This is five. This is five times. Your coins will multiply five times. This is Bowser. If you find this panel, unfortunately, it's game over. If you clear the nine blocks option, your coins will be doubled as a special bonus. You need 10 coins to play. It's called Jump Attack. If you lose, you won't get a thing too bad. I don't think I have 10 coins. I have four coins. I spent the last of my coins on a, to on a pig. Greetings, my good man. This is the floor for Jump Attack. Give me a second, I'll explain the rules for you. 11 blocks will appear in the air when you hit one, a panel will come out of it. There are four kinds of panels, etc., etc. I just read this. You correct? Yes. It points to be doubled. The rules are written on that board over there. You'll catch on playing quickly. Might as well try it at least once. You need 10 coins. Want to try? Mario, you don't have 10 coins. You can't play the game without enough coins. 
Nope, see you later. I can't gamble because I spent all my points on Gotcha Pig. Let's let's just go to the desert, shall we? Mm, Mario, we don't allow the poor in here. We can't let you gamble away your money. You need to have money to lose money, Mario. Boom! Mario, try not being poor and come back later so you can lose your money. I didn't mean to do that! Ah. Ba, 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 ba. There is a toad down the sewers, we see it later. You got it, we're gonna do it later. Thank you, Mario, the train's back on track. All aboard, this train's bound for Mount Rugged. Are you coming, Mario? Yeah. Okie dokie. The train is about to depart, please board quickly. I'm the conductor now. Wait, Mario, get into the passenger train. Mario, what are you doing up there? Sit tight, folks. It, the train is talking. Now departing for Mount Rugged. I know there's a toad in the in the train. I'm just... It's a silly joke. I feel like I have to explain every time I'm a goof. Because <laughs> someone's going to be like, There was a toad. There was a toad in there. Very Earthbound Runaway 5 vibes. Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry Dry Ruins. That Chain Chomp is very upset. Is, is, if I wait, is it gonna do the thing again? It is. Chapter to the mystery of dry dry ruins with is a game that you can I have not streamed it. No How do you know it's a chain chomp I'll come clean The streams pre-recorded and I've already played through the game and then I'm did commentary over it. I'm sorry. I lied to you all. Too bad Lego Bowser and staring at so you sadly from that shelf that we can see. No, he's he's still sad and he's bad. I mean, he's small and far away. He's still sad. He's just looking out into the abyss. He's having a bad time. Um, oh. the spooky version of Mep named Mep Mepistoph Mepistopheles. Oh, you plan? Of everything's planned. I'm allowing this to spam my cat tights because I have no idea how I got that accordion in here. Your cat is so talented, werewolf. They made an accordion appear. Smash for soup. Took me a while to recognize the Calamari Desert reference with the train ride music. I love it. I love all the references to other Mario games in this game. It's good, right? It's not excessively overdone. But it's the, they like to toss in a little reference every here and there. And I, I appreciate it. It's not, it's not like, okay, here's... The Mario 3 world that you go to. Here's the Mario 2 land. Like, that might be cute as a one-off gag, but if it was, like, the whole game, be like, all right, I get it. But it's like, these throw little things. But it's very much got its own vibe, and it's all these unique locations. It's good. Feels a bit earthbound sometimes. Occasionally, yeah. I have time travel powers. Every streamer does. Mount Rugged, Mount Rugged passengers heading for Dry Dry Desert or Dry Dry Outpost should proceed directly over Mount Rugged from the station. Wait, I have to climb a mountain? We still have a little time before our next departure. Come back in a while. Oh. Cool. I'm already four parallel universes ahead. Eh. Eh. Man, they even got the clocks working. This is expensive station. Train's running again. Feel about time. I can finally go back to Toad Town. If you want to go to Dry Dry Desert, you'll have to hike over Mount Rugged. Follow the arrows on the signboard so you don't get lost. There are a lot of scary creatures around here. If you're not careful, you'll get hurt in a big way. If things are looking desperate, you better run away really fast. At least I would. But I'm a brave man. I would never run away in fright from the very first thing I see. Egg. Egg of unknown origin. Hmm. Give that to Tasty. 
I saw a creature called a Wacka on Mount Rugged. It was an extra cute. Oh no. I thought Wacka was only in Thousand Year Door. Oh, don't make, please don't make me. Chat, please don't make me. Sperm banks be like, follow the signs on the arrows. Do not hurt him. I don't want to. Which was in the Mario movie. Miyamoto. Yeah. Whoop. Nice. Wacka, don't. I wouldn't. Ah, no. Confound it. Where could it be? Bah! Oh, sorry, folks. Very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. What now? Aren't you Mario? Why, you are. You're THE Mario. Hello there. Name is Paracarry. I deliver letters. Uh... I'm normally a letter-perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with the lost letter. Why don't you know it? I dropped it on Mount Rugged, and now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. He's Paracarry, a paratrooper who delivers letters. He's got some problems. Don't we all? It must be nice to have wings. He can fly anywhere. All postmen should have wings. You know, some people say that if you help someone in trouble, good things will happen to you. You know, karma. What? You've never heard that? What does that have to do- What? What are you talking about? Yeah, you got it, Paracarry. It's letter-shaped. What letter? Like A or... X? Whoa. Love the little... Pants swipe he does. Very cute. Good. What's chat's favorite letter? Three. Whoa, Monty Mole! Monty Mole, Monty, look at him! Yeah. Get him. Yeah, God, I get him. It's a Monty Mole. Monty Mole's a rock throwing mole's big time mischief makers. Look at him. Monty Mole's the best. I, of all the characters to have brought back and been like randomly playable over the years, I'm so glad they picked Monty Mole in like recent Mario parties and stuff. He's so good. I like the modern Nintendo version of him too a lot. They've had, they, they have kind of scary looking faces. They're pretty weak though. Maybe they wear sunglasses because they have really sensitive eyes. Or maybe they're just hip. It's hip to be a mole. Ow. Very rude. Bam. You get him. You gotta get him. Who more enemies would you like to see as partners? I want a bullet bill partner. I don't know. Maybe, you know in, in Mario World... The first level, there are those, like, two-tile-tall blue gator dudes. Those guys are neat. I want to see them make a comeback. Uh, wait. Chain Chomp? Could be fun. Whoa! Stop it. Yeah, Rex. Squishosaurs. The squishy guys. Um, um... Yeah, um... Yeah. Bam. Rex. A Pianta partner? That could be fun. Give me a charge and chuck. Yeah. Give me a charge and chuck. Baby smorg. Yeah, Pachi, same. Ow. I need my HP up yesterday. Um. It's almost like I shouldn't have done the thing that I did, but I knew it was bad, but I wanted to do it anyway. Listen. Sometimes you gotta say yes to a shady man in an alleyway. Gotta see what happens. Gotta do it for the content. Exactly. Yeah, I had the same thought, Shifter. I was like, technically, you kind of have a Chain Chomp friend in Link's Awakening. So there's that. Yeah. Sleepy sheep. Sleepy sheep. I don't think I have any... Oh, I was gonna cook that. And then I forgore. Shoot. I'm sure it'll be fine.
Whack who? I'm Wacka. Just another picture perfect day atop Mount Rugged. Woo! The sunshine, the fresh air, so refreshing. Wacka do. Whack who? He's Wacka. He's a Wacka. When you hit Wackas, they get bumps that fall off. I've heard that they're yummy. You know, I'm not normally into hitting Wackas, but once I heard of their tasty bumps, I got the urge to whack them. Can you go pull or place the refunded one? Uh, I think we just were good on pulls today. There were a lot, I don't know if you were around for it. There were a lot of pulls earlier. I just want to... Not anymore. I can only aim to have his, in life to have his attitude, right? Whack! Ow! Don't hit me! It restores 25 HP and 25 FP. Good thing that never happened. See, he's just a friend. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> Everyone upset and that one person going, Yes! Yes! It does look kind of tasty, though. Just kind of falls off of him. Whoever eats my bump and drinks my malt milk shall have eternal life. Hey, bleh, bleh. bleh. Mm. Whoa! Beep, 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 beep. Bum, 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 bum. Can't kill them all in one turn, but... Remember that badge I left on? Because I was like, I don't know how often it does a thing. Did a thing. If you hit Wacka enough times, he eventually dies. But he disappeared after I whacked him. Whoa. Although I recall him being much more of a thing in a Thousand Year Door. But I don't remember him dying. I just remember you were able to get a lot more bumps out of him. Um... um, um, um. Kill Wacko for fun and profit. I like how they they show have him show up so early in the game when 25 HP and 25 FP is so overkill for anything you might need. Like that is such an amazing healing item at this stage in the game. It's like they know. Thank you for the pointing, I'm sure it'll be useful. I want more HP, but I also want more BP. I'm gonna do HP and then next we'll do BP. I gotta get the BP back up, but I also need to not die. Shit. I'm sure Killy will make very good use of this PNG I've given them indirectly. L look, now, now I'm pointing. Now I'm pointing at me pointing. Cause I point. Dan subs, where are you at? Oh, 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 what, what? Since when? Hey, thanks. Uh, anyway. uh, let's do uh, some light, a light dash of murder. Um, if I jump on this one, and then we have coops here, do a coop scoops. Bam. I keep calling him coops. Cooper. If you have him do the Cooper pooper. His signature move. Then we'll be alright. My boy! Look what they did to my boy! Yeah, it is interesting that... In Paper Mario 1 and 2... Let's just talk about this one because I'm sure there's things different in 2 that I just don't remember. Um, why am I saving? I don't know. Um... You need a hundred of those star coins for a level. And then you pick to upgrade your HP, FP, or BP. And then that overall level is plugged into some kind of formula to determine how many star points you get from an enemy. Because the way most RPGs work is enemies will give you a flat amount of experience, but the experience required for a level increases every level. This game kind of goes the inverse, where you always need 100 XP points to level up, but enemies progressively give you less and less XP as you level up, encouraging you to fight stronger enemies. It's kind of just the same thing with a different representation. Um, 
but I don't remember where I was going with that. It's just kind of neat the way that it is. I don't really know which system I prefer. There is something to be said for the simplicity of like, you just need, nice. You just need a hundred and then you level up. You don't have to like check into your, cause how many RPGs have you played? Or I know that I've played where it's like, am I close to a level? I don't know. I need to go into the status menu and look into my party menu. And then every party member has their own level and they all need different amounts of stuff. And it's like, okay, if I fight this many enemies, I should get like another level. This is just like, don't worry about it. Just, just get a hundred and you're good. A letter to Merlin in Toad Town. I want to see Mario Domi Slash and do 99 damage. All right? Can't get that badge. Let's go drop this off to Patty Caddy. It's the letter X. Um, where'd he go? Wait, was this? He was back. Back even further. Easy mental math. Right. Oh, that's the one. Ah, thanks for finding it. I'm so relieved. Uh, actually, I'm also looking for two other letters I may have lost. It wasn't my fault, really. If you find them, could you? Thank you so much. <sighs> sure thing, Paracary. Sure thing. This guy's real good at his job. I guess in his defense, he is required to climb a mountain. Uh, wait, not here. In order to get back and forth between these towns. You klutz. You said he's second worst. I like Paracarry, but... That's fair. What? He has wings. Float over. Well, one of these guys. Uh-oh. That doesn't bode well. I just associate these guys with the Glitz Pit. I don't even remember seeing them anywhere else. Uh, yeah. Tell me about him. Beep, 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 beep. Re reduced to a percentage. 57% of a level or whatever that goes for most stats as well. Tiny numbers for health and damage in this game. It's easy to understand much five damage does to you. But games like, you have health. Six billion, seven hundred eight, two thousand. Yeah. My brain stops. I agree. I'm, I'm not as much team percentage like you are, but I agree that small damage and health numbers are just so much more manageable and impactful. Because in a game where you have like 50 HP, it just, everything just like feels a lot easier to balance out. I don't know. I like it. There are a lot of areas. Cool. Thought the cleft chins were muzzles. Yeah, I can see that. This is a cleft. They're pretty strong. You better be careful. HP two, attack power two, defense power two. Their specialties pretend to be rocks. Watch your step on the mountain. You'll get hurt if you jump on the spikes on their heads. You know, there's courage in running away sometimes. No, we can take them. Ow. I just need to charge up my hammer and maybe grab Bombette. So we do more damage. Yeah. No, game design scales on it. That's true. If there is a game that has an absurd amount of, like, you need 58,612 more uh, XP to level up again. Yeah, if it shows me that, but then also says, like, or at least there's a lot of games that do that, but then have a UI element that's like a bar filling up. Some of this is even visible in combat, so you'd be like, oh, here is where I'm at. So, okay, I know I should just stick with this battle because I'm almost to a level. My name's Clef, and I'm here to Jeff, and Jeff, and Jeff. Yeah, J okay, well, he actually doesn't have a lot of HP, so all I have to do is that. And then he's dead. This guy... I can't see or think about this guy without just thinking of saying, This guy over here. Well, take a look at this guy over here. Welcome to Clefberty. Depends on the game. That's also fair. Oh, shit, there's two of them. Charge. Yeah. And then you do La Bomba. Nice. Yeah, da, 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 da. 
This guy, that guy, forget the bad. Just saw Puss in Boots and I'm in shocked how much I enjoyed it. Oh, nice. Ah, jeez, Louise. Coins everywhere. They don't still have Antonio Banderas doing the voice of Puss in Boots, do they? Did I say Puss in Boots? Not Boots, Boots. Hey, yeah. Oh, look at his walk cycle. Shit. Pretty sure they do. Oh, shit. Nice. I feel like there was a run of a few summers in, like, maybe the early 2000s, late 90s, when it just felt like Antonio Banderas was everywhere, and I'm not complaining. It seems like he's not in this much stuff anymore. To, to be fair, that's just what happens. <laughs> it's very, very rare for an actor to just be in the limelight for that long. He really loves the role. That's awesome. Peace and butts. Secretly from Minnesota. Yeah. The truth finally comes out. Still just as handsome. Damn. Um, let's blow you up. He was the Phantom on Broadway for a minute? Oh, nice. They had a Shrek sequel bait at some point. He was in the Oceans movies? I don't recall. I haven't seen those in a long time. I remember seeing him in the Zorro movie back when that came out. He made for a good Zorro. And also, um, like Desperado. There was a star thing down here. How do I get- to oh, probably just meh. <laughs> right there. Secretly. Man, a shorter. Arrow says that way, so yeah, let's go this way first. Spikage. More indie films lately. Gotcha. Cool. Good on him. Oh, wait. I don't think I actually should be taking this slide right now, but I want to go down the slide, and I'm. this is what save states are exactly for. Whee! Oh, never mind. This is somewhere new. Oh, Bombette's fine. He wants to pass the, zero, the Zorro to torch. To Tom Holland? I like Tom Holland, I just don't see him as Zorro. I also don't associate Zorro with, like... The idea of, like, a scrawny white kid. <laughs> so that also doesn't really match up in my brain. Oh god, he's charging! Like a charging Chuck! Catherine Zeta-Jones isn't Latina. Boy, she was... Inappropriately cast in a lot of things then. Woo! Different time, I guess. Um. Uh, shit. Well, this is fine. Bum, 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 bum. Thought it was weird too. Stop casting Tom on this character's own Spider. Talk about typecasting. Dude's not allowed to be anyone other than Spider Man. <laughs> 26 year old is considered a kid? Well. Anyone can be a kid. Um, why don't you do this? Boom. Just make Michael Sarah Zoro and just be done with it. Anyone can be a squid and also a kid. Anything cool back here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. Where am I? Damage dodge badge. If you do the action command, it decreases Mario's damage by one. That just sounds really good. And I want that. Um, take off power jump. Give me... Oh, it costs three. Make Pedro Pascal Zoro. That, that I can get behind. Damn. Hmm. If only we had six... Listen! Wait, 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 Oh. What the hell is that about? Well, now I'm even more confused. Hmm. You are Zoro. Lady Zoro, I'd be down. Oh, Jesus. Um. Where? Honey syrup. 
Throw an item away to make room. Shit. Um. Um. Yeah. Um, dum ba dum bum bum ba dum. Yeah ba dum bum. I have so many FP restoring items. I really need to not get an actual fox. Drink soda, make room for syrup. I can't use an item. I have to just throw one away. So. Throw the nut. Why would I get rid of the nut? I have to try cooking with the nut. No, I vetoed. I'm gonna throw away the sleepy sheep. But if it actually stays on the screen, then I can use an item and then... Wait, so how's my, my status? Hold on. I could use a little bit of FP. So let's have, um... Let's have that soda. Let's have a syrup. I can't use it from this menu. Shit. Consume the syrup? Drink it from the carafe? And now we're good. Okay. Yeah, I figured that out. Thank you. Wait, so what was the little... Uh, a letter to Colorado. Hmm. Mysteries. Yeah. Crunchy syrup. Yeah, you, got, you gotta get the little bits that are like, you know, like crystallized. Shit. Fuck! <laughs> you got a mesh! Can we commit a felony and read the letter? No! This is a felony free zone. Not even a little bit of a felony as a prank. Oh, there's a star spit thing. Damn it. Wow, why did Barry become so lame? I've always been this lame. You just thought I wasn't for some reason. Which is more on you. Ah. Oh. Bar accessory to a crime. Whoa, shit! Fuck! Got him! They just syrup those weird squeeze bottles and they consume one bow, they squeeze the entire constant in the air and catch in their mouths. Yeah, I remember. Those were good times. Good. Good. And good. The cliff looked happy when you jumped on him. Yeah, because I fucked up. And he was like, gotcha. Gotcha, scared you. Well, at least I got my HP back for stepping on him. There's that. Although I did take damage and ba Listen. Um... Let's just skedaddle. Whee! Don't think it makes sense to go back to Paracarry till we get the final letter as well. So we'll just have to run back and forth. I will be adding more mods in the future. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> I mean, most of the time I don't really need mods because chat's real good. We got a good chat around here. Oh, maybe I do need to go back. A number in the meme parlor. Hmm. We're good souls. Chat's cute. There's something below. Redeems the permits, really? Yeah, I mean, there are... Oh, just this way. There are the occasional circumstances where... Well, there's that guy, which I can't get to yet. I'm very grateful... ...to have... ...this chat. This is a good chat. It's an MP4. Hmm. Okay, so this is where I went the first time. Where am I missing a thing? I am confused if I'm missing another thing, where it might be. You can exchange mods for goods and services. Actually, ow! Fuck! <laughs> to the far east? I can't go there yet. Not as far as I know. Did I miss something obvious? Jump down broken bridge? Oh! That's not just death? Hmm. I see. I just assumed we needed a certain thing we don't currently have. 
Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah, it's fine. At this point, I might as well go back just for the free heal. Yay. Ah. Eh. Shave. Refresh for free heals. Give me the free heals. Eh. Hello. Eh. Hooray. Oh, there we go. That's one of the ones I dropped by accident. Thanks so much, really. Of course, there's still one more ladder left. If at all possible, could you please find it too? I'm really scouring this area down here, but so far I haven't had much luck. You haven't checked anywhere except for right here. God dang it, Paracarry. Paracarry, these... The... So... Oh, you say the refresh is what I... Yeah, you meant literally use refresh... The star spell that I have. Yeah. It could. It is effectively free because it recharges over time, but... I don't know. I figured where we were on the map, it was... Just basically only slightly out of the way to go back to Paracarry. Anyway. Yep! Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that you could jump down here. That's kind of silly. Uh, do that. He assumed the squat. Dang it. You better cut it out. I'm headed up to here with you. A bow. Listen, just by me being bad at the game, we're doing more combat, which means I'll get back to having more BP. So if anything, it's good. Yeah. Is what I'm gonna tell myself. Anyway. Hooray! Mmm! That copium tastes good, doesn't it? Mmm, nom 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 Shit. At least I didn't jump on him. Uh... And Tom Benares was a soccer player before he was an actor. Hmm. Football. Hey, I'm slain. Oh yeah, we're gonna level up in no time. Also, look at all this money we can spend on pigs, chat. That's the real win. We can spend all this money on pigs. Down at the station. That's the real Paper Mario right there, in case anyone's unfamiliar. And nah. We They removed the max BP limit. Damn. Uh, we got a letter for Goompapa. You're the last letter, you found it. Now I got all the letters I've lost today. Oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I wish there was some way I could repay you for your help. Actually, to be honest, I haven't just lost letters on Mount Rugged. I may have sort of dropped some all over the Mushroom Kingdom while I was flying. Yeah, you know, you're good at finding letters. You think you could keep an eye out during your travels? In return, I would offer you whatever help I can. Yeah, help me out. Oh, praise the stars. I was looking forward to having to find those letters all by myself. No, sir. I'll do my very best to help. You shall not regret this. 
Para Carry joined your party. Press C down to have him carry Mario and fly for a short time. Look up, go! Look at that Mario. <laughs> Scrunky little man. I'm going through all the Paper Marios. I mean, I at least am playing this right now. And at some point in the future, I would absolutely be interested in playing through Thousand Year Door. I did previously stream through Origami King. Beyond that, I don't know. I know there's a lot of people in this chat and elsewhere that really like Super Paper Mario. I played it back when it came out and didn't really care for it too much. And I don't want to just make chat mad at me for a week and a half or however long it takes. Sticker Star will make me want to stop streaming forever. And Color Splash just makes me sad. So I don't know about those ones, but yeah. He can carry Mario over short gaps that he couldn't jump across by himself. While in battle, he can tackle Skydive or smash enemies with Shell Shot. Onward! Oh, but hey, by the way, if you want to deliver a letter to someone, just speak to that person. I have to be next to you at the time for it to work, though. Keep it in mind, all right? Good. Oh, good. For one stream? I don't see what the point would be in doing one stream of them. I would just be mad and sad. You know what I mean? It's like, to me, it's like I might as well just play it. And, and get through it, you know? I did also play Mario RPG on stream. My first ever playthrough of it. There's a VOD of it on the VOD channel. Ow! Uh, what you got, Paracarry? Kick an enemy? Attack an enemy in the air by bumping into it? Kick him. Hey, right before landing. Kick him. Go work. Second stream playthrough. I don't think I've played a single game on stream more than once. Ow. Haven't really had the need. I'm sure there may come a time. Spe I mean, I've been streaming for... This is the start of my fifth year of streaming now? Right? Ow. Boy, I sure missed all of those. You played with my heart. Sorry. Didn't mean it. Kick him. Start of sixth. Uh... No, this is the start of the fifth year. I started streaming in January 2018. Right? So, well, there, okay, that doesn't really count, though, for Trombone Champ. I mean, like, being like, oh, I'm gonna replay, like... Try thinking of a game I played in my first year streaming. I don't know. Dawn of the fifth year, right. So I'm sure there will come a time, eventually, if I keep streaming, where it's like, oh, you know, it's been a while, I want to re revisit this. You get the badge of Paracarry, shit. Well, also, I want to go left to get... Yeah, I want to get this. I was just on autopilot. Thank you. Uh, wait, where? I've already turned around. It was back here. Yeah. Get... get you gotta... You gotta catch me. Ooh. And then, again. Cuphead? Nope. You got the Quake Hammer. Slightly damages all enemies on the ground or ceiling. So for me, Cuphead was like, I'm gonna replay it before the DLC comes out. So I did that on stream. You've been streaming for five years, sorry, six years. I started in early 2018. So I streamed 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. You're right. I don't know how to count. Hey, thanks. Wow, that's a lot of years. Ah! In my mind, I was just like, that's five. Done. No longer thinking about it. Quick camera's good. It looks good, but I need more BP, so I can't equip it yet. There is also the thing back here that I want to grab. Check and count. Almost a hundred if you round up a few times. Um... Yes, I announced that I was gonna start doing my own stuff. Shit! In, um, yeah, in 2017. Jesus, it's been a long time. Thanks for maybe sticking with me all that time, or if you just found me more, more recently, thanks for liking what I do. My hope and goal is to have more than one video out this year. <laughs> so, you know, 
We continue to live in fun times and uh, hope no one blames me too bad for not having an amazing. I mean, it's all there's always extenuating circumstances, but yeah. Kick him. You can't kick him. He's down. Dream big, right? Ah, lucky. Who's this berry guy? I don't know. Um. Let's let's do let's do let's do wait. Let's refresh. Wait, I meant to refresh. I picked the wrong one. <laughs> oh, good, <laughs> good. Well, that one great. Lucky. I'm getting real lucky. Boy, the game's being nice to me right now. Hey, there we go. That's what I meant to do. Arr. Thanks. It's really not that much, but sure. I'll take it. Um, attacking enemy in the air by bumping into it. What happens if he's not in the air? Doesn't matter. He just takes the moon. Sorry for ever searching take off close call. Well, I just wanted to know if it was bad. But it's, it's been very good so far. Especially, like... Because you're only in danger if you're under 5 HP, so once you've leveled up HP a few times, you're in, you're in danger far less often. I don't believe it's percentage-based. I could be wrong. But I think it's literally just 5 HP. Meh. Also, am I... I'm not mistaken. Yes, okay. I was like, I don't know if I'm in the right place. I want this. Para carry me over here. Ho, ho, hee, ho. Wait, you're making the best of 2021 videos? Yeah, well, I just pay Gam to make the highlights for me. So I'm not gonna blame Dan for being slow on that. But also, Dan Floyd has made some amazing videos in the last year. Dude's killing it. Nui. Alright, now we can continue back onto the critical path. Yahoo. Some badges work off peril, which is 1 HP. Yeah, that ain't me. I know, I know, I know people talk about the peril strats. Was there anything down here? There was. Did I already get it? I didn't. You there. Huh? You talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. So you must be talking to me. It's been a long while since I first came here from my home in Flower Fields. But you're still the very first person to speak a word to me. Nobody ever notices me. The few people I actually see just think I'm blooming. I love a good conversation. Take this as thanks. It's a precious seed. Keep it well remember me. Please grow my seed with care. I'll help you one day. Mm -hmm. You know what makes me happy? When folks see me and smile. That's every flower's dream. Every flower's hope. Every flower's life. Okay. Cool. I got another man seed in my pocket. He's telling me how he feels. I kill you. Shit. Fu ah, god damn it. I'm okay. Sorry, I just almost was in harm's way. Um. I got a stranger's seed that came out of his butt. He put it in my hand. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> this is literally me. Thank you, Kelly. That is me and how I feel about Monty Mole. You guys seeing this shit? Why? Well, I keep pointing. I keep wanting to point at it. You get. Oh! <laughs> there he is. He's Monty Mole. He's my friend. Look at him. Uh. Chose number, meme parlor, and break. I. What? What's happening in meme parlor? Uh. Uh. Um, how far back do I have to scroll? Uh, first movie had a positive reaction to Achilles post? Probably not, but you know. Best day of my life. Second to last message. Is this safe to play on stream? Yes. Okay, this, this is not what Oaf was sharing. This was posted by, um, Minato Kimura. But I did want to share George Washington real quick. A clean PNG for BTTV? No. No, if people want to point the emote like that, I'd rather just poke, po poke them, point them 
to, to Dan. Because Kuzai Point is a very good emote. Uh, all right. Um, that happened to my buddy once. George Washington Toad happened to your buddy once. What is the? What is this? What is this? Um, I'm scared. I, I'm trusting you. This is it, right? Wanna buy a eight? Wanna buy a eight? No, I can't. I don't have any money. Oh, see, yeah? see, just, just just a couple of minutes ago, I met this guy selling nines. You see. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, the meme parlor is good. You should join the Discord. Um, anyway. Let's go. Who gave him a gun? He bought a gun. Were you not paying attention? Oh, fuck. I don't like the way he's looking at me. We're fine. We're cool. Hey there. Hold up a sec, partner. Just a darn minute. I've seen you somewhere. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this feller Mario who's on Bowser's Wanted poster. Now give, what's your name? Luigi. But, but... Well, Luigi, eh, pard? You do look like this dude. Well, you're not Mario, I guess. I reckon you can pass. Phew! Close call there. Hope Luigi doesn't need to pass through here. You skipped an optional boss. Nice. Yeah. Huh? I just lied on the internet? I do that constantly. Yeah. Uh. Alright. To the desert. Just still be there later to fight. If we so want. We're assisting Professor Colorado. Right now, we're waiting on the guy who, killed, who hiked over to Dry Dry Outpost to try to bring back some information. Did you know the people of Dry Dry Outpost are descendants of the makers of Dry Dry Ruins? What a cool thought, huh? People have been living here watching over the ruins for many generations. To get to the desert town, Dry Dry Outpost, just go due east on this path. I'd be careful not to stray from the path if I were you. You may get find some trouble, and you'll definitely get lost. Crash blocks in this desert. Feel free to point it out if I run past it. Even the path isn't that safe, so watch out for enemies. Well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Colorado. I'm an archaeologist, you know. I travel the world. At the moment, I'm turning dry, dry deserts upside down to find the dry, dry ruins. My assistants have attempted to gather information in dry, dry outposts, which is near here. Sadly, as of yet, we're having little success. All I need is a crew, and we'll be golden. You're Colorado, correct? Name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Man. Another letter? Duly delivered. Postman's job is never done. Oh, good show. A letter from my wife. Her name is Colorado's wife, you know. Thank you ever so, old chap. This is just what I needed to give me strength to go on. I know I'll pass this along as a spot of thanks. I came across this while I was immersed in the dig around here. Hey, nice. Hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Let me just real quick create a point of data in the computer so then I don't die a terrible death in the desert. That would be misfortunate for me. Eh. Nice. Oh. Less nice. 
Whoa! Hey, bud. Have Cooper out. Colorado's this hero. Oh, shit. Let's do that for Coops. Coop what if I call him Coopser? Is that better? Hello, boy, I guess the travels in the numbers in the numbers in the Oh, what? Whoa, you're Professor Colorado! Hey, it's Cooper. I live next to you. It's so great to see you. I never would have expected to meet you up, meet up with you out here. I'm right in the middle of an expedition with Mario. I want to be a car just like you. Hello there, Cooper. It's been ages. So, if you're serious about taking up archaeology, you and I should go exploring someday. Anytime, really. For now, you concentrate on your adventure with Mario. You'll never attain such fame in archaeology as I have if you don't start finish one task before starting the next. Well, okay! As soon as we're done, save the princess the Mushroom Kingdom and everything, you can all go exploring! See you later. Cooper is vibrating with excitement. Oh shit. Yeah! 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 Bam! Get him! I think these guys steal your shit, don't they? That's usually what they do in these games. There's a bandit. They bump into you hard and shake up your pockets. They can steal up to 10 coins. Max HP, five. Yeah, what's up? They'll slyly approach and then slam into you all of a sudden. Stab them. If you can damage them in an attack, you can get your stolen coins back. Let's beat them before they make off with our loot. Oh no. Yeah, uh, they got a lot of hoppa. Let me, uh, you get them. Bam! It's my costume. No! Get back here this instant. Nice. Whoop. God, I'm going way too early on that. Eh, eh. Get him. No, 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 no. That's my wallet. I don't know you. Shit. Fine. Four of them! Uh, well, um... Here, here we go. Yeah, we're good. Um... Just gotta do that a few times. Okay, bad. Okay, bad. Okay, bad. Got it. <laughs> and now I'm going to die. Uh, I can't do that. Could do that. Hmm. Nah, let's just play it safe, I think. I have the one mushroom, though. Save state. No, we save stated before this. I could save state now, but if I'm screwed... They run if they have money? Oh. Pow block power shell. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, I'll just do this anyway. Fuck it. I cannot refresh at present. My meter is not full. Do this. There you go. And then power shell. Good, good, good thought there. Nice. Yeah, you can have multiple save state slots, but eh, I just like to keep it simple. As soon as I have more than one, I'm gonna be like, wait, which one was it? I'm gonna commit. Nicely done. We did it. Um, Is this the block that crashes the game if you hit it for 400 years? Nice. Yeah. All right, chat. Start the timer. Oh, wait, hold on. Stop the timer. Oh no. Ah, jeez. Um. Um. Who needs a soda in the desert? Wait, wrong button. Wait, wrong button. Right button. Um. Yeah. Well, yeah. Nom 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 nom. I'm oh, sure he's doing all right. Oh, are they not? Oh. Well, I can once for Mushroom, I can 10 times for Super Shroom, I can 100 times for Ultra Shroom. Alright. 
But yeah, if you hit it for like 400 years, whatever value that's in the memory storing the number of times you've hit it, um, it um, overflows and crashes the game. Why would I save? Also, next time Smash Bros, feel free to just say, like, if you keep hitting it, there's something else, without saying explicitly what it is. So then the element of surprise is preserved. Merci beaucoup. Whoa! Ah, sh I still have... Oh, fuck. Um, damn it. Wait. No, wait, hold on. Hold on, wait. N if you button smash, this is for... I think it's four years at the maximum speed that you can hit it. Um, maybe more. F yeah, let's. Well, tea is. Tea is nice. Let's have a tea. There you go. Now nah, that's just play. Okay. Oh, what are you doing up there? Shit. Fuck. Yeah. I I've got a thing in three years. I got an appointment. Thank you, High Caliber, for gifting that sub. Nice. Thank you, Melvinheim. Oh, pokies. Wait, I want Goombario to tell me about the pokies. Why am I picking up more items? I don't know. Hey. It's a pokey, an evil cactus. Pokies attack by throwing parts of their bodies or by coming up close and falling on you. Max HP 4, attack power 2, defense power 0. Be careful fighting them. It'll hurt if you jump on their spiky heads. They also have an annoying habit of calling in reinforcements. Let's beat them quickly. Let's get them. Get, you gotta get them. Nice. Now he's little. Mushrooms evaporate. We are in a desert. Also, I don't really know why I went north instead of east to town. I don't know if there's anything here. But I guess we're getting stuff, so, you know. Maybe that counts for something. Uh... Nah. Yeah. Be -be 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 -be. Uh... Bombe Ow! Ow! Very rude. The both of yous. Yeah, if we do this now, we'll know where things are if we have to come back into the dessert. Really? Well, that's annoying. Now. I would have thought that that doesn't count as jumping, but... She's a bomb. I don't think that that should hurt her, but fine. Any kind of physical contact does... She's not a shell. I guess not. I stand corrected. All right. Oh, we can go to the right. Maybe I should go back. Let's just dip a toe. No. This is a bad idea. Hmm. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Hey, see slugging. Hey, doing? Uh, hmm. That's mysterious and kind of sus. I'm sure it's nothing. Let's see if we can get to town without dying. It'd be kind of neat. Ooh. Hmm. A lot of lads. Oh, it's just, oh, yeah. Um. Whoa, no, 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 I don't think so. Hmm. I don't want a fright jar. I'm just gonna throw it on the ground. Good. I know, like, most of those types of items, I, sure, I feel like every time I've used them in a Mario game, it's never gone well. Um, hmm, 
Neat movement tech with the spin? <laughs> or something else? Uh, um, um, what do we do? We, uh, well, I did just pick this up. Fuck it. Get him. This would be a much smarter time to have um, Cooper in my party. Well. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. I could refresh. Oh, we do it full. He missed! You dumbass! Oh my god, they're so bad! Um... Nah, I don't need a refresh. We'll just kill him. Close call never fails, except for when it does. Which is most of the time. I'm just getting very lucky, I think. I don't know, I'm curious. Paper Mario. Wait, I got. I gotta move. <laughs> I can't just AFK in a map. Oh Jesus! Jesus! Hey, I found the path. Oh yahoo! Oh yahoo! Oh wahoo! Uh, how we doing? Oh, that's good. No, no. Uh, I'm scared. Oh, okay. All right, I can hang out here for. The uh, close call. Um, badge. Yeah. If Mario's equipped with it, all enemy attacks have approximately a 33% chance of missing Mario when he's in danger. It stacks with a couple other badges. So I'm getting pretty lucky if it's a 33% chance. I'm hitting that much. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Telex, thanks for 52 months. Oh, boy. Thank you. Promo Tanuki, 26 months. You are a genuinely entertaining and fun to watch streamer, and it's always a fun, if cursed, time to hang out and chat. Thanks for the laugh, smiles, even food crime-related groans. I haven't committed any food crimes today, personally, but I have subjected a lot of people to them indirectly, so yeah, listen. We're in this together. Pretty lucky is a different badge. Right, I think it stacks with that. Do you want to see a close call? By oh, yeah, right now my badges are power jump, smash, charge, and close call. Because I might have paid the guy in town to give me more FP, and then he took some BP in turn, so you know. Yeah, I wish N64 had to rewind. I agree. It's a bummer. It must be some technical reason, because even the Genesis, I think, has the rewind as well, which is also with expansion Switch Online. Yeah. We're all equally culpable, just some of us more than others. Oh, I still was getting pretty lucky. Oh. Oh, yo oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. If the badge in this game didn't stack, that would be garbage. Yes. Which is why it's cool. And the badge system is neat. It's like the one thing on top of the game that really elevates the Paper Mario experience. Because otherwise, they're relatively straightforward RPGs with fun little mini games of attacking enemies with like little button prompts and stuff. But the badges are like where all of the strategy comes in. It's not a complicated system, but it just gives you a little bit more of a raised f f ceiling. Yeah, a little bit of a raised ceiling in terms of like, if you really, I mean, that's where like different, like the peril strats and stuff come in. So it's neat. And it's yet another system that's basically been abandoned in more recent Paper Mario's in terms of, uh, there might be some very kind of superficial customization or like deck building and it just doesn't quite, I don't know. Does it need to be explicitly badges? No but a system like badges that are just kind of like on top of it. Cause to me, Paper Mario is like turn-based combat with those real-time attack combo buttons for reducing incoming damage and doing more outgoing damage. Um, party members that are interesting, fun characters that have utility in and out of combat. And then some kind of a, you know, badge-like system on top of it for like an extra little wrinkle to the systems. And, uh, there's two games in the series that check off all those boxes, so. Carried over to Mario & Luigi. Well, yeah, I mean, all those things are presented in a similar sense in Mario & Luigi. But some of it's different. Why don't we change it? Well, I mean, sometimes changing it leads to really cool things. That, that like, it, I always feel like I bring this up. It's like, as much as we, as much as I, I don't want to say we, as much as I love to dunk on Nintendo for their baffling decisions and their obsession 
I think he has an extreme obsession with changing things for the sake of it. Um, and then off to the side being like, we have to change. Like, on one hand, it's like we can't make a new F-Zero because we don't have any new ideas for it. On the other hand, here's 15 new Super Mario Bros. games with all very, very minor changes from one to the next. It's just kind of more Super Mario Bros., which, hey, Mario's fun. Is that such a bad thing? Nintendo apparently doesn't think so. I'm not saying this game shouldn't exist. It's like a weird double standard. But sometimes their weird obsession with reinventing franchises over and over pays dividends. And you get really amazing, innovative, exciting things and, and really fresh, exciting games that build and expand upon these existing franchises. It's the way they've been able to keep so many franchises fresh and compelling for multiple generations of gamers at this point. But then at the same time, they just make the weirdest decisions imaginable with some of their properties. So it's it's very frustrating, but it's not all one way or the other, right? It's all shades of gray as is everything. And then there's Splatten. Permit for cat? Sure. You got it. Pokemon in general. I mean, I don't even really consider Pokemon because it's technically not first party Nintendo. It's Game Freak and Pokemon Company, but there's a lot of overlap there. A toggle for newer Nintendo game changes? Sometimes, yeah. Bup, 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 where did I leave off? Uh, bup, bit, 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 bit. Len, Leonilian? Leonilian. Thanks for 10 months. Thanks for being the only streamer whose chat doesn't feel intimidating to hop into. Even joined the Discord a few minutes ago. This community's awesome. That warms my heart, Leonilian. It's all thanks to chat. And also, this cat. Look at them slim. Internal factions with very different ideas on what should be the focus of their games. Uh, well, to me, it, it's, it, it, it smells of a organization with a couple very loud personalities inside of them um, that dictate a lot of... Like, I, 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 I get the impression that there isn't a huge amount of autonomy in their sub-team structure, their internal studios. Hey, Sageling. I mean, I, I'm talking out of my ass. I have no idea. But just like, j based off of precedent, it, it feels like it's like, it, it seems like a top-down thing of like, we want to do a new game with like this. I don't know. I don't know. They're, they're a black box. They're a mystery. We can also just say Miyamoto. I mean, I don't think Miyamoto's the only one I would point a finger at for that stuff, but it seems like Miyamoto, from the rumor mill, and I don't even know how much of it is even confirmed. But it just, it leaves the impression that Miyamoto's the kind of guy that, like, he is not easily dissuaded from his opinions. And if he disagrees, it's not happening. And again, that has led to some of the greatest games of all time. So is he wrong? He's not right all the time. <laughs> that's, the, that's the way to flip it around. You can't be a genius and have no misses. And so he's still a legend and deserves every accolade he's ever been given. But when it leads to like, I, I, I think it's one of the things where I think Splatoon is largely a lot of younger staff on the Nintendo. I think also Bowser's Fury was along at a, or, and, and Odyssey as well. Not completely independently, but I think Nintendo has basically since the Wii U with the Switch been like allowing younger staffers to have more autonomy within the studio and direct more projects. Um, and I think it's been, I think it's been working pretty, there's been a lot of good games on the Switch. Feels like the, the Wii and the Wii U had some good games, but a lot of weird decisions that still persist today, but there's a lot of very talented people there. Brent and NVIDIA people are often not super pleasant. Well, yeah, those don't necessarily go hand in hand. Splatoon was originally a third party that they fired and made it good? Really? I remember reading an Awada asks back when Splatoon 1 was coming out. Where they're like, here's the original tests that we did. Where it was a block of tofu that could sink down into a pit of goo and then fly around. And then there was like bunnies for a bit. They're like showing like screenshots even of like the early Splatoon prototypes. I didn't realize that was a third party that they fired. I mean, I haven't read it in years. There are a lot of steps. God, weird. Focus on the moving theme parks. That's been pretty hands off on the gaming side for the last five ish years. That could also be. Tofu came after, huh? Uh, I, uh, what, what, what happened in the meme? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. The guy fucking... 
So, Killy posted this into the Discord. Um, and said, take this and go nuts with it. So, I made soup. Posted this. And then, um, the, uh, General Isaku posted this. And then Obtuse posted this. Mon Decay posted this. And uh, <laughs> Vix posted me with the fucking elephant's foot. <laughs> uh, I'm upset. My day's ruined. Bar Noble. Yeah, new emote. Bar Noble. Hello, fellow travelers. I'm in the middle of a journey just as you appear to be. Other travelers I meet are like brothers and sisters to me. If a town is what you seek, follow this path to the east. It's a pair of bucks. A desert town called Dry Dry Outpost waits at Path's End. Hey, thanks, bud. I'm having a rest in the shade. Rule number one when traveling through a desert, never hurry. Deserts, especially this desert, are vast and confusing. And if you wander too far afield, you'll definitely get lost. Hey, I got a little lost, but then I found the path again. So it's all good. Beep boop ba Nah! I can't find where I clip stuff. So I wanted to clip something when I was watching GDQ last night, and I also was like, where's the clip button? And I hit Alt-X, which is the keyboard shortcut, and that let me clip. But I wondered if that was just me. It's missing for me too. Twitch, you good? That was like yesterday. Welcome, Dry Dry Outpost. Hooray. Wow. It's beautiful. You got a mouse over stream. I have the clip button. I do? That's weird. Gone for me. Strange. It disappears sometimes. It's currently missing for me too. Mm. When I cry clip something, it fails. <laughs> Clips.tv slash create. Yeah, I don't know. Again, on, if you're on desktop, you can hit Alt X. And that is the shortcut, which can just do it immediately, but strange. On mobile, it appears. Yeah, I didn't check on my on my phone. Eh. And my nose is itchy. Kevlar, thanks for 58 months in a tier two. Speed of dry dry. How goes dry dry docks? How does dry dry docks go? It goes. High caliber cookie, thanks for gifting us up to Shifter 087 for their sixth month, the golden key. Mielvin 9, thanks for the 69 bits. And high caliber cookie, thanks for gifting us up to Moonwing for the 13th. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm mobile. Mouse go over it. It says Alt X is shortcut. Yep. Alt X isn't working for me either. Weird. If you refresh, it should come back. Strange. Half the time Nintendo never does anything with the weird ideas they end up paying dividends. One of the random weird ideas turns out to be amazing, then they usually never build in it with a new game, it becomes a wildly popular success. Move on no matter how below it is. Sorry for the wrong rant. No, I totally get you. Because, yeah, that is, it's like... I'm trying to think of a good example, but... Certainly, they'll take a weird right turn and be like, this franchise is this now. And sometimes it's amazing, and you're like, holy shit, and maybe they do, like, another game line that style, and then they make another sharp turn. You're like, but... If you hated that, that's great, because now it's doing this over here. Um, I don't maybe, maybe, maybe it's not the best example, but what comes to mind is Mario Galaxy. When Galaxy was coming out, it's like, was anyone expecting the next Mario 3D platformer to have floating spheroid planets with their own gravity, and you go from one to the other and fire bits out of your Wiimote into the screen? I don't know. Certainly Sunshine was a hell of a departure from 64, but Galaxy was not a return to form of 64. It was its own weird thing. And a lot of people love Galaxy. Uh, I've been very publicly critical. I think fairly, but I've been critical of that game. But it certainly has its fans. And Galaxy 2 is clearly iterating upon and building upon that. And then they completely abandoned every idea unique to Galaxy and went off to other things. Um, so, yeah, it definitely... I mean, after they did, they did 3D Worlds, so they took like an extreme step back, almost before 64, step back in terms of Mario design. So... 
if you're like me and you're like, eh, I'm not as into the Galaxy games, then cool. Eventually we got Odyssey, which is one of my favorite Marios, so it worked out for me. But if everyone's like, I want more Galaxy, I want Galaxy 3, Nintendo's like, nope, we're not doing that. So it's, it's strange. It's weird. So, keep forgetting the second game exists. Galaxy 2 is real good. Galaxy 2, in a lot of ways, is Galaxy 1, but better. But, uh... They didn't include it with the Switch port, so it's still locked to the Wii? Maybe it's playable on the Wii U. I mean, it's playable because the Wii U can play Wii games. I mean, I think it might be on the eShop, but... I don't know. Nintendo was, Splatoon was developed by Nintendo Entertainment Analysis and, Devi and Development, EAD. That was merged into software development after Wada died. The series was created by one of their game designers, Hisashi Nogami. Not third party. That was... I thought it was all internal, so I don't know where all that was coming from, but... Listen. I learn new stuff when I stream all the time, so I didn't necessarily dismiss it out of hand. They did the speed on the Wii U Virtual Console. Gotcha. It's on the Wii Shop 2 for two more months, and then if you want to play Mario Galaxy 2, go find a disc on eBay for $500. Good fucking luck! Baffling. Utterly baffling. You must have a, hot, a long, hot journey getting here. Welcome to Dry Dry Outpost. Mustafa is the leader of this entire town, so you better keep it in mind. Although you probably won't ever see him. Oh. Master Mr. Mustafa is the main man, yeah. He's the main man, ooh. Where's the man? No one knows. He stays hidden from his foes. I'm learning a lot about this Mustafa. You hear there's a dojo in Toad Town? There is. A while ago, I took one of the dojo challenges, did pretty well. I must say I got a second degree card. He looked pretty strong, so. Huh? You haven't earned any cards? Nah, I forgot it opened. Have you seen the old fortune teller in Toad Town? He's always right, so his fortune telling's famous. If you had trouble in the middle of your adventures, it'd be a good idea to see him. The third party had a concept for a Wii FPS that never released, and some elements of it seem to have heavily influenced early Splat concepts, such as robots using water guns. Now we third party can first party. Okay, so there was a third party game that never came to fruition that had some kind of a water gun mechanic that bears some similarity to Splatoon. To me, that could be chalked up to coincidence, not knowing any other details than what you've literally just told me. Um, to me, that's not definitive proof that, like, this was the earliest version of Splatoon, but it's still interesting, I think. I appreciate it. Anyway, uh, hi. Hey, guess what? Hey, somewhere in the desert, there's a stone cactus. If you move three south and two east from there, you find something special. Three south and two west from the stone cactus. Not sure how to find it exactly, however. You should go there, huh? Yeah. Hey, want to hear something else? I know lots of other stuff. Useful stuff. Hey. Did you know the desert's dangerous? You get caught in a desert world one, they'll blow you away and you get lost. Bandits are out there, too. They appear all of a sudden, run real fast. They steal people's coins. There are many tales. You better pay attention to them, too. The desert's an unforgiving place. Want to hear more? No, I'm good. Splatoon is the sequel to Mario Sunshine. You just play as... Hmm. You make the goop instead of clean the goop. What was that about? Temporarily closed. Hmm. Look at them rat feet. Doing a rat wiggle. Splatoon is the sunshine bad ending. Are you from Toad Town? Well, that's a ways away. Dry Dry Ruins? Nope, never heard of it. Sounds like a local fairy tale or something. Hey, if you're serious about looking for Dry Dry whatever, you should go and ask the information trader. Supposedly, this information trader lives in town and swaps information for items. Or something along those lines. That's what my friend says. My friend, this guy? Nah, he's way too shy to be an information trader. Mm-hmm. He's shy. Record the rat noise. We need it for the instrument. Like the Mauser enemies? Yeah, 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 similar. Are you addressing me? A composer am I writing songs when I try? Uh, I wish I could find some lovely heart moving lyrics. I want to compose music filled with beautiful lyrics. It's my fondest wish. Uh. Doki Doki Panic. I want to see where that cactus leads. But also, I might die in the desert, so I'm going to put a save here. How am, I, how am I doing? I am dying of no HP. And there doesn't... Is there is there any, a heart refill box in town? That'd be cool. Or maybe a, a toad... Oh, God. 
Yeah, there's a toad. I'm, I'm presently dying of death. Toad house slogans refresh your body and soul just like you take a nap. Yeah. Did you sleep well? I had a lovely nap. Thank you. Wait, can I get into that? No. Oh. Looks like I could, like, hop into that. Co-wiz time. Please, no. I want to go die in the desert. Oh, shit. Stop that rat! Did you see him? That rat! Behind the toad house. Got it. A dusty old hammer throw it to damage an enemy. Dried pasta. 3 HP, 2 FP. That's not bad. Welcome, traveler! This is the renowned Little Mauser's Shop of Dry Dry Outpost. What can we interest you in? No, I'm good. Hmm. Those girls are not ancient. Left side of the screen, in front of the door. Over here. Wait, over, he over here? Over, over, over here? Over here. Hmm. Keep this quiet. If this woman casts a spell on you, it might help you during battle. For instance, your attack power might get stronger, or you might get more coins for winning. Other stranger things may happen as well. But do not rely on this spell. By no means will it take effect in every battle. The spell can be beneficial, but it's also unpredictable. Hmm. Hello, welcome, how are you? Feeling jolly, feeling blue? I'm Merle, you see, that's me. A cuter gal you've never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of the spell. When, may, when my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare to take a chance? Or to watch my cards dance? Yeah. Oh, how lovely, very good. Pick just one now, if you would. Mwah. I'd pay as much as I could. Do I want the petite, the ordinary, or the special course? Do I want to be a big shot? Need only a little course for a little man? I can be a little and special. Go all in. Let's be special. How long they last. Well, we're ready, tally who, and here we go. Mwah. Holy shit, she's hot! I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. It will light your darkest hour. Even should you beat a beast, do not fear not in the least. My spell makes a famine a feast. A famine feast. Uh, see you then. Please come again. Goodbye, my friend. Mwah few chapters worth? That's a long time. Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna go die in the desert. Of consumption. Unless there's a good reason why I shouldn't try to follow that man's instructions now. Quizman? I don't want to talk to Quizman. Was it, it was, was it two south and three west? Or two... Three south and two west. New Delta Room chapter in 31st next month. Is that confirmed? Oh god. No! I didn't hear about that. Uh, where am I? Shit. I'm lost in the desert. I'm back. February 31st? Hell yeah. Favorite day. That way. South. Eh. South. I think it was two and three. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. Uh. Eh. Nah. What's that? Where? Nothing. Eh. No. Stop it. Uh, west again?
But was that already... Maybe, maybe back? And maybe, maybe south? Maybe it was three south? I don't even know what I'm looking for. This looks like a whole lot of nothing to me. Oh. Cool! Let's see what this sounds like. Nah. Uh, I missed A somehow. We'll skip that on for a little bit. <sighs> um. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, uh. I'm allowed. I think. It's fine. Try to find the oasis. I have no idea. But I do know that um, we're almost at a level, so I kind of might as well bop a guy. Ooh, blue cacti. That's fun. Bring back some good memories. Hey, Rock Play Games, welcome. Thank you kindly. Oh, wait, I found the oasis. A tasty tonic. I'm a raider. So you are. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. This is a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The member you upgrade will gain attack power. Party member will also master a new ability. Which do you want to upgrade? Oh, shit. He'll master charge. Gumbario gets charge. Cooper gets dizzy shell to paralyze enemies. Bombette gets power bomb. Shamish? Attack all on ground enemies. That sounds quite nice. Paracarry gets airlift to carry an enemy from battle. Hmm. Spec and a bomb. I'm kind of tempted for Goombario. Cooper. And in Quake Hammer, help me get through the desert and its bandits. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't sleep on being able to paralyze enemies. Is that a one-hit KO? Uh, airlift sounds like it. Sounds like he just plucks them from battle. And they're gone. But I imagine you don't get anything from them. So, I don't really want that. Bomb or Coop Scoop. Right, but also their base attack. I mean, it's like I'm leaning towards Goombario for no good reason other than I want to have him out when I'm in a new area to uh, to tattle on the enemies and being able to just, like, keep them around and not have to swap them out. And I'll do more damage. But maybe I should just have a really good bomb. Goom does four damage? That's pretty good. He hits twice. Bomb is strong, costly. And if enemies have high defense, the, de the defense can negate multiple hits. Because you're doing less over time. Right. If they have a zero defense, then he'll shred through them. But I didn't expect this to be that hard of a decision. But I don't remember these being... I think there are one for each party member, but they're not very common. I do have a ton of FP now, though. It's true. So I can afford to do fancier moves. I can't decide. Gumbaro, Cooper, or Bombette? Bombette's kind of become my go-to for messing people up, but... Yeah, 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 fuck it. Fuck it, I'm gonna pull it. Humst. Gumbario. Cooper. Bombette. Pericary. One minute pull. Quick pull. You got one more pull. This one's this, this one's for me. Bombette's turn key is a heart. So it is. It's cute. Ba -da 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 -da. Bomb. Make sure you vote in that poll. You got a couple seconds left. Fuck this animal. Refuses a little ponytail braid. Yep. I think it's cute. 
Bombette's just a better Cooper. Well, she be she already can do damage. The thing is, Cooper can already hit everybody. But if we make him stronger, then that attack just would do more damage, right? So that's also very nice. Bombette currently cannot attack everyone, but this would let her have the option. Cooper would then gain the ability to paralyze. So maybe Cooper does make sense. Because he would just be better at hitting everyone. As well as having the option to paralyze if there's a lot of people. Well, chat said 50% to Bombette. That works for me. We'll do Cooper next, probably. You want to upgrade this member? Sure thing. Power! Cooper has one defense. Doesn't change the rank ups. Gotcha. Super rank. Proud of you, Bombet. Oh, look, they get a little dot next to their name. Yeah. Destroy enemies on 6 FP. But yeah, we do have a lot of FP, so. Whoa. What is happening with this animation of the graphics sliding over? Oh, it's fine if you go that way, but then it gets mad if you go that way. Weird. I wonder if that's just the Switch emulation being weird. That seems like an oversight that might not have existed in the original. Yeah, this art is super cute. That's what I was kind of saying last time, where, like, this game... Like, I just, when I was talking to, to Mer Merly, or whatever the hell her name was, and, like, Mario was, like, put into these cards and shuffled around, like... They definitely don't shy away from the fact that it's Paper Mario, even though the Japanese version, he wasn't paper. It was Mario's story, but they lean into the idea that he's, like, paper thin, like, actually within this world. Um, they don't shy away from it, but the game itself, due to hardware limitations or whatever, does not have a paper aesthetic. There's just a handful of times where they sort of lean into it. Forgot we had that on our hammer. Um... But, uh, I don't know. It's like it, it not being obsessively tied with a paper aesthetic means they can have this, like, cute pastel art, you know? It feels like if it was a more recent Paper Mario, it would either just be in-game assets or it'd be, like, cardboard cutouts and stuff, which are cute in their own right. But it's like, I like that the first two Paper Mario games aren't everything's made of paper. It's like, yeah, a lot of stuff is evoking paper, and that is a trend that increases the further into the franchise you go. But they just kind of have their own style. It's not just paper and, like, arts and crafts. There's, there's more going on. Yeah, the curses and stuff definitely lean to it more. Let's try Power Bomb. Press air to the act. Jump on that block, you got it. Finally, more bup! We're back. Back to bup. Oh, shit. Hey, how you doing? Do your thing. Hopefully that thing doesn't despawn immediately. Whatever it was. Oh. A life shroom. Restores 10 HP on Mario's HP at zero. Like a fairy? Like automatically? Um... This just cures poison and shrinking without any other benefits, so... Don't need it. Like a fair automatically. Damn! That's nice. Cool. Um... What badges do I want? Uh... I want that. Quake Hammer uses 2 FP, slightly damages all enemies on the ground or ceiling. That does sound nice. Not gonna lie. Action command decreases Mario's damage one. That sounds pretty good. That would use up all my remaining boop, but this means if I get the thing, a lot of attacks that do two HP just do zero, which definitely adds up. More damage to Mario's takes, more coins he receives. Speedy spin delivers a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and be able to move. Mario straight, we're gonna make the first track. Eh. Quick hammer is really useful in the upcoming section. All time classic. Yeah. Your call. Quick Hammer can flip certain enemies. For now, we'll do this. But if I wind up being just like bodied by stuff over and over, I'll just switch over to damage dodge. Alternatively, I could switch out Quake Hammer for like power jump, which I don't really use much. So, we also have that option. Just do that instead. Does damage dodge have a narrower timing window than the regular thing? Oh, no, I'm good. 
Nope, it's because I was like, but the text implies that you're fine. Same window. Yeah, so I'll just do that. Cool. Just a plus one. That's basically just a badge of plus one defense, one blocking. It's pretty good. Smash charge redundant because Quake Camera pierces defense. Oh. Then... In that case, maybe keep power jump? If there's something I really want to jump on. Alternatively, I could keep... Uh, or put on... Don't really need refund. Speedy spin! Speed! Fast! I don't really need speedy spin. Maybe once I have more BP. I do like it, but it's not really necessary. Did you get your boop back? I sure did. Um, yeah, let's put power jump back on. As an option. A brother and sister were very close live the top shooting star summit. The brothers Merlot collects uh, star pieces and will trade badges for them. Sister Merlovely? Mer Her name's Merlovely with an L and then another L. Mar not Merluvi. Is a fortune teller who will tell you where to find badges. Thank you. Hey, hello. I'm assisting an archaeologist, Professor Colorado. I came to Dry Dry Desert to excavate Dry Dry Ruins, but it's hot as blazes every day and I'm constantly thirsty. I want to quit and go home. I'm as parched as a piece of parchment, chat. That's what I named the stream because it's desert, but we're paper. Long ago in this very land, there was a kingdom called Dry Dry Kingdom. King Mousto ruled over it. One dark day, he was betrayed by his subjects, and the uprising that followed, Dry Dry Kingdom, was ruined. King Mousta escaped and vowed vengeance on his enemies. He gathered those faithful to him and defeated his betrayers. King Mousta's supporters were the original robbers who built Dry Dry Outpost. Well. Quiz! Chuck Quizmo's the name, and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them. If you can manage to answer my brain busting questions correctly, then. Yeah, yeah, yahoo! I'll give you a star piece! Wanna try a quiz? No. But yes. Then let's go to the question! Where are you taking me? Oh my god, I blacked out. Where am I? Hey look, it's Luigi. And Yoshi. Everyone's here. A question? What is the name of Gumbario's younger sister? Gum Gumbaria. Gumbet is funny. Go correct. Congratulations. Holy shit. There's a toad with hearts instead of dots. It's cute. Here's the star piece. Her name's Garbodina. Her name was Stacy. You've correctly answered one so far. Good luck next time. Well, well. So long, farewell. Auf Wiedersehen, goodbye. Till we meet again. Oh, wait. Hey, oh, ooh. Hmm. That toad's name is Vanity. That's very cute for many reasons. He has like a hundred questions. That's a lot of questions. Well, I nailed it. I heard an archaeologist named Colorado's around here looking for dry, dry ruins. You know what? Even if he digs up the entire desert, you won't find them. It's in space. Uh, that post was built by robbers long ago. You know, the boss of the robbers was the descendant of a king. The king hid the entrance to the ruins of his kingdom, and the robber boss guarded them. Legend has it that even now, the descendants of that boss hides in this town and keeps the ruins safe from prying eyes. You didn't hear that from me, though. Look at this bundled up little rat. I adore them. Someone who gives things is nice. Yeah, very, yes, very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. What, what, do, what do I not need? I give him a nut. If I give him an egg. Or how about some tea? I do have an excess of tea. Yeah, you got a good stanky wiggle text. One egg. Three egg. It's the lemon. Tea. Offer him an egg in this trunk. I kind of want to try cooking it back in town, though. Let me give him a tea. Tea's nice. You give me something. You might be nice. If you're a very nice guy, you'll give me something more. Uh, two tea. You give me something. You might be nice. If you're a very nice guy, you'll give me something more. Uh, um... 
B uh, uh, well, have, have a egg. Have a sleepy sheep. I don't really care about these. You give me many things! Very nice guy. Yes, very nice. More pointing in the parlor. Jesus. Okay. Bri quickly. Briefly. Um. Uh, DNL Kiro posted this. I point at the dog. Uh, Viet Tam. Posted, point at the trombone. Um. Snow Beetle. Snow, Snow Beetle has me pointing at a, a Picross of me pointing. The Kiro has me pointing at Shenron. Uh, Dean Kiro also has me doing a tall point for a tall cat. And MD Major and pointed big. Thank you. Thank you all for your for your service. I appreciate it. Big point for a big cat. Yeah. Oh god. Also looking at my stream preview just now, I thought the left half of the screen was a face. The two the two windows in that like water trough or whatever that is. I was just like, oh, there's just like a creepy face on the screen. Uh you give me many things. My name is Sheik. I trade in information things others do not know. So nice guy, what would you like to know? Eh, nothing. I just want to give you some stuff. Point at the point. Big chat, just the right time. Um, what's your favorite food? Can I only ask him one thing? Hold on. Like that, like Zorobo. What's your favorite food? My favorite food starts with an L and ends with an N. It's a yellow fruit, so sour. A lime. Such a nice fragrance. Its tree grows only in the desert oasis outside town. If you were to go to the oasis and get one for me, I might believe you were a true nice guy. For, of course, only the nicest of nice guys can meet Mustafa. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me something more. Yes, you understand? Enough. Oh, I could sequence break. Well, that's kind of why I put down a thing. It's like, I think you only get one. What about the desert? Dry, dry desert's a vast and everlasting sea of sand. Under this sea, many secrets lie buried. More secrets than there are stars in the sky. I like that they always capitalize star. It's consistent and cute. The legend of dry, dry ruins is one of these secrets. Only Mr. Mustafa knows where the legend rests. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me some more. Or I could time warp. Now I get to the ruins. You must see Mr. Mustafa to find the resting place of the ruins. He's a descendant of the great robbers who built Dry Dry Outpost. He is somewhere in the town, yes, but exactly where only his close followers know. I could tell his secrets, but only the nicest and nice guys. Yes. No, I'm good. Yeah, more of a time fraud. Actually, do I do I need to know about the lemon to give him the lemon? Just to be safe, I'll ask his favorite food. Goodbye. No? Alright, well, I'm doubly safe now for no reason. Uh, let's get our foot back. We've made four timelines, and we'll make more before the day is done. What's a sour food that starts with an L and ends with N? I can't think of a single one. I just don't know. Alone. A leprechaun. Limo apple. How do I get to the oasis from Mia? Is it right from here? Ugh. No, just leave me alone. It's not right from here. Shit. Way itself. Anybody got any limes? Keep forgetting that's on my hammer. There we go. Limon! Well, that's obviously not what I'm looking for, so I don't know. That's the tree making that noise, not the hammer.
What do you mean? That's what it sounds like. Don't tell me you've been Mandela affected. And you thought that Mario's hammer didn't moan. Oh. Lime. Hmm. Hey, say, Mario, is that a hammer in your overalls? Or are you just happy to see me? A both. Try hitting all the trees right before the entrance. A letter to Morty in Koopa Village. Morty! Morty, I turned myself into a Koopa. I'm Koopa Rick! Was that, was that all I needed to see? Is that, is that... Morty, I turned myself into a lemon. You gotta give me to Sheik in the dry, dry outpost, Morty. It's the only way to progress the main plot of Chapter 2 of Paper Mario, Morty. Anyway. What if I give him the lime? Do I get kicked out of town? I'm back! Um, let's just create spin. Yep. Hey, Stod, how you doing? Hope you're staying dry during this crazy time, friend. I almost misread that it's crazy lime, and I was like, why, yes, I do have a lime. Thank you, Stod. Hope you're having a good one. Appreciate it. Someone who gives things is nice. Have a lemon. Oh, heavenly a lemon! The nicest of nice things. You have proven you're nice by giving me my favorite thing. And since you're so nice, yes, I'll tell you something really nice. I want to know your favorite food again. And also how to see Mustafa. To find Mr. Mustafa, go to the shop in this town. First, buy a dried shroom, then buy a dusty hammer. Dried shroom, dusty hammer. Yeah, I'm gonna forget that. Buy them in the correct order. Remember, dried shroom and dusty hammer. This is a secret sign known to those loyal to Mustafa. If you buy these things in the correct order, the owner of the shop will let you see Mr. Mustafa. Remember, you must not buy them in the incorrect order. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me something more. Yes, you understand? No, I'm good. I wish you luck in finding Mr. Mustafa, nice guy. Yeah. He was definitely stuff from Thousand Year Door that is similar to this, but I would still argue that there's enough that feels different. It's also why I don't want to just play this and immediately stream Thousand Year Door. So, there's that too. Eh. If you immediately buy those in that order and when you first enter town, there's a unique dialogue. That's cute. Dried tr How many items do I have? I have eight. Perfect. Dried shroom be two coins. You sure you want it? All right, thanks. Dusty hammer. Uh, you sure you want that? All right. What ho? Buying a dusty hammer after a dried shroom? It's a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Mustafa know. That means you're in with Mustafa. Hey, brother. Good to meet you. Have any questions you need answered? Oh. You want to see Mr. Mustafa? He's usually up on the highest part of Dry Dry Outpost. Just keep going up, my man. Oh. Welcome, traveler. Um. You can take these back, I guess. Just keep going up. Uh, anything else I don't need? Put the goom nut and the egg back. I want to cook those in town. Don't want to accidentally use them. Alright. I look forward to seeing you again. Uh, let me buy a regular shroom. It's three coins. I would be a fool to not. None egg. Not a single egg. Let me keep going up. It's gotta be some kind of a parkour situation somewhere. Hmm. Huh. I don't know if I can climb these. Doesn't look like it. I'll figure it out. Oh. I wonder. Eh. Get in there. I'm a fool, but for other reasons. Yeah. I'm over here now. 
cute. Oh. A letter to the traveling nomad mouse on the road. A letter for a rat. Boop. You you good? You good? You good, Bombette? All right. Don't embarrass me in here. But but I was looking for Mustafa. It's just this guy again. Hey, what's this guy's deal? Um. This is chic. You'd think the guy could shake the dust from his clothes. If I didn't know he was an information trader, I'd say we should steer clear of him. Still, he's our best source for gossip. As adventurers, we have to deal with all kinds. Thanks, Gumbarium. Hey, nice guy, we meet again. I'm glad you found me. Whoa! Put on some pants! I'm Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in Dry Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. It's always good to meet a genuinely nice boy. I meet people all the time, but you are by far the nicest guy I've met so far. Your name's Mario, yes? I heard that you want to go to Dry Dry Ruins. I have a feeling you are on, on an important journey, so I will tell you the secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? It is filled with monsters, though, so I guess oops. You must promise me that you will tell no one this secret. What if I tell Colorado? I'll give you this. The Pulse Stone. The closer you get to Dry Dry Ruins, the faster it flashes. This Pulse Stone is the key to finding Dry Dry Ruins. Take it to the desert. Yes. The Pulse Stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get, the faster the Pulse Stone will pulse. Follow where it leads you. Find the place where the Pulse Stone flashes the fastest and use it to open the way. Da 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 dum! Sheik revealed his true self. I guess that means he's the boss everyone talks about. That's fun. I was expecting Mustafa to look a lot cooler. He looks real cool. Shut up. Thanks, Mustafa. Be good now. What? Ba, ba, ba. Ah, no, I'm Mustafa. I'm Mousticus. No, I'm Mousticus. Hoflax, thanks for 59 months. That is such an amount of months. And I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a good one. I was expecting him to have a mustache. Well, 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 what's this? No, I'm Mustafa. I wonder if that weird pedestal we found in the desert up over here was the thing. Ah. Shit. I don't remember exactly where it was, though. Oh, it beeped. Maybe, maybe north again? Oh, it's beeping. I keep forgetting that our hammer has that noise. Oh. 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 North and west? Ah! Uh, woo! Woo! Mamma mia! Hey, I found it. Oh god! Oh god, Gabario, hold on to something. How, Mario? I don't know with your teeth. Little, those little chompers you got? Okay, Mario. Speak, friend, and enter. What? So anyway. Hehehe. <laughs> well, look for the diamond in the rough. Speak, fuck, and enter. Fuck! I didn't. I misspoke. You threw me off my game. I need to. Re I need to start over. Hold on. It's dry, dry ruins. Weren't you totally blown away when it rose out of the sand? That was awesome. I wish we could make it happen again. It just <laughs> happens all over again. Thanks, Goombario. Give me the lamp. Is there a save here? Guess not. Maybe there's one inside. Let's get in there, buddy. Yeah. Hey, it's day again. Bliag, bluag. I'm the huge, scary Tutankupa, remorseless king of the desert. I mean desert. 
Who dares set foot in this, my palace of the sands? Speak and be known. Be gone from this place now, or disaster will befall you. What was that noise? What noise? Exactly. I should probably, uh, do that. There you go. Return the slab. Eh. Uh, bu 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 bu. yep, Hot Flex, thank you for the, the months, and Smashman, thank you for the bits. Whoa! <laughs> I really need to unequip this sound effect badge, but man, it gets me good. Um, you get him. This is a Pokey Mummy! Pokey mummies are pokies that dried out and became mummies that went to live in the ruins. That is a number of steps. Max HP 4? Careful, they have spikes on their heads. Trust me, it'll hurt if you jump on them. A mummification the makes them the poisonous. Commodore, uh oh. The Commodore 64. Telling the story of its bite. It had 64 kilobytes. Hey, purple. This is a bribe. I'm begging you. Unequip the moan hammer. I don't know. I don't even hear it anymore. I forgot I had it equipped. I don't know what you mean. Thank you for the hand me purple soft drink. I don't know what you're talking about though. Thanks. You get poisoned if you get attacked by a mummy. That's just true. If you get poisoned when they attack you, it'll take damage for a while. What do you say we beat them before they can poison us? Anyway, look out. Here comes the poison. Oh, yeah. Ow. Um, well, I need I need you to not be you. There you go. A bidor for Moanhammer? No. No. Yeah. Again, I ask you, what Moanhammer? Yeah, you know, a gas mallet. Oh! Number of coins you win! Whoa! Look at all that! That does cure poison, so that might be useful. Shit! Gaslight gatekeep moan hammer. I mean, listen, uh, power bomb! Yeah. Oh! Mice were never in other Mario games. I get Koopas and Goombas and Gump Bombs and Dinosaurs. Mice are real animals. They don't have any other animals randomly in there. Aren't there mice in Mario Bros. 2? Yeah, there's definitely mice in Mario Bros. 2. I don't know about another Mario game. There are the weird, like, kind of rat flipboard dudes in Mario 64. Yoshi's Island 2. You mean Doki Doki Panic? Yes. Spike shield badge. Let's march jump on a spiked enemy without taking damage. That I did not think you get that this early in the game. Sweet. I want that equipped. How much does that cost? Uh, two BP. Hmm. There's rat mice in 3D world. Well, this was well before 3D world. The question is, were there a lot of mice in Mario games before this point? But I'm saying that there were a few. They certainly weren't common. So I get you, but. There's also stuff in Paper Mario that has never been in a Mario game before. That's part of why it's good. Same with uh, Thousand Year Door. It's not just retreads of existing guys. I get what you're saying, though. That's like, they're just animals. It'd be like if you went to a town and there was just a dog. There's the dog hanging out. It was like, hey, welcome to the town. But I'm fine with it. Um, no, no. I could unequip Close Call. You asked very nicely, Purple, so I'll, I'll turn it off for now. I can't promise what might happen later. I can turn off Power Jump and Close Call to get Spike Shield. I guess the bigger question is how badly do I need Spike Shield? Because I only really need it if I'm accidentally jumping on dudes. And I'm not going to accidentally jump on a Pokey. So maybe we leave it alone for now. Yeah, Chet Rippo is just a weird looking guy in general. Yeah. Thank you for clipping, KO. 
Get him, Bombette! Shit. Bam! The monkeys! Yoshi's Island has some very good enemy and character design. It's really good. Uh, I can go up or I can go down. Well, I can go down. The door is locked. Ooh, a key! Easy! Ruins key. Look at a little bit of sand falling down from a butt, man. This game's neat. Like, there, there are little bits of polish and attention to detail, attention to detail that were just very uncommon on the N64. It shows a level of competence with making a 3D game that you really didn't get in a lot of N64 and PS1 games. Opens locked door and dry, dry ruins. Yeah. Huh. Pose for the fans. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, and the sand dripping from up above is is actually a, a detail that you should look at because it's important. It's actually real. Oh, look at that! Yeah. What but dub a dub is that true? Yeah. Lots of OSHA violations in here. Yeah. Super Mario OSHA violations. Woohoo! Hooray! Oh man. Fool, you have ignored my warning, haven't you, you fool? But I open an ice trap? You fool. You will follow my legions and become a mummy of the sands. No, no, I don't think I will. Doesn't sound like me. He's just a little beetle. Fuzzy beetle, my beloved. S tier Mario design? I think we can all agree. It's a buzzy beetle. They're cute, but mean. Max HP three, defense power two. Fire attacks don't work very well against these hardheads. If you flip them though, their defense power falls to zero. Keep flipping them, Mario. Heard they used to flourish all over the place, but now they're only found in dark, shadowy places. They're just real angry. Does this look like the face of forgiveness? He says with an expressionless little dot eye face. Very good, Dr. Bippus. Um, yeah. Don't know why I'm flipping this one over. I should just be flipping over this one. You know. Thinking with your brain's overrated. I'm not playing an RPG to use my brain. Though I should be. Quick camera flipping both. Yeah, I'm trying to preserve FP a little bit, though. I used a lot just on the first couple of pokies in here. So, I do have a lot of FP replenishing items, though, so I'm not gonna worry too much. But for just these guys, meh. Yeah, I'm keeping them from attacking. Oh, no, no, no. It's not in my house. We get back here. Shit. Wait, wait, wait. No. Okay. Man, they despawn quick. Wah. And wah. We. Hmm. Hmm. Hope I didn't need anything in that room below me. I did not. Cool. Would you look at that? Streamer's got himself a case of pattern recognition. Hey, everybody. Shroomer man didn't have really bad pool brain for three seconds. Don't worry. It'll it'll bounce back like a rubber band slingshot to the nards. Not in here. Uh you there! I do have Bombette in my party. Hey Bombette, you wanna mess this guy up for me? Oh yeah, three damage! Powerful. Very powerful. Stop. Nah, I'm good. You violated the law. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh Nuh-uh. Yeah, chat, it's three! I didn't get three points, though, from defeating them. Unfortunately. So I can go right into another room, or down to... Okay, let's go right. 
Hmm. Hmm. Eh. Can you get a triangle in here? Shit. They were teasing the Nintendo PlayStation. Clearly. What's that up above me? Look at the lighting on Mario. Raise a glass to the Commodore. The Commodore 64. Telling the story of its bite. It had 64 kilobytes. Hey, girl. Thank you. Try I tell you of. You murdered a guy. No, uh Your Honor. <laughs> no, uh is not a valid legal defense. Yeah, huh? Is too. Shit. Is so. Gur, thank you for the aim. The Cali Storm's knocked out power to my whole town. Now I get to spend tonight feeling like a weary traveler huddling around a fire on my tiny phone screen in a quiet forest, my pitch black living room, listening to the bard, a streamer, tell his funny stories. Shout out to anyone else currently knee deep in, in winter's bullshit. I hope the power comes back real soon, Gur. And that, uh, you staying warm, staying safe. Um, yeah, no, we had in LA some of the heaviest rain I've seen in probably years. Yesterday. I was driving around in it a little bit and I was like, I need to get home. It was, it was, it was cats and dogs. Um, so, yeah. There's more in the meme parlor. Oh, God. Goodbye, having a funny towel. Come on, one of the rooms with the chain shop murals. FYI. Hey, thank you. God damn it, Killy. Remember, remember the part of, of Pip Mario when Mostafa comes through the clouds? Uh, Zenny, uh, made this. Mm, push it. Uh, Hero of Time did this. Thank you. Pointing at Sora. Um, Mac, Mac, Mac has me pointing and pushing the button that when you press it, it makes you say, ooh. Mm-hmm. Moanda K. Eight. Voxification. This is very good. That, 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 I'm just impressed by that. That's some good photoshopping right there. Uh, Sildry, I detest this. Thank you. That's, that's, that's a choice. I appreciate D. Quaylen. It's me visiting the Big Bang Theory set. Big fan. <laughs> Vix. Vix. Uh-huh. Uh, Hero of Time did three. Hey, chat, look. Vix, this is uh, exceptionally in poor taste. Yippers. There I am, chat. Oh, God. And Hero of Time... Yo, you guys excited for the Mario movie? <laughs> I'm glad we're having a good one. I'm glad we're having a good one today. I went to Dashcon. I had a great time at Dashcon. Let me tell you. This is a good time. Yeah, join the Discord. You can ruin my day <laughs> with memes. Well, uh, hi there. Huh? Guess there's no one home. They're not all gonna spawn in after I hit this, will they? Oh, they are gonna spawn in when I hit this. The ball pit stream? Yeah. That's the new Twitch meta. Ball pit streams. You can wear whatever you want if you're in a ball pit on Twitch. Downloads the image. Thank you. I joined the Discord just so I could make that. Your work is valuable and appreciated. Thank you. And thank you for joining the Discord. It's a cool place to be. The hip hop in this spot in town. Yeah, you gotta keep it warm. On a chilly winter day like today. Remember the thing that I forgot and remembered? Ow. Nice. Bearing a bikini ball pit stream. Mm-hmm. It's gonna happen. 
Full battery about to die. See you later, folks. Have a good one, Sir Dan. Thanks for hanging. Have a good one. 80 degrees in Texas. Jesus. I mean, it was like 80, high 70s for a lot of the last week or so here in SoCal, which is utter shenanigans. Um, yeah, I want to do this. Oh, I've been poisoned. Eh. Poisson. In my veins. Smoosh him. Yeah, right now we had this really big storm that hit the west coast here. And now it's supposed to be pretty mild for the rest of the week and then more rain next weekend. So stay safe out there. Because if it's intense in SoCal, it's probably, like, actually a lot <laughs> in other parts of the country as that storm blows over. But it's all relative, of course. It's over. I'm fine. I'm fine. Fine, let's just... Eh. It does mean fish. <gasps> There's a guy up there. There's a guy up on the ceiling. I need Goombario to do Goombario things. Refresh also cures poison. That's a good reminder. Thank you. Appreciate it. What would I do without chat? Just play the same game just way slower and dumber. Oh. Is it in Thousand Year Door where they fly down and then go pow? I seem to recall them being like flip, 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 and then pow. Instead of this was just like, eh, and they slide in. He swoop! Alright. I thought so. It's a swooper! A ghost bat. Swoopers got their name because they swoop down out of the shadows. Max HP 4! Even jump attacks can't reach them when they're hanging on the ceiling, but Earth Tremors will knock them loose. Paracarry can also knock him loose with one of his moves. You can attack him however you choose once they're hovering in the air. Thanks, bud. Oh. Spell decreased damage you receive. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, Mario. Dude's got a thick skull. He's unstoppable. <laughs> Bam! Get over here! Bam! Supers are just called swoops now? Supers got a swoops. Oh god, wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, um, yes to this. Shit! Wasn't quick enough on the draw. That's fine, that one guy. I'm glad you're having fun. Um. Um. Maybe? Yeah, that was worth it. Good job, Coops. Sir. Coops, sir. Nice. Wait, then that time he did the thing I thought he was... When he swoops from the ceiling, it's one. When he's flying, he flies over, and then after a delay hits. Oh. I see. It's a hierarchy swoops, swoopers, swoopests. They're like Pokemon. A key. Now, continue on to the shrine of the silver monkey. What is this, a Zelda game? Getting keys, locked doors, oh my goodness. Um. Alright, let's, let's, let's get across. Although maybe, maybe, I, perhaps I should, um, sip of a beverage. Of honey. Yeah, sure. And maybe I'll do a little refresh action in battle. To get us nice and, and good. Oh, this is just somewhere. Oh, uh, wait, come on, don't go in that room. Oops, I mean, uh, uh, flee now while you still can. If you continue, uh, you'll feel a uh, horrible curse. Uh, thanks for the hydrates. Jinx and tracker. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Why did your thumbnail on my homepage have the Tumblr ball pit? Listen, little birdie. In my defense, it was only on my stream for about 15 seconds. In my not defense, in my offense, um, I did display that on my stream. So, that is on me. I assure you, it'll probably happen again. This is some kind of puzzle room. Let's see what was back here before we continue. Because I was at Dashcon. Yeah, I was just talking to Chad by the time I went to Dashcon. Ow! Dang it. Ow! Refresh me with 5 HP. It's kind of a little underwhelming, but you know. There's a badge hidden in that room. It's kind of worthless. You don't really need it. Yeah, but it exists, so I want it. Um. Uh. Paracarry is not really who I want here. Bum bet. Let's just blow everyone up. Ow. Nice. Ow! Dang it. Blow him up! I knew they had higher defense when they were standing, but... Well then, um... I just have to block everyone's attacks. Nice. So, you know. We're gonna be fun. Quake hammer then blow up. Oh yeah, I have a quake hammer. Thank you. Beep 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 beep. Actually I don't even need the power bomb, yeah. Just regular. Burr, 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 burr. Hiya. Um I was gonna say, I think I'll do damage. Cause she does three and they have two defense when they're standing up. Nice. And I got health. Cool. Uh I will eat the mushroom. Yum, 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 yum. Delicious. Uh, so we got, we got a thing to blow. Wait, where? I already forgot where. Yeah, down here. Get down here. There's a thing here. So let's think the left. Whoa. Turn back, thief. Your time is running out. If you do not retreat, you'll be in grave trouble. I do not lie. You will regret it. I believe you. And all, that's why I'm going to make a suspend point, because I haven't saved in a while. So. Um. No, wait. Look at the chomp statues. Even though I know they're just statues, they still scare me. This seems to be the very center of the ruins. In case I haven't mentioned it before, the architects of this place were geniuses. Maustafa's ancestors must have been amazing people. Well. There's five of them. And there's one of me. Hmm. Curious. Um... What? Oh. I'm quite whelmed. Hello, little man. Um, um, yeah. A what? More power? Yes. No. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I blocked it anyway. Uh, eh, do this again. Buzzy beetles are real cute. They're very good. Um, yeah. I haven't gotten the thing. No. Can't say I have. 
Get that thing I sent you. Probably a good idea, right? Feeling very safe, causing massive earthquakes in this subterranean labyrinth. Man, would you, would you look at that? There's four MacGuffins, each in a place. Within the place. He's fine. Hello, birdie. <gasps> Ooh, we said we would get uh, Cooper, right? I already forgot. I think we said we're gonna get Cooper because he can paralyze them. Will Birdie give to Greg their 18th month? That is a very mildly cursed skeleton key. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much, little birdie. Cooper has shell in his blue. Let's do it. You want to upgrade this member? Sure. You can borrow a parakeet it would be beneficial. Nice. <laughs> Just the timing that I hit A as that message pops up. Cooper's upgrade is super rank. We'll be fine. We can just cheese with save states. No, oh, I said it's fine. This is not that difficult of a game. Unless you're really bad at RPGs like me. So, eh. Dang it. Um, eh. I knew this place would have lots of hidden areas. Ancient palaces always do. It's like a law of ancient architecture, I think. And by the way, there's always supposed to be treasure, too. I wouldn't mind finding something nice. Gotta go back to the room. Yeah. That's okay. Huh? Kumbario's fine. Kerfoom. Actually, I probably want Cooper back if I'm gonna be fighting dudes. Wait, so I wanna go this way. I want that key, right? That I jumped over for the sake of lol funny times. I'd, I'm probably gonna miss the jump, so. Hey, Madam Rekka. Thanks for four months. It belongs in a museum. I agree. And Kuhn, thanks for a year and a half. Mamma mia. Enjoy your very mildly Chris skeleton key. Yeah, I can't reach that. That's why I put down. I was like, I don't think I'll be able to reach that. But I want to try. And never mind. Uh, thank you. Moon and Madame Ryoka. Well, I can go back up and over to this way. And I keep hitting C left when I need to hit C right. I don't have a good, like, brain mnemonic to remember left is items and right is party. Hey, look at those Pac Men on the wall. Weird. There's treasure in here. I literally did it again. Uh, what does Goombari have to say? Look at these staircases. How do they make them revolve? Whoever built this place must have been brilliant. Yeah. Oh, give me Cooper. Lefty eye to me, righty party. <laughs> That's a good mnemonic. There's an R in party and not an item. L for loot. And R for party. R for ro ro raggy, because Scooby Doo is like, you know, like a party. There's like a group of them. I think, I think, that, I think that checks out. L items? Rarty. The M for in Mario stands for Mario. That's why he's got an M on his hat. Not that it really looks like an M here. This kind of looks like a smudge. Or a heart. Retinue. Now that's a good word. Kind of looks like a V. Vario. M stands for me. Me? You. Me? This is the room with the super secret. Am I likely to stumble into the super secret or do I need to be smart? Yeah, what's the secret? Give me a, give me a nudge. Nope. Standing here, I realize. L stands for value. Trying to make history. Mhm. Mm well, um, should I not drop down into there? 
Hug the wall as you fall. The back wall? The point memes keep going. Jesus. Okay. A specific part of it or just hold up as I'm falling? The most left wall? Can I get over here? I can. There's a ledge you'll land on. Okay. I'll just... I'm like trying to be real cautious. I'm like, I could just put that... I'm playing on the Switch for a reason. There you go. Whee! Oh. <laughs> uh... I made it. Try that again. Whee! Oh, is that what I wanted? There's nothing else there. What? Okay. Too far. What? 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, that's bullshit. What? What the hell? Slow go. Makes Mario unable to run. His pace becomes very slow. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go. You told me I didn't want this? Are you kidding me? Fuck yeah! Day slow now! Let's slow away! Oh god, he's so slow. Super Hammer! Attack power of Mario's hammer increases. On top of that, you can now destroy stone blocks. Yeah, I'm doing a victory lap. Yeah, there we go. Spin when slow. Can't. I literally can't spin anymore. Why did they put this in the game? I don't want that out anymore. It was fun while it lasted. Which was about one second. In its place, though... Um, I'll just... You didn't see anything. Alright. Where to? Gotta go slow. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Jay Collar recently did a meme any percent run of Slogo with a whole time. It took under three hours to finish still. Damn. That just shows how optimized the run already is. Okay. Well, um, shit. Uh, this is gonna be fine. There's a stone chomp who guards the treasure in this room. He's made of stone. Duh. Max HP 4, attack power 3, defense 1. His jaws can supposedly crush a coconut. I don't know about you, but I don't want to become a snack. I already am one, Mario. Ow. I was so early on that. Well, I'm dead next turn. Um. Hmm. I guess I have the life shroom, but I'd rather not waste that. Yeah, super shroom. Yeah, that's what it's for. Trying to not just hold on to items forever. Um, let's get Bombat back in here. I was late. Oh, I thought that was good. It must have been a little early. All right, bop him. Yeah, get him. Nice! There it is. Just takes you a bit, you know? Hammer up! Oh yeah! Awesome syrup! Drink that with a straw. Yeah. Diamond stone! Hmm. I love that arc of Jojo. Okay. Now, we must continue this way. We need to go back a ways. Oh, no, we can go up here. Might want to take another look in the parlor. It's popping off. Okay, well, let me grab this cursed wooden doll. Diamonds are a long time. That is the saying. Got the artifact. Oh. Diamond stone goes into the square hole. The square gem goes into the round hole. Forbidden crunch. I think it was in here. Yeah. 
Eh. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Terrifying. Now that I've helped you find dry dry ruins, will I become famous too? You don't care. You're already a household name. Hmph. Hey, a picture some chumps. Maybe there are chumps guarding these ruins. Maybe. Don't. Are you dropping down there, Goombario? No! I gotta recall him. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, Bomb is, I think, probably my best. I'm gonna grab triangle. Pyramid. The pyramid in the pyramid. Hmm. Good noises. Maybe. Just maybe. That was super early with that one. Damn. Could have preemptively struck with a bomb bed exploding. Oh, does that work? If you send in bomb bed to explode on an enemy, that starts a battle? Never knew that. That's fun. Neat. Wait, I want that health. Shit. Thanks. Shit. Fuck. Anyway. Anyway, let's, uh, real quick. Rune Craster Crab. Rune Caster Crab. Thanks for 29 months. Appreciate it. Hey, Zen Zane. I think so. Holy shit. Uh, um, uh, wow. 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 They're, okay. Yeah, me and Parlor is having a fucking. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, wow, okay, well, part three starting with a fucking doozy of a point. Courtesy of Hero of Time. Oof. Uh, thanks for that. Um, WTB Soul has me pointing at Holberth. Remember Holberth? Joker Ham gives us pointing at pointing. Nice. Uh, new Yurgle Pop. Uh, Yurgle Pop. I found some diamonds. Nice. Hero of Time. Guys, look. Guys, look. I'm making. I'm making the tower tilt. Look. Uh, Dequalin. Great. Good. Thank you. Um. Also, your goal. Look, I found a chest, guys. I bet it's got really cool loot in it. Don't look at the chain coming off of it. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> one decay. Uh huh. Pointing at the ship of Theseus as a captcha. I. Mhm. Mm Jokerham put me into my own Elden Ring thumbnail. So thanks. Uh, <laughs> Dequalin also. Guys, look, I lost connection to Overwatch 2. Uh, Roxby. Pepe Silvia is real. Turtleneck says, we're rich. Look, guys. We're rich. New Yurgle Pop found Waldo. Purple soft drink. I'm touching Meridia's beacon. Uh, Meister J. Guys, look, I made it to Rhythm Heaven. Uh, Bumpus Cromwell gave me a weird droopy hand to point at the persistence of time, whatever. I blank on the name of the... Mac, Mac, Mac made me stop pointing. And then Bumpus made me point, but I'm sad. Uh, Roxby, I'm touching it once. Hero of Time, just, I'm not even really sure what to say about this, other than this does belong in a museum. Uh, uh, the Museum of the Deranged and Depraved. So thanks. Unnamed Trans Girl has... I'm pointing at the point, and I'm pointing at the sand. It's good. The Quailin. Very, very good. Great. It's actually a PNG with transparency, so that's that's fun. Um, 
You're a goal. I'm pointing at a cat! You guys see this thing? Bumfist has me pointing at Godzilla. Zilla. Zilla. God, Godzilla. This is just a screenshot of what my stream actually was not that long ago. So anyone who wasn't watching me but had me pop up, that just... That just feels right. Uh, cave. Wow. Time to go to jail for my sins, like framing my handsome felt friend unjustly. Guys, look! Prison! I will not confirm nor deny who's the puppet and who's the puppet master. It's on a need-to-know basis. The Tower of Pisa is banana-shaped because it started leaning as they were still building it. It's not shaped like a banana. What? Am I a puppet? Greg, thanks for 16 bits. Nice. Smashman, thanks for 16 bits. Nice. I love various community, but they also have me concerned sometimes. That is the correct response. We've never seen Barry's legs on stream. That's true. It continues under the ground. Um, I'm gonna Google Tower of Pisa Banana. Image search. Someone made a stack of bananas. <laughs> this is nothing. That's nothing to do. I, I, I. Okay, you know what? Okay, I take it back. I do see what you're talking about. In regards to the Tower of Pisa resembling a banana, I do see it now. I stand corrected, so. Alright. You learn something new every day, you know? Thank you. That's the, the history Italy doesn't want you to know. Where am I going? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm gonna just save, because I don't know. Um... But, um, no, I want to play the game and remember what I'm doing. Because I don't. I got a thing here. Uh, did I go back too far? Do I need to go back down? I have a big hammer. Yeah, I don't think I want to go back that far. Although, it would be nice to get the HP, but the HP's outside, so that would... ...respawn everyone. The stone block next to the key? Which key? There are like a hundred keys. This doesn't seem right. Um, but I'm, I'm committed now to going this way. Yeah. Do, 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 do. We got that? Oh. Well, I don't know yet. Should wait till I have them all. Well, there's that, but I don't think I have a key. It's locked. Do I save state this one over here? Oh, there was a block here. Hey, bam. Nice. Look at that noise is used in one of the Zelda N64 games. And by one, I mean maybe both. That switch depressed noise. Now we gotta loop around. Is there a way to get up there, though? Looks like there's something else up here to the right. But that's, that's a big jump. Switch depression. Yeah. When you get stick drift. Yeah, there's another thing up there. There's another one. Because I got the one on the bottom left. No, I got the one on the top right. No, I'm confused. Or, I uh, know I got... I'm there. There's one to the le left. I'm here. God damn it. I look away. And this is what I get. God damn it. I should have jumped on him first. Bottom right? I only have two right now. I thought. Have a good sleep, Kelly. Thank you for all that you do. This and every day. Hiya. Thank you exactly. Ow! My noggin. Uh yeah. That's fine. There's green things and one pink thing. The pink thing was the new hammer. That's confusing to my very small brain because one of the things you pick up is pink and one of them is green. And there's five slots? I guess we'll figure it out.
Attack SFX badge? What are you talking about? This just... what it sounds like. More star points? Wow! That was very in... Very minimal. Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna get real save statey until I'm back to full health. We are gonna level up soon, and that'll help. So I got the one that was in here. We got that. So I need to get the one that's to the right of that, but I got the key. And that must lead up there, so we're good, I think. Just open up the- no, no. Open this up. Shablamo. Scottomoosh. And this seems fine. Nice. Hey, would you would you look at that? It's like a puzzle solution. Cool. Bum 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 I hit right for party that time. I feel hungry for some reason. Did you hear that? My belly's making sounds like a chomp. Boy, a cold drink and a hot sandwich would taste good. Goombar is all right. You're all right, kid. Uh, do I want Cooper or Bombet to fight? Probably just Bombet and will blow up. That sounds good to me. Or they're just not gonna attack this time. That's cool too. Oh, there was that one up there. No, I'm fine. Um, power bomb. Mash it. Just barely enough for a level. Okay, what do I want though? I'm kind of tempted to grab HP. I know chat is gonna want me to get buff. I go HP. HP BP. BP can give you HP. That's true. Chat just wants the butt. BP slow badge for life. Regain your book. Yelpers for the buffers. Listen, I won't live long enough to regret it. It bounces out. Uh, okay. What do we, what do we want to spend our brand new bup on? I can jump on things. I can spin. I'll turn this back off for now. I gave in so easily. I do sometimes. Once at your 60s. Hmm. Wow, I could get increased HP. Hmm. <laughs> God put Slogo back on. It's free. I could have done that right away. Multiple FX badges? I don't think so. Oh, no. It just alternates. It's random. This is somehow worse. Is this TOS now? Uh, power bounce is a good one. Yeah, I like power bounce. And, um, um, speedy spin. First attack. Reform. Speedy spin. Speedy spin! And we're out of there. Zoom. Alright. We made it. Uh, uh, uh. E. What does refund do? Whenever I use an item in battle, I get some coins back, but... I... Basically, once I get back to town, can grind for infinite money if I so choose, so... Because we have a, sp a save state option. I'm not really worried about money. Lunar Stone. Yeah! Wah! Whoa, whoa, raise the roof! Raise the roof! 
Hey, there's a thing to refill my health right when I don't need it. <laughs> Would you look at that timing? Hmm. I'll hit it anyway. What am I game to get 950 coins? Oh. Then never mind. I forgot how it worked. I just thought it was something like, wow. Fast! But I can just find what the answer is and then just load up the save state. This is your final warning. Enough of this foolishness. Leave at once. Okay, old man. Um, let's grab Goombario so I can tattle. And an I do I need this again? No, but you know, it only takes a second, so. Blah <laughs> Oh! Oh, oh! Mm. Huh? Oh, oh, oh! He's made a paper, look! Oh, shit! You! You ignored all those very scary warnings! Don't you have the common sense to get scared and run away? What's wrong with you? You shouldn't mess with Tutan Koopa, a faithful follower of King Bowser. Uh, I mean... You shall regret this! Why does Mario keep tripping as he walks into battle? Um, Tattle. Tutan Koopa. The Chain Chomp did a little num num. This is Tutan Koopa. He's one of Bowser's followers and he's been assigned to guard one of the star spirits. His shoes are untied. It's just like Brawl. I've heard that he has a sort of a pharaoh complex. HP 30, attack 3, defense 0. He attacks by throwing shells from that high perch. Try to dodge when he uses magic. Its attack power is 2, and it'll sting for sure. And he also summons chomps, his loyal subjects. Those chomps have some serious attack power. Think hard about who to attack first, Tooth and Koopa or Chomp. Thanks, buddy. Um, and power bounce. He's in Mario Pinball Land. Weird. Fuck. <laughs> come, Chomp, come! Bite this intruder! I did good. A type of Pac-Man? No, not really. They're kind of their own thing. Uh, don't have anything to do with Pac-Man, really. Um... Here's the problem. If I go with Koopa or Bombet, I don't know if either of them can attack Toot and Koopa. Maybe Bombet's Power Bomb can reach? But just the regular attacks aren't going to cut it. Tattle the chump? Oh. You're right, he's not a stone chump. He's just a regular chump. Well, hey, thanks. It's a chump. You've heard about chumps before, I'm sure. HP 4. Defense 3. Oof. Oof, ouch. They're made of such hard stuff that most of your attacks won't even phase them. I heard a rumor that the chumps are a little peeved at Tutankubo because he works them so hard. Oh. Is that something I can use? Paracade's good for that fight. That's what it's saying, it seems like. Is there a way to get them to attack Tootin Koopa? I'm trying to think what would even hurt them. Because my hammer does three attacks, so I'll just negate their defense. Nope, that's just a fun little Easter egg. Hmm. Can Paracoop attack the Chomp? Yeah, probably. Quick Hammer goes through defense. Hey, about that. You can knock him off his perch. Nice. Nice. Um, again. I think I'll switch to Paracarry, though. Because, yeah, I don't want to be using FP that much if I really need it for uh, Mario to cut through those lads. I don't remember this fight. Yeah, me neither. Bleh hee 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 hee. I'm a magical genius. Watch and be amazed. Ow. Good work. Alright. Well then. Um. Um. I guess I'll jump on him. I think I got the timing. Ow! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, here we go. 
Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! He hung in the air for way longer than I thought he would. Come, chomp! But yeah, bad timing loop. Yeah, we could have done way more damage. Oh, well. Hello. How you doing? Kabam. And you can just kick him. Kick him. Ow. Oh, this is bad. Oh, hey. Cool. Um. I really should refresh, but I'd rather get rid of the Chain Chomp first. I'll do it next turn if I'm not dead. Kick him while he's down! Ouch! What are you doing? That hurt! I'm king of the desert, you rude, rude man. Take this. Oh god, I might be dead. Never mind. <laughs> well, that works. Uh, yeah, refresh. Close call, my beloved. <laughs> Keeps me alive. And kick him. Good. No, don't. Ow. Okay, that's fine. Um, do it. That's fine. Not enough to one-shot him, but it'll do. Come, jump! No, don't. Does the fight end if I kill him? We'll find out either way. Might still need to kill the chomp. Nope, just gotta kill him. Nice. Come and have a chomp. If you think you're chompy enough. No! Ah, uh, come here, chompy. Why do you- ah, help! R.I.P. Tutan Koopa. Uh-huh. Oh! Oh! This star is a girl. Because it has a bow. A pink bow, no less. Uh, I'm good. Yeah, I'll probably just leave. Nice! Have a good one, Leonelian. Thanks for stopping by. Nice. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> End of chapter. Thus, Mario and party unearth the legendary dry, dry ruins deep within dry, dry desert. They smashed Tutan Koopa the wizard. He was a wizard, and I guess he was. And freed Mamar, the second of the wish granting star spirits. But the enemies awaiting Mario grow ever stronger, and the challenges more difficult. What's in store for Mario and friends? Where will the adventure take them next? Who knows? Who could possibly say? <laughs> Hello. How are you feeling, princess? Nothing makes me happier than a smile from you, Peach. Well, tough luck. I'm in a very bad mood, you monster. You've imprisoned all the guests from the castle. You are the single greatest disaster to ever befall the Mushroom Kingdom. I'll tell you what. I'll smile when you make everything as it was before you showed up. Wow, that's rich. You know I can't do that. That jerk Mario just beat the Koopa Bros and Tootin' Koopa. Sure, they were complete wimps, but they were still loyal to me. I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me. I'm nipping this in the bud right now. I'm gonna use invincible tub of blah blah on him. He's the strongest creature I know after me. You best forget about Mario. Your nastiness. 
What? We have a problem. Why, Cammy Cooper, you're my right hand wizard. What's got you so riled up? You look upset. Pss, 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 pss. Pss, 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 pss. What? What? The star spirit flew away from Tumble Blubba's castle? King Bowser, keep your voice down. Princess Peach will hear you. Uh, yeah, right. Mm. Tell me the details over there. Just out of earshot. There you go. Twink, did you hear that? I keep telling you that's not my name. Yeah, I sure did. The star spirit must have escaped. Did you hear him call that tub blub a thing invincible? That doesn't sound good. Think Mario can win? We better try to find out about tub blub If we could find something, anything about a weak point, it might just save Mario. Good idea. And there's no time to lose. We won't get anything done if we stay in this room. I have much business to attend to. With the utmost of urgency. A photo of Mario. To the library. And whoop. Beep. Bowser with kitty ears. You mean Meowser? This is Mario 3D World. Exactly. Yeah. Also, uh... Sangloop Monzantabody. Thanks for seven months. He point. Are you? Thank you. He hid his diary. Ah, jeez. Well, we better, we better be careful here. Don't want to get caught. There's still guards outside. Be careful not to get caught. What's up, meh? Oh. He saw me! Princess Peach! You know you're not allowed to leave the room. I'm sorry, I have to take you back. I was like, maybe he's sleeping. I can just walk in front of him. Oof. Well, anyway. You alright, Princess? Did they hurt you? Yes. I'm fine, thank you, Twink. That was stupid. I gotta be more careful. Anyway, let's leave. Shit! They're guarding the door! Alright, well, let's just load the stun point. I was like, what if I can just walk out and enter the stealth segment again? Hey, Gaijin Goomba, how you doing? Alright. Uh, what's over here? Mario? Yeah, I did it last time, but that was before we were allowed to walk around. We probably- probably lots of guards in here, I better be extra careful. Do 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 Boop beep boop 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 beep boop bop Beep boop boop bop These guards are real good Oh I need that pee badge Think of all the pissing I could do Power rush When Mario's in danger his attack power increases by two It's pretty good I'm in danger quite a bit because I'm not very good at the video game. Or planning ahead. Or RPGs in general. What are these guys doing? Oh! Hey, have you heard about Master Tubba Blubba? I heard a rumor that he loves eating ghosts! Oh, uh, ghosts, huh? Master Tubba Blubba, he lives deep inside a forever forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the star spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in the castle at the top of Gusty Gulch. Is that a Fortnite location? I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion in a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubble Blubba sometimes goes there to catch booze. And then when he catches one, he gobbles it down, starting with its head. Jump! Oh man, that's so scary. Now I won't be able to walk to the bathroom alone at night. Now I'm gonna have nightmares. I know it. Why'd you tell me? I also heard that Master Tubble Blubba's invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Even Master Tubba Blubba has to have some weak point. It's just common sense. 
Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Tubba blubba has got a secret that would ruin him if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. I heard he didn't used to be strong at all. Shh, What if Tubba blubba hears you, he might gobble us up. Still, what do you think a secret could be anyway? But I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you halfwit. Twink, it sounds like Tubba Blubba is a weak point after all. If only we could find out! Huh? Hey, did you hear someone talking just now? A gasp! You think someone knows we're goofing off in here? Oh, whoa, Princess Peach, how'd you get here? I'm sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room right now. Ah, shucks. God damn it, Twink, keep your voice down. Oh, no! <laughs> dilly, dilly, be. Thank you, Mario. At last, I can head home to Star Haven. Outer Haven? Outer have My name's Mamar. Nice to meet you in person. You still got a long way to go, but I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. Yeah. 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 There you go. Mario's star energy goes up to two. Mario can now use lullaby. With lullaby, you can make all enemies fall asleep. Call at me when times are bad. Believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I'm a star spirit, after all. Him, him, him. Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. For now, I'm going back to outer space. Who knows how my dear old Star Haven's faring without the Star Rod? Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. Oh, the heart's wiggling too. That's pretty fun. Yeah, okay. Oh! Did you see that, too? I'm losing my marbles out here, Paracarry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Well then, uh, back to town? Maybe we should tell Colorado this is here even though we swore we wouldn't. You know, just like as a goof. Just because I think it'd be funny. Murmur. No, murmur. Shoot! He got in my way! Why do I keep tripping? I don't remember tripping at the start of every battle in this game. Uh, uh, well, uh, um... I don't know if Quake can Well, I'll just try it. Okay. Because of the shrooms. Yeah, maybe. Mario has hopped up on several things right now. Okay, yeah, well, you know, I guess when you get powered up by a demon ghost, that tends to happen. We do have a letter to the Nomad Mouse. Thank you for that reminder. We also have a letter to Goompapa. Shoot! Bam! And, uh, you do that. Almost missed. But I nailed it. No, 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 no! Yeah! That's the road! This way. When you spin as you enter a battle. Hmm. What do you mean, Ran? You break the block to start of the game, too. Oh, my God. Hey, you. I recently saw a billow of smoke over the northern part of the desert. There was a big thud as well. Wonder what it was. Ah, well. Huh. You have any idea? Traveling no matter mouse, correct? The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Yeah. Another letter duly delivered. A letter to me from Mustafa. Heard the name, but can't remember who he is. Anyway, thanks for delivering it. I'm surprised that you found me way out here. It's extremely hot traveling in the desert, so take care. Oh yeah, take this as my thanks. Don't hesitate, please take it. Okay, all right. What were the other, um, um, when, when you, when? To Merlin in Toad Town, Mort T in Koopa Village, Goomba Pan Goomba Village. And also an artifact. Oh, that's probably for Colorado. Do I have any reason to go back to Outpost? Eh. I don't think so. Ugh. 
Spin. I don't think so either. I feel like maybe there's a, nah. it's a chance that Mostafa might have some dialogue or something, but probably fine. One simple question. Exactly. Nice. Bop him. Yeah, my hammer's normal. Y'all smell gas? No, nah, surely not. Hello. Well, what ill luck. No clues about the runes. I'm getting so frustrated, I just might have to give up the excavation for now. How very sad. I say, Mario, that artifact you hold in your hand, it looks like, quite, it looks quite important. Do my eyes deceive me or is that a clue to dry, dry runes? Mario, chum, I beg of you, could you possibly part with it? Uh, wow, well, well, uh, sure. Have the cursed doll. Smashing really, old boy. Soon now the mysterious dry, dry ruins will rise from the sands that conceal them. As a brilliant archaeologist, I say it must be so. I suppose thank you, gift is an order, eh, old boy? Here you go, then. Don't spend it all in one place. You now know a bit of the magic of the desert. Cherish the memory, old boy. Mm. Nigel Thornberry is very good. You found a clue! Yeah, I'm motivated again. We're gonna find those ruins. Just go northeast. Professor's really excited now that he's found a clue to dry, dry ruins. He's starting a full exploration immediately. Finally, our research is starting to move forward. Maybe it'll be less boring. Damn. Yeah, it probably belongs to Mustafa, but you know. I just happened to bump into Colorado. So. He now owns a priceless artifact that doesn't belong to him. Yeah, do I have to really travel over the mountains again? To get back to the train? I guess so. Not that it's that far. It still seems weird you don't unlock, like, a quick way back at this point. Hey there! Hold up a sec, partner. Just a darn minute I've seen you somewhere. Should we fight? Maybe we should fight him. It is tempting to just say I'm Luigi again, though. Yep, very similar. You look like this fella Mario's on Bowser's Wanted poster. Now give, what's your name? Say your peach. Okay. Uh, I'm Princess Peach. Nice to meet you. Uh, what? What's that? Princess Peach? You take me for a fool? Princess Peach is captured up there in Bowser's castle. You reckon I don't know that? You're asking for it, you big fibber? I'm thinking you're Mario. Prepare for your whooping. Okay, but what happens if you just say that you're Mario? And Mario? Well, I'll be. If you're Mario, I reckon I got to bust you up. Okay. Yeah, I figured he'd still whoop you. I just want to see what the dialogue was. He's too high up in the air for me to attack him with reckless abandon. I already did Luigi on the way over. Oh, shit. Eh. Fuck, I misread what that said. It was like, press it three times? Huh? Anyway, who needs to tattle? Am I right? I say, I say, son. No. Let me go. What if Luigi again? Ow, my face parts. This is Buzzer. He guards Mount Rugged. Wow, that's one big bird. Max HP 40? Dude's stronger than the boss of the dungeon. You get caught in his sharp claws, you lose 4 HP, try to wiggle out of his grip. Special attack is flat because wins great wins. It's great damages your party members. He was hatching eggs, wasn't he? Is it possible he's really a she? I wonder. Hmm. 
Wow, yeah, we haven't done any damage. Um, power bounce. It's my signature move. No, no. God damn it. <laughs> Very bad at this fight, apparently. Uh, no, I'm gonna do it again. Why am I so bad at this? Um, let's swap out for uh, the paracarry. Yeah. Ow! How many moves does he have? Lullaby. No, refresh. Then maybe lullaby. Paracarry, I need your shell shots. Yeah, if I was Luigi, I'd be doing a lot better. I wonder if I'm gonna hit him. Yabam! You fucker! Yeah. Oh, Jesus, that was close. That is extremely RNG. Can he fall asleep? Or she fall asleep? I wish that they were sleepy. Nope. Immune. Nice. He loves to seize it. Ah, fuck. Great. Son of a biscuit. Eh. Yeah. No. Stop doing this. Fuck you. Ugh. Um, just regular jump. Oh, I should have done a fancier jump. If only I could YouTube rewind. Oh, hell, that was quite a boost. Jeez. E -e. Almost. Don't. Ow. Fucking. <laughs> I was ready to button mash. E eh. Dee -dee -dee. Dead. I'll have for only 14 experience. Jeez. Yo, I got whooped. Oh. And they're dead, Pericary. But who will raise the children, Mario? I will. We're going the wrong way, Mario. This way to the eggs. Okay. That's fine. Um. Do you think I want to go like this? She's a demon ghost, specifically. Very specific type of ghost. What? Sh shit! Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is fine. I might get murdered by a Monty Mole. Ow. <laughs> I should, uh... I should maybe get my shit together a little bit. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm doing good. I'm doing real good. I'm just gonna, real quick, I'm just gonna do this. Just so we at least don't have to fight the boss again. Boss? It wasn't even a boss. He was just a guy! Hey, cool, save. Made it. My Earth by Nintendo Awards finally came in the mail today. Hey, nice! Very cool. Wait. Watch me take the slide, Paracarry. Watch me go. I'm a brave, brave boy. Okay, Mario. Wee! Did were you what? Did you see it? You were very brave, Mario. Darn right I was. That was a, that was a tall slide. Excellent work, Mr. Mario. Phew! Feeling better. Hey, nice. Where does this lead? Oh! Hmm. I thought these were way more spread out throughout the game. They really just throw three at you, almost back to back. Um. Now that is a question. 
Goomb? Imp increase power of Goomb? Or allow Paracarry to grab an enemy from battle and just be stronger? The more spread the game goes on. That makes sense. There's two for each partner. I thought there was just the one. Oh dang. I forgot. Might as well get the Goomb. Increase Goomb. Anything Goom can do, Paracarry can do better. Yeah, but I like Goom. I mean, they're all good. Yeah, make him strong. Yeah. After a certain point. I totally forgot. I do remember upgrading them in Thousand Year Door. But also, as I said before, I, I just remember Thousand Year Door a lot better in general. It's not a knock against this game, it's just a game I just find a bit more memorable, I suppose. I saw a creature called a Wacka. Yeah. Good night, Delta. Have a good one. Shall we head back? Hello, sir. The train's bound for Toad Town Station. Are you coming aboard? Yeah. Little conductor toad! How you doing, Will? One, egg. A kill's a kill. <laughs> All aboard for Toad Town. Hit me with those jams, toad. I'm always doing great. Ah, oh, shucks. Hope you're having a good GDQ as well. I saw you in the chat a bit there. Could've got another egg from that bush. Oh well. It scared me so much when he said, ooh, turn back, that I ran out of the ruins and stood there for five minutes before working up the courage to go back inside again. That's adorable. <laughs> I'm proud of you for going back in. Thought that was gonna end with, I ran out and never booted up the game again. Look at my pigs! Look at them! My boys! I'm proud of my boys. I'm so proud of them. Toad Town! Toad Town! End of the line, maybe. I don't remember. Hmm. Well, we have a seed to drop off. Maybe I should get another pig real quick. How many coins? Yeah, we got enough. Yep. Time to spend all our money on gotcha. What we got over here? Ooh, who is she? It's a flower, little oink. Nice floral design. Yo. You never have to worry about coins. As long as I have ten. Yeah, we got a silver in there. Silver the pig hog. Another rig. Can't go wrong with a regular pink pig. A little oink. Come on. This one better have a pig in it. It had a pig in it. Yo. That one was very bright. A white little oink. So pale and dainty. Look at it. Is the silver one flashing faster than it was before? I'm worried it's gonna explode. Maybe it's maybe it's got little piglets in it. It's gonna pop in a bunch of little babes. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! It's a shroom little oink. They're the cutest. Yo. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we're up to eight. Let's get two more. Moan hammer's not to be questioned or acknowledged. What moan hammer? Yeah. Nice. Another black pig. Uno mas. I moan too, and I'm hammered. I mean, what? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Oh my god, three of a kind. That's gotta be worth something, right? Yeah. Born to be what? Look at them go. This is the best day of my life. Next to the time I won infinite money from gambling. 
with a time heist. Let me uh, do a little bit of that. Ooh, baby, a triple. Hello. Welcome. Uh, nine block option. Try to hit nine blocks. Get ready to jump. Attack. I'm just gonna write these down, I think. One Bowser. All the non multipliers for. Right, you wanna get all the regular numbers and then all the multipliers. Game over! Better luck next. I guess I should have put the, the save. I don't know if it. It should work from here. Let me. I'll just put the suspend point here. And I'm just gonna test real quick if the first one has Bowser. Just make sure I didn't somehow mess with the RNG. Oh, it's different now. Cool. Okay. So, one is one coin. Two is Bowser. Great! This is going great. A save point after we start. It might, oh, it might be like the, like the frame you started. That could be. Okay. Suspend point from here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Try it here. Okay, it's not. Okay, great. This is five coins. Two is five again. Good. This is great. Three is w one coin. Four is times five. Want that last. Five is one coin. Eh. Six is Bowser. Bomber! No, that's not- uh, no, that's not how it happened. It was more like- so is this one Bowser? Cool. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, seven! Is one coin. Uh, eight. Bowser. That's- listen, we're just gonna heist it a little bit. Oh, this is the lesser heist. This one, nine. Nine is one. Ten is five. And eleven times five. Alright. We're good. Now we time heist. So I want this one, and 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 then this guy, and then this guy. Wow, yeah. Nine blocks option cleared. As a special bonus, your coins will be double. Yeah, that's excessive. You get 950 coins. Oh, chat. Oh, the luck. I'm so lucky. Whoa. Come again sometime. Hey, security, can we get him escorted out of the premises? How do I leave? How do I leave? Don't play. Let me out. Come again sometime. Thank you. That's so many little pigs. Holy shit. Let's fucking go. Ed is everywhere. Thanks for 17 months delivering letters. Is this the post game? Yes, it is. Hey, hope you're doing well, Ed. Thanks for so many months. Hope you're doing well. What am I going to do with all this money? Remember, I, I, I caps out at 10 pigs. So if I get another pig, it's going to kick out a, a pig that's already in there. So... I don't know if we need to get more pigs, necessarily. Yeah, I could buy, buy, like, badges and stuff. It gives you an item? If you buy a million badges? I mean, a pigs? What is this? Private. Try that in a minute. Let me spend some money first. Pig pen upgrade costs a thousand? No. These seeds relate to an age-old story. You plant all four, a miracle will occur. What will happen next? Actually, wait. We gotta spend some money first. Ooh. Dodge Master makes the action command work more frequently? What do you mean more frequently? During battle, let's use two items during one turn. Makes the timing window bigger. That, that's what I would guess. Which sounds good. I'm just... That was weird. 
the phrasing. Disables an enemy's defense power and injures it. Huh. BP is two. That sounds very good? It pierces defense. Yeah. Shit. Damn. So as long as you have that equipped, your hammer just negates all defense? Doesn't that just break the game? Uh, okay. Thanks. I want Dodge Master because I'm bad at dodging. Two. Oh, it's an attack. So the badge gives you an attack. And I might as well buy this too. Bye. Can't protect from the moan. What moan? Hey, what's up? Got it. Thank you. I have a thing. Take. You got a seed for me. Thanks. I'm really happy. Yeah. Pow. There you go. All right. Um, I have a letter for Merlin. And also maybe, well, how many, how many schmabobbles do I have? Uh, I have 13 star pieces. And I don't remember how many mer 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 lullaby needed for some of the better badges. Yo, Marlin, correct? Pig drops on some grabbing, it makes the pigs run away. That's so sad. Merlot. Yeah, Merlot. 25 is most expensive, so should I save up? Maybe not. Maybe I should check. It's just a bit of a schlep. So I really don't want to go if it's worth it. Name's Pat Carry. I deliver letters. I have one for you. Hang on a moment. There you are. I could get more pigs. It's true. Another letter duly delivered. Postman's job is never done. Who's it from? Hmm. Oh, my granddaughter, Merle. She recently entered the family business. Ugh. Is that so? I see. Interesting. She opened up her business, a dry dry outpost deep in the desert. It's located somewhere quiet off the main track. So they get a little hint. If you didn't see her, it's like, huh? She's in there? Seems to be keeping busy. That's good to hear. Thanks so much for bringing this letter. I'll give you this. Nice. Hey, thanks. Could get Zap Tap Peekaboo, maybe HP Drain at 13. Ooh. Maybe that's worth. Toad Town News, attention, Gala Radio giveaway. If you listen to the radio, you have a chance to win some fabulous prizes. You have three chances to win. Tune into the radio or these prizes will tune you out. Listen to the radio information channel for more details. DJ Toad Rock. We do know a guy at the radio, and we have to deliver a letter to Koopa Town anyway. Toad Town Underground News, Princess Peach Gossip. I heard from this friend of mine whose sister heard Peach likes... My cousin Beep said that Boop told Blip said it's true. You think it is? A gossip loving toad. You can't say that about the princess. It's sacrilegious, man. Any letters? Yes. Hello. He's received some mail. Bombette got a letter. Pear Carry's having a bit of a wiggle. Dry Dry Railroad. Here you go. Dear Miss Bombette, we write this letter as a humble request to you, the most worthy and explosive of all the bombs. It's still a long time off, but later this year we will be staging an opening event for a new Dry Dry Railroad route. We feel the event would be a gala bash if we could enlist your bomb-bursting help. Crowds love fireworks. Anyway, we'll get in touch with you after your adventure ends to confirm the dates. Sincerely, Dry Dry Railroad Transportation Department. Would you like to read more letters? No. That's extremely adorable. And I love that. Stuff like that, as simple as it is, to me, kind of... Partially solves the issue that plagues many RPGs, where... Party members are these interesting, compelling characters when you meet them. You join the- they join your party, and then they have zero character development or any plot interaction from that point on. Except maybe some key plot points. But they kind of stop being a character. Just being like, oh, you got a letter. And here's this, like, thing that, like, continues your story a little bit. Just, just a cute little thing, you know? I like it. Um, anyway. What am I doing? Should I go to Koopa Town now or should I wait till it's just easier to get there later? 
Let's see what's in the, the, the private pipe that was down here. The reason I dislike Octopath. Yeah, I never played Octopath. Didn't seem like it'd be my kind of jam. It'll be easier. It'll get easier to get there. Yeah. Just wait. Private pipe. There's no main character. So you just perpetually keep losing characters. That's just a bummer. Hmm. More recent RPGs. It, I mean, it's literally the majority of RPGs I've ever played where that happens. It is the exception to the rule. Bam. How much plan on going? Um, a little bit longer. See if we can get a, maybe up to... Well, I don't know how long it will take. Let's go keep going for now. Um, pop him. Everybody's the main character of their own story, no other character's private, any other stories. I mean, I thought that, yeah, I thought that was like the whole thing with Octopath. Oh, we've charged now. Charge attack power goes up by two, then returns to normal. Hmm. It's a Gloomba. They're nasty Goombas who live in the Toad Town Tunnels. Max HP seven. Attack power two, defense zero. They're stronger than ordinary Goombas, but you can take them. But they're not evil. They just live in the, in the sewer. Just want to make sure we get that correct. Party of characters don't actually interact with each other at all. That does seem like a shame. A missed opportunity for a game where you're spending... It's because it sounds like an Octopath because everyone basically has their own independent quest line. That you really get to know each of these characters. So that gives a lot of... A lot of room for unique interactions to flourish. And to have characters never, ever say anything to each other. Yeah, it'll bump me up. They're squatting. Hey, remember, if you follow the stream here, uh, you, you're, you're a squatter. And we believe in squatters' rights here, so... That's not meant to be a put-down. If you watch the stream without following, you're, um... You're a peeping Tom outside the house looking in. If you follow, you're a squatter. And if you subscribe, you're a house guest and you get a key. But also, you know, you can just do whatever you want. And yeah, get him! Persona actually, yeah, Persona builds a lot on the party. You have frequent conversations between party members in that game. But it's also smart because in Persona they give you these sort of structural moments, like the save rooms or like the meeting spots where you plan your next heist or whatever it is, and like there's a lot of opportunities they build into the game to force those interactions. Because a lot of RPGs, you pick the party members that are active in your group, and then that's kind of it. Um, and then there's just like the main plot that you progress through as sort of the protagonist. So it's like that's something that they're aware of. They're like, we want these characters to talk to each other. That's what the keys are for. Yeah. They do comment on the events of each story, but it's an extra thing you can miss. Hmm. But commenting on the events of the story is still different. That's better than nothing. Still different than either having their own independent narrative still kind of progressing in the background, even though they're not as important. Or just having the, the party members interact with each other can also do a lot to make them feel more fleshed out and not just chess pieces on a board for you. Any downtime where characters hang out together and eat hot dogs forever. And ideally, it's a thing that's optional. I think Persona does a good job of that, Persona 5, because you can check in with your party in those set instances, but a lot of times it's not forced. So if you're like, I don't care, I want the next major plot beat, you can just kind of skip over it and move on. It's a spike Loomba. They live in the Toad Town Tum- the Toad Town- Toad Town Tumble? The Toad Town Tunnels. They took a tumble down into the Toad Town Tunnel. When I'm playing Persona 5 on stream, never. Uh, for one, it would be like 500 streams. For two, uh, I get c copyright claims a lot for Persona 5 music, so that would just be rough for me to deal with. And, uh, yeah. Mario RPGs are maybe like the longest RPG I would really consider doing a full playthrough on stream. Because these are beefy, but they're still not that bad compared to other RPGs. Yeah, also, Atlas is weird about Persona 5 streams. It's a bummer. Play Persona 3 instead. Switch on the main characters. I usually don't mind it. Like, I think a lot of Final Fantasies will be like, here's your main guy. You can't swap out, like, Cloud or whoever. But then you have a bunch of others you can rotate in and out. I think that that's usually done well, pretty well. 
because at least for plot. But it's like that has the offshoot of when there's a plot conversation, it's always with the character they know is in your party, which makes production way, way simpler. But then the other characters just kind of fall in the background a bit. Dragon Quest. You walk into an inn and hire the party members you want and they're slowly falling for the rest of the game saying nothing. Yeah, that's strange. But it just depends on what the game is going for. I, 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 I'm specifically talking about the instance where you go to a new town, there's a drama going on, one character is clear, like, has, like, protagonist hair, they join your party at some point, and then have zero interaction with anyone or plot development. And that's why I'm like, even in this game, just be like, hey, you got a letter, and they're like, hey, thanks for using your party ability to blow up that rock. We want you to help us open a new railroad track in the future. But wait till your adventure's done. Completely pure flavor text, just like a kilobyte of data for that text. Very simple to implement, but it just makes you go, oh yeah, Bombette's a person. That's my point with that. They have spiked hats. That's true. In Dragon Quest V, your party members are your wife and kids. Oh. That's interesting. Um, uh, well, um, but yeah, da 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 do. Hiya! And let's swap out Gumbario for uh, Cooper. His wife and his children. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Tales. Of you could have talked to the partners to strengthen the relationship between them. Let me see. It's looking hard to find. Yeah, that's the other part of Persona that I didn't really even get into. Dizzy Dial. Um, is that they... Uh, from? I mean, I've only played five. I've just seen bits of three and four. And I don't really know anything about one or two. But it seems like there's... Blooper! Wow, Thousand Yador and Paper Mario 1 are basically the same game, huh? Um, that's fun. Uh, let's get Gubario back. Um... Well, they, the whole social link aspect of the game, where you're meant to spend time with certain characters and kind of level up your interactions with them. You eventually do, like, complete little side quests with them. Something that Mass Effect did well as well. Where you could, like, get very invested in someone's side adventure to the point where you, like, go on a mission with them that's, like, geared around capping off their plot. Like, that stuff's well done, too. Uh, what's this blooper about? There's a blooper! They lurk in the dank pools of Toad Town Tunnels. Max HP 30! They seem pretty unremarkable. Although, you have to wonder how they float in the air like that. Sus. I somehow managed to block that. That's a good blooper, right? It also, like, doesn't look... It looks less crunchy than Mario does. It's, like, very high quality looking. It's weird. It's very remarkable. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable to me, but... Well, what do I know? Um... I missed the prompt. Um... I could just para-carry special attack. Did it again. I don't know why that is the only thing I've been able to just nail. Um... I might unequip power bounce, because I'm real bad at it. And you there? You gotta hit him in the taint! The squid taint. Listen, I'm just pointing out what the game is telling me to do. Nope, do this again. Why is the target so low? Don't say blessy! Squissy is worse! Da, 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 da. Good. I brought this on myself. Yeah, I, I brought on myself by clicking start stream, so. More star points. Hey! That was a good time for that to pop. I want more HP. Bup! I know chat wants bup. I'm going, although I am going to swap out my power bounce, right? Yep. Get rid of that. 
Maybe we'll take a break from this nightmare. Um, what do I want instead? D pound down. D d d down pound. Disables enemies' defense power and injures it. Does sound pretty good. Two times during one turn. Oh, dodge master though. If only I had more bup chat. Damn. Shrink stomp. If it works, the enemy shrinks. Its attack power decreases. That sounds extremely useful against bosses, and I'm sure bosses are immune to shrink, so... Cool. The new badge. That's for me, then! D down pound, my signature move. Hmm. Uh, oh, we're back up to full because we did heal up. Yeah. This way now. There might be new and exciting lads in here, so... Get Kumbario at the ready. Blooper! Is this a different blooper? It's pretty big. Yeah, I think it's a different guy. Uh, Electro blooper. A few are weak to shrink. Damn. That level up was perfect. It wasn't just the level up. It was it was the the uh, the, the the wizard thing. Just deciding to give me way more experience. Uh, they're electro, uh, electro charged. HP 50. Bit of advice when they're emitting electricity, it'd be a smart move to avoid contact with them. If you manage to damage them while they're emitting electricity, they'll go back to normal. Their attack power when they're emitting electricity is 6. Try to be careful, what do you say? Hmm. I'm gonna, um, do this real quick. Because this might go terribly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know. Just, um, stomp them. Off to a good start. And that time I missed the timing. Good. Just keep stacking charge, you can vaporize them. Uh, okay. I didn't realize you could stack them. It says it goes up to two and returns to normal. You just do that every turn? Yeah, I got a little ink done. Um... Think he can be dizzy? Meh. Meh. Goes away once he attacks. Oh. So it's like the charge for the hammer. I'll hail the safe scum. That's what I do. Err. Err, err. Okay, well, charge again. Do I have any way to attack him with Mario? While he's... Electro? I should have equipped the hammer throw. Item? What item? I have Dizzy Dial. I could just throw that at him. Yeah, I don't have hammer throw equipped. Hmm... Got the item. Dizzy Dial, go! Throw a lime at him. That'll teach him. Holy shit, that worked. Cool. Um... Let's fuck him up. Charge up again. I'm worried Goombario's going to explode. I don't know how much this little body can contain. This is a disturbing amount of power. Oops. Should he attack? Because I'm worried he has one more turn of being dizzy. And I feel like he's about to just become Electro again. So I feel like I should just have him attack. He's just one big muscle. Attack. It does actually increase by two more. Just do it now. Alright, head bonk. Bonk him. 16 damage. Not bad. And he didn't attack again. That's fine. Ba -ba uh, do that again. Power for five minutes. Mm-hmm. Or I could swap them out and, like, blow up as Bombat. No, I want him to be strong. Be a strong little man. Get out of here. Get out of here with that. Really need better shoes. 
charge again. Decrease the damage you receive. Hey, thanks! So, are you saying I should jump on him? Maybe I should do- maybe I should just do nothing. <laughs> just wait. Parry carry can hit it? Maybe. Charge! Charge! Yeah, but see, why would I do that? Holy shit, four damage with the reduced incoming damage, and I blocked. Whoo! Um, yeah, we're good. Um. All right, murder him. Dead. It was just for the one turn. Oh, so I didn't count for that turn. Well. Oh yeah, he did say six. I, I don't know. I just was not expecting to be that much. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna save. Shishinipompi. Save complete. Um. Nice. Create suspend. Yep. Yeah, let's do that. Shell attacks are not considered direct contact. It applies to Cooper and the world's worst mailman. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which... Hello. Uh... Da, 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 ba, da. We've got mail for you. Howdy, Mario. How you doing? You're Goomba Bar, correct? The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I have one for you. Another letter duly delivered. Hey, thanks. Much obliged, Mr. Postal Worker. Great news! Fishing's one of my hobbies. This is from a friend who's planning a fishing trip. Can't wait. Oh, sorry to pile work on you, but could I give you a letter? If it's at all possible for you, could you deliver this to a toad named Musty? He hangs around the castle garden. I really appreciate it. Musty? Mm -hmm. Don't like that. Um, where was the block I needed to break? Was it that way? I don't- Shit. I don't remember where it was precisely. Although, I do want to do this. Yeah, Toad. Yeah. I may have a nap. Do they have crunchy nut cornflakes in the US? I don't know what that means. We have cornflakes? I don't know about crunchy nut cornflakes. If I check the veranda, will just drop me back down? Because that's where I want to get to. Can I just fall to my death again real quick? Oh. It's back. Oh! A shooting star! Shoots a shooting star that hits all enemies with six attack power. Can I just have this break and fall down? Nope. I don't remember how I got back here from when we fell. It was from this way. I gotta go this way. Because, wait, no, not the, through the gate this way. Yes. Because we got the hammer, then came back this way to break the hammer that blocked the gate to the right. So, it's got to be just somewhere around here. I'm too fast when I spin. Uh, yeah. Thank God. I was like, what do you mean this? I got repel gel. It makes them transparent and invulnerable for a short time. Well, that's okay. Hey. Okay, well. I was about to be like, um, what's this doing down here? It makes sense they would have just left this here and built a new one. That's fine. Alright. Let's get out of here. Too fast. You can't catch me. I'm s I am speed. Let nature reclaim the ruins. Woo, yeah, hey, bazoopers. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah. We need to go back to Koopa Troopa Town. I'm assuming this is Koopa Troopa Town and Dry Dry Desert. In order. Um, who was the letter for? 
I already forgot. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mort T in Koopa Village, right. Who's probably the guy who runs the... the shop. Morty, yeah. How could I forget? I don't see why we can't live in this vacant house. It'd be awesome. We'd want our own house for the longest time. But I guess we might have a problem if the owner of the house comes back, huh? Could always go back to the fortress, I suppose. Yeah. Mort T. Da, 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 da. I might want to store some items, too. We have quite a few. Hey there, are you Morty? You're Morty, correct? Name's Perakeri, I deliver letters. I have one for you, one moment. Here we are. Yeah, there you are, sign here and here, and also here. A letter for me? It's from my wife! How sweet! I love her so! You should see the mushrooms on her! Phew! Oh, pardon me, I got really wrapped up there. That wife of mine, she's so cute, she makes me crazy! Thanks for bringing me joy! Take this, okay? Thanks. Why? On a day's work. He apparently is married. Oh, we're currently separated! <laughs> oh, it's a letter from my wife! Oh, I finished reading the letter. I meant to say it's from my ex-wife! On a day's work, and this is Dry Dry Outpost, man? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Cool. Excelente. Did I just get that letter from the Goomba with the mustache? No, that's for the, the... I know there's a block to the left. I'll go back for that in a sec. Eh, fuck it. Let's do it now. There's also Koopa Koot's favors. Oh, no. Don't remind me. This gives such sharp and clear textures for N64 game. Part of it's just the higher resolution that the, the Switch renders it at. But the fact that they hold up well... Oh. I was... I did say, like, five minutes ago. Not even. Two minutes ago. I was like, I should put some stuff in a storage. And now here we are. That's not what happened. Phew. Close call there. Would hate to have to throw away something that might have value in the future. Um... Hmm. Although, wait, maybe... Well, no. It's fine. I was like, maybe if Koopa Koot wants something I have on me, then... Yeah, Snowman's fine. Hey, it's Koopa Chop. Hey, how you doing? Um... I don't want Shooting Star yet. That's probably very useful a bit later. Don't know about Repel Gel either. Seems very situational. Uh, you take a tasty tonic or two. You can't sell stuff back to him, can you? Um... Take that too. No, that's it. You can. How do you sell stuff? Probably with the button right here that says sell. He does sure does say that right there, doesn't it? But you can't sell stuff from storage? Yeah, beans. Oh. Although, again, money really isn't an issue f for us in this playthrough, so... There's that too. So who needs the- although I, it caps out at 25. So I need to be mindful of that. Or 30. Total. You came at the perfect time, young man. Do I see you doing another favor? Well, for that kind of you, I guess. I don't know if I'm supposed to see you. Find the Goomba Village to find Goompa, the grandfather. He shows a tape. I lent him a while back. Did you get it for me? I really want it. We saved the tape. I don't know what you're talking about. Try to keep this whole thing under wraps, would you? You promise, young fella? What's on this tape, old man? I mean, wait, wait. let's say it together. One, two, three. Porn. Thank you. Great. Very cool. Thank you, Koopa Koot. So, how goes the adventure thus far? You keep him cool? Keep it what's about you? Uh, Mario, looks like something else is on your mind. What? Koopa Koot says he wants the tape back. That old Koopa. How does he remember things from so long ago? Okay, wait just a minute. I'll bring it out for you. Where are you going, dear? I'll be back. Don't worry about me. I hide it behind the chair. In the Japanese version, it's a magazine of exactly what you think. Didn't we already do a delivery of a naughty book? This is it. When you see that old Koopa, give him my regards. A tape returned by Goomba. Deliver it to Koopa Koop. What's that? You want to know what's on the tape, do you? Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't tell you at the moment. It was great, though. 
I'm happy for them. I only hope to have a relationship so when I'm older, akin to Goompa and Koopa Coot. Capitalized and in quotes. The tape. Suffering shy guys, Mario, you're a real gent. Did Goomba complain? Hee <laughs> hee. Take this as a gesture of my eternal gratitude. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. Yes. Oh, what well, lucky gives me to do another favor. I have the so bad. I got a hankering for some Koopa tea. It's the very best. Fetch a bit for me, would you? Koopa tea can be made only with a fresh Koopa leaf, which you can find in the village. Brewing it requires a special technique. Only a culinary master can make this tea the proper way so it bursts with flavor. I think young Miss Tasty of Toad Town's quite the tea brew master. Well, you say you run along and bring back some pipe and hot. I have your word, young fella. Yeah, right. I guess now we can cook that egg and whatnot. And the Goomba nut. This is this is what I wanted most of all. Where do I get a leaf? Shit. Where do I get a leaf? The bushes. Anybody? Do they respawn? Cuz I think I grabbed a few earlier. Hey. Hey, there you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Way to beat the Koopa Bros. Now we can all live in this village of peace and harmony. Freedom's glorious. I feel so very happy. Surrounded by friends. We salute you. Ba bomb. Eh? Okay. Real positive energy today. A, B, C. Alright. To tasty. I should have grabbed stuff out of storage from the shop. We have to go back to the shop here. The shop's just in the main part of town, right? Uh, this is the shop over here. The shop is over here. I say with confidence that is undeserved. Oh, and go to the dojo as well? Is it worth doing the dojo? Don't know. Oh, we're sure grocery. I would like to claim. I would like. To... You can hear the dojo that's upstairs. That's real good. I want the egg and the goom nut. This is the item. That's all. Your reward is bragging rights. I will not then. Because I'll end up just. just cheesing time heist and safe states. Hey, Jimmy! How you all doing? Thanks for the raid. I thought you were playing this game not too long ago. Hope you're doing good, Jimmy. I forgot it was- Oh, Tasty. Yeah. It's Jimby. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. Hope you're all doing well. We are, um, we just finished chapter two. Jim Bob, me boy. We just finished chapter two, which was the, um, uh, the desert. And Tutan Koopa, and uh, we are just doing a couple things before we have to go fight, well, find the invincible Tubba Blubba. You're on the final chapter, never played it before. Hell yeah, Jimmy. Appreciate it, hope you're doing well. Um, I played it about like 15, 20 years ago. It's been a long time. Um, but I finally got my hands on one of these Switch controllers for the N64. So I finally upgraded to the Switch thing. Um, so, I've been taking advantage of save states, and it's great. Hope you're enjoying the game, though. Um, I'm gonna cook a goom nut. What can you do with this? I don't like that she said goom nut with a heart. But you know, Tasty's gonna do what Tasty's gonna do. Here you are. Recipe's not too bad. She made a nutty cake! Restores 10 f Okay, what, sh what can she do with an egg? One egg. One egg. Here you are. This recipe's not too bad. Here, please. Fried egg restores 10 HP. Nice. Handful of peas. One egg. And, of course, lest we forget the Koopa leaf. Make me some tea for the horny old man. Who lives in town. Omelette de fromage. Nice. 
Alright, and we're gonna now. What if cook lime? Make me a key lime pie, Tasty. I do have a lime from the desert. Cook with lime. Is your only ingredient. Here's the lime back. <laughs> she just hands me a lime. Oh, that's worse. Oh, man. Boo. Well, still worth trying. Uh, this way. Yep. I wish she just handed you the lime back. It's like, wow, what a, that was a challenging recipe. Here you go. This is what I gave you. Yeah, what do you expect me to cook with a lime and nothing else? I got a lime and Here's your tea, old man. Great growling gulp, but see the fire comparison, Mario. Lunch was excellent. This hits the spot. This tea is just as delicious iced as it is hot. You're a stand-up guy for doing an old coop with so many favors. I'll give you this special gift as thanks. Don't tell anybody, though. I've got a reputation to keep. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. Is it one coin? Three star pieces! You came with the perfect target, man. You want to do another favor? Oh, God, no. Why did I say yes? I have a secret wish to get the great Luigi's autograph. He's your brother, right? That young fella's truly super. You seen him jump? I just call him Air Luigi. I think Air Bud was more in the public consciousness when this game first released. If you could somehow get his autograph, I'd be real happy. Would you help, young fella? And like Air Jordans? It's been, it's, it's, the 90s were a different time, chat. Yeah. Of course my first thought was Air Bud. Uh, yeah, this way. Only 90s, kids. Ah, I am a skeleton. Oh, but I can bone zone. So this is a good thing. Air Ouija's. What's a 90? What's a 90 with you? Everybody's like, oh, one? Was it the 90s? I mean, listen. I've been wrong about many things before. And I'll be wrong again. Yeah, there you go. Ouija! Brother! Brother of mine! Where are you, brother? Bro you need the boots upgrade to reach Luigi. Brother, get down from there! I mean, get up from down there! Airbutt was 97, 98. Luigi's hanging out in his dungeon. He's indisposed. Where could he be? I don't need all of this stuff. Hey, how you doing? No, I didn't mean buy. I meant sell. Um, sell a tonic. One coin. Nice. Uh, uh, maybe the rest is fine. You're holding on to seven things. That's all right. Okay. Now let's see what's to the left of those warp pipes. And then, I don't know. I, I think that I need to go somewhere to have Twink show up and be like, Oh, you gotta go fight! Tubba blubba! And Mario's like, wubba wubba? And he's like, yeah, that's what I said. Uh, th this way. Seven is more than six, but less than nine, and that's terrible. Did the bad shop restock? It's possible. I haven't really gone... I guess I've warped around a lot, but... Wubba lub dub? Tubbly bubbly? Luigi's Dungeon. Yeah, it was on the GameCube. Snowman doll. Hmm... Is this a Dark Souls Levator? No. Wait. Also no. Wah. Hmm. Bubba Lubba Dubba that true. You died. Yeah. Um. Oh! Little guys! Wait. Who do I want to fight them? Not really Paracarry. Maybe Bombette. Well, actually, actually, Cooper. 
Cooper would get him. No! You fight Bazooka Joe. Throw the an egg at them. That'll teach them. Uh, eh. This'll learn them. Yeah. Throw a handful of pee at them. I haven't unlocked Jarade yet. I think that's in chapter four. Jeff! Goomas are sentient, some just live in the sewers. Yeah, they just choose to. They like it. I also like that the underground Goombas are blue, like in Mario 1. Super Mario. It just feels right, you know? Got him. Sweet Fang, thanks for the rate. Hello there. Hope you're doing good. Um, uh, sure. Damn, blue, that's mold. Oh. Dude needs a scrub. Nice hose down. Power wash simulator style. Nice. Do they work for Bowser? Well, when I tattled on them, they just kind of implied they lived down there. That's their only crime, is living in the sewer. Got him! Don't know why I went for the hammer. That's not gonna do anything. Hey, listen. Oh! This underground area is way bigger than I recall it being. And by that, I just mean I don't remember it at all, and I'm surprised there's so much down here. It's massive. Oh. Well. Get him! Probably should have let Cooper go first. Well, I wouldn't have killed him anyway. Eh, it's fine. Still do, uh, damage. Any ghouls down here? That, uh, no, no, yes. Sweet Fang! Hello. Yeet. Thanks for the raid and the 14 months. Late, super late happy birthday to you. Just played a game where the background character didn't run at 10 FPS. Was shocked to say the least. Hey. Well done. Oh. Oh, and there's a... Mm. Okay, so I have to remember that... Somewhere in the sewers, I need an upgraded hammer. I'm sure I'll remember that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, ooh, 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 uh. Nailed it. Uh. Um. Hello. Well. Don't think I have this guy yet. Yeah. We'll remember. I believe you will. Uh, eh, eh, eh. That's a pair of Gloomba. They're nasty winged Gloombas who make their home in the Toad Town Tunnels. Max HP 7! Just like pair of Gloombas, Gloombas lose their wings when attacked, they fall and become Gloombas. Pretty self explanatory there, yep. Uh, eh. Get them on the ground. Get them on the ground. Nice! And again! Throw them on the ground! Now they're down here with me! With the rats! And the mulch! And the... Sewer goo! There's a fair bit of that down here. Uh, yeah! Nice! Are they Gloombas because they're depressed? Yes. I don't know. They look pretty happy to me. Get. Bap. 
Hates and avoids the monsters in the Gusty Gulch. Just don't even really remember them. So this this upcoming chapter was where I got to uh, when I rented the game back shortly after it came out. Sweet. Money I don't need. I remember getting up to the invincible tub of blubba stuff. And then I had to return the game. I didn't finish the game until many years later. Never knew what happened after there. So, I don't remember the game super duper well anyway, but everything up to this point is stuff that I'm like, oh yeah. Except I've already been like, wait, who the hell is this Tootin' Koopa guy? I don't remember him at all. I thought I would remember the bosses better, but oh well. Ride that elevator all the way up. Ah, jeez. Gotta go back. Wait, no. Go back. Thanks for letting me know. Zoom. See, I wrote one up to the ceiling earlier, and then there was nothing up there, so I just assumed that none of them would ever have anything. The way that you probably shouldn't assume. Uh... uh ooh. Is there anything to the left? Tootin Koopa! Yeah, he's rooting in Tootin. Nope. What do we have here? We're... Huh. Uh, ooh, ooh! Hey! Uh... I don't know, maybe Goombario again? Get him. Warp Room reference. Kinda, yeah. Hey. Not too bad. Appreciate it. Kick him! You get him! Pair of curry and now I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm starting to get hungry. But I want to at least finish this up. If not more. Kind of at least want to, like, have a... Wait, that'll hurt him. There you go. Bam! Remember going to Funko Lane, which became GameStop. The employees told me to check out the demo casting when the file was already completed. Dude came in, borrowed the Prima official strategy guide, and beat all Paper Mario in a day. Holy hell. That's just impressive. Wild. Okay. So now we're done with that. I didn't go to the left through here. What is in... More gentlemen. Uh... No. Yes. Um... Eh. I can't believe if I watch VODs. That's, well, you'll always be live. That's what existing is, but point taken. Why did I do that in that order? I'm not a smart man. I'm watching VOD right now in the future. Whoa. And then why did I jump on him when now I don't need to and I could just hit him with the hammer? It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, we're all immortal. Yes, forever. Yeah. Hi yeah. Uh, bop him. No. Don't know exactly what I almost did. Yes. Well, let's do this at least. This makes a little bit of sense in my brain. And now hit him with the power shell. Yeah, life. Making life fun. I did think about it a little bit. My one brain cell started vibrating and got really hot. And I went, wait! I know what I can do. I'm gonna smash him like a bug. Mario's very messed up. Do not be like Mario. Don't be like Chris Pratt and aspire to be Mario. He's a psychopath. You can do better than him. His is an example to learn from, not to emulate. Hey, anyway, we did it. 
69% love of being evil. Nice. Well done. Eh. Yeah. yeah. Power smash. Hammers and I'm using lots of attack power. How much is lots? Um, it's probably like power jump then. That might be nice. You know, maybe a little bit. That's I'm reading the wrong thing. Um, power smash, two FP. Hammers and lot. Like that's exactly what it said on the tin. Okay, well, I could take off speedy spin. It's like power jump, but hammer. I do like speedy spin, but power smash sounds cool. If only we had more. Oh, I'm so slow now. It's like a slow. I could be slower. Never forget, I could be slower than this. Father, I desire the bup. Hey, computer, can I get a bup? Hey, computer. Hey, computer. Can I get a bup? Bup. Thank you, computer. All right. I feel better now. Um, boom. Do I have any more letters to deliver? Uh, we do. To Musty near the castle. Right, let's do that real quick. Yeah. It's probably around here somewhere. Is Iguana still activate? Yeah, I think he's underneath the chat. Roaming around. Are you musty? Can you have speedy spin and go slow at the same time? Probably not, because slow go deactivates spin. When Castle Seal is always bustling. You're musty, correct? Name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I have one for you. Yeah. He's a little shy. Another letter duly received. The postman's job is never done. Oh, it's from Mr. Goompapa. That old codger we think alike, he and I. It's been ages since I saw him too wrong indeed. This reminds me, I was just thinking about sending a letter to one of my other friends. Your timing's perfect. This letter is to my friend. His name is Coover. He lives in Koopa Village. I'd like you to deliver this to him. I'll bet he's near the entrance to the village. He usually hangs out in front of the toad house that's right on the edge of town. No big rush. It would be nice if he got it soon. Is this just a loop? Is this just an infinite loop that eventually just will go back to Goompapa? The chain quest? Is this worth do- is there any point where I get like an off-ramp to getting a reward? This, this- yeah. There is a reward, okay. This isn't just the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting a good number of smileys and that's concerning. A very good reward. Is it SFX badge one? A? You're Kuva. I'm Paracarry. Here's a letter. Eh. Just throw it into his face and run before he can say anything. You came at a good time. I was about... This is why we have to run. I was just about to spend, send the letter myself. Would you look at this? It's a letter from Musty. The two of us are always thinking along the same lines. He's one of my fishing pals. I'll tell you, if you don't fish, you should. What a hobby. And to think I was just about to send letters to all my fishing buddies about a trip. Once we have a good place set up, I'll write a letter back to Musty. So, could you send this along for me? Thanks so much. It's to a friend of mine who's always fishing at the Toad Town Port. He's easy to find. Thanks again. To fish? His name's Fishmail? His name's Fishmail. I need a nap. Thanks for the hydrate. Call me fish now. Oh. Did you sleep well? Sure did. Oh my god. Yeah. Who? Yep. P. It's also the radio contest you listen to in Koopa Village. There's also side quests you can do involving Pop Diva and Club 64 at the docks. Forgot about the radio. 
If I recall correctly, that was the third house here. Hey, bye, I need your radio. No, not that one. Yeah, that one. Moving on, folks. Ta da da dum. Attention, listeners, because here's your big chance to win. Anyone who takes a Koopa Leaf to the front of the main gate in Toad Town will receive a surprise gift. Right in front of that main gate, there'll be a Toad who looks a bit eccentric. Hand the Koopa Leaf to him. That's right, folks. You heard me right. The big gate on the west side of Toad Town. That's the one. You've got only five minutes. Hurry up. Let the game begin. Jesus. I need a leaf. Anybody got a leaf? Any Koopas got a leaf? I'm out of here. Yeah. Spin! I have to spin to get there! Good thing I have a warp pipe. This would actually be stressful if I didn't have the warp pipe. Spin. Get there. Gotta make like a Koopa leaf and tree. Went to a three hour rehearsal and just got home. How are you still going? I don't know. I guess Paper Mario was fun. I should probably be wrapping up soon. And I intend to. We're just taking care of a couple little side things, but next stream, Thursday, we'll be delving into chapter three. Where's the eccentric toad? Oh my god, look how weird this toad is! Wait, is that not him? Is he outside the gate? The pink one? Oh, look how eccentric this toad is! I'm the toad of the trading event. How are you? Did you bring the item? Item. Congratulations. This is the item for today. Sweet. Use it wisely. See you again for the next trading event. No, I wasn't doing a bit. I'm just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, uh, I gotta go to fish mail. So if you do all those ra- I, I never did those radio quests. Do they just give you items, or is there, like, a special thing? Like, maybe a badge at some point? This would be funny origami kick where all the toes look identical. Yeah, but they can't- they can't, like, make fun of that. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yo, little man, it's your friend Chet Rippo. Good to see you again. It's Chet Rippo, Chet. Usually this costs 390 coins for you and only you'll do it for 39. What a deal. If you give me 39 coins, I'll upgrade your HP, FP, or boop. Trust old Chet Rippo. Come on. We have so much. We get so many fucking levels from him. Okay, maybe not right now. Too bad you're lost. Another time, maybe. Come on. Chet, why isn't Chet like Chet Rippo? Man, chat, you gotta you got do some soul-searching and think about why you distrust Chet Rippo so much. Hey there, Ishmael. Let me fish mail. Stay still, curse your hide, on the hook with ye. Twitter hurts only a minute, ye blasted little wriggler. Cut it out now, here. I ain't gonna be bait. Leave off. Come on, now. Address to a person fishing at the port. This must be you. Name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I have one for you. I trust Chet Rip with my life, right? Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. What's this then? Shiver me timbers. What from Coover? Must he said he wrote a letter too. Everybody's got the fishing bug. Time for a fishing trip. You should come along, Mario. Yeah, that reminds me. I got a favor to ask. Could you deliver this to him? Him? Why the Koopa Troop who asked you to bring this letter to me? Coover's the name. Yar, take good care for the love of fishes. Okay, did we did we find the the midpoint of um, Christopher Nolan's memento? And now we're gonna work our way back to the beginning. Is the, is this now we're? We'll do Pop Diva later. You'll have to remind me next time, or I'll just remember it on my own accord, maybe for once in my goddamn life. Craig says no. No, I did use we used Chet Rippo earlier. And listen, just because I lost a couple lot levels. In exchange for more f doesn't mean he's a bad guy, all right? So, you know, trust in Chet. He's the guy. He's got the plan. Mr. Kova Paracarry here, I have a letter for you. Hang on a moment. He's just doing that hustle, man. 
Another letter duly delivered. Postman's job is never done. Thanks. Cool. From my pal. This must be the answer to my last letter. Thanks for the speedy delivery. Now I can send letters to the whole gang. It'll be great meeting up with all the guys and fishing up a storm. I've already written one. Here, can you take it? It's the Mr. E who lives in the desert. He'll most likely be hanging out in front of the toad house. He wears a blue turban. You'll probably notice him right off the bat. Thanks for everything. Did I swap around to be fuck based Oh, maybe that's what it was. I mean, that's basically the same thing. Yeah. And he's a mystery, that one. Yeah, the E stands for... Hey, Paisano, how you doing? He's in front of the toad house, so this way. We're in a blue turban. Hey, my man, how you doing? There you are. I love this town. There's no place like home. You're Mr. E, correct? Name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. Here's one for you. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job's never done. Gee, thanks. Looks like an order from Koopa Village. My job's delivering things from Dry Dry Outpost. This guy's a great customer. He's always ordering stuff. Hey, by the way, would you do me a favor and deliver this letter next time you're in Toad Town? It's to Miss T. She lives there. She's one of three amazingly beautiful sisters. She's normally chatting with her sisters in front of the dojo. Thanks a lot. How many fucking letters are in this chain? I want to go home. This was a terrible thing to do at the end of stream. I'm about three seconds away from Googling how many letters are in this chain. A postman's job is never done! How many times do we have to say it? Yes, I want to know. Tell me. Tell me how many more. Is this the- this is not- wait, is this- By the dojo. That is this way. Surely only one more. Three. Three. Uh, one of the sisters... By the dojo. Seven more? Where the fuck? There you- uh, You? Yeah, totally. Yeah, sure. It was, I want- I want boots! I'm wishing for- that was not the right one. Don't you think there have been fewer stars in the sky lately? You know, with so few stars, everyone's wishes aren't gonna come true. Totally. You think that Bowser found a way to steal our stars? Oh no, I hope not. I have so many wishes. Mostly I want some cool boots! Please give me cool boots! Please give me cool boots! Please give me cool boots! I won't wish for anything else. Teehee. Don't you think there have been fewer stars in the sky? Like, what? I, 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 I... You're Misty, correct? Name's Paracarry, I deliver letters. Here you go. Just slap it onto her face and get out of there! Run! I don't think I recognize the return address. Oh well, I'm always getting love letters from strangers. I'm super popular. But enough about me, it's so lucky you came just now, Mr. Postman. Will you do me a favor? I want you to deliver this letter to the shop owner at Dry Dry Outpost. I order lots of things from the desert, they have so much good stuff. Not easy staying this beautiful, takes work, We please deliver this? Thanks. Ugh. Come on, Paracarry, a postman's job is never done. I went the wrong way. Wait, what's that? Sleep stomp. That's cute. Multi bounce. Jumps on enemies in a row. I do want that though. I do. Multi bounce does come in handy. All right. Anyway, but I will need more. Bup. A postman's job is never done. Never, you hear me. No sleep, no snow, no annoying side quest. It will be done, my lord. The dark lord of the post, the postmaster general. Yes, my lord, it will be done. Post office is basically like a cult. They're just obsessed with mail. Hey there, you, yeah, you. Welcome, traveler. What can I interest you in? Nothing. You're the owner of the shop, correct? Name's Paracarry. I have a letter for you. Another letter duly delivered. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, this is an order sheet from one of my regulars. Good deal. She's one of my best customers. She orders things all the time. If health and beauty are what you're after, you can't beat desert lemons and limes. You can find them in the oasis. If you make a juice with those things, mm-mm. 
Oh, hang on, almost for gore. Can you do me a favor? Please deliver this letter to a boo called Frankie. He lives in a mansion way out on the far edge of Forever Forest. Maybe tough to find him. Thanks. Well, we can't do that yet, can we? So, we, we're good for now. Holy shit. What if his name was Frankly, and he was a Goomba? Shit. We'll get there soon. We sure will. I think that's where we gotta go next. Hallelujah. The guy who died running to Athens. Yeah. Deliver my shit for me. Do me a favor. And fuck off. At your service. Yeah. Great. We did it. Create suspend point. I needed to make sure to read very carefully. I wasn't hitting load, so that we'd have to do all that again. Nice. Hey, Ru, thanks for 50 months. A clean fitty. Jimmy, thanks again for the raid and Sweet Fang. And with the 14 months from Sweet Fang. Smash Man with 96 bits. Just remember I had this emote. Could use the one we met, Wacka. Alicia, thanks for 50 bits. Could you please deliver these bits to the Glitz Pit? I'd maybe appreciate it. Yeah, I'm on it. Let's grab my GameCube. One last meme. Oh, God. Greg, thanks for the 69 bits. Appreciate it. Thank you. Where did I... Oh, my God. Oh, my... Oh, my... Oh, my... Okay. Well, I... Um... This was by MD Major. If you missed this earlier, I don't think context will help. Um... So that's fun. Purple soft drink. Did this. Uh, Hero of Time. Did this. Yeah, gotta zoom that out. Good. Uh, Mystery Who. Very good. I got a blaster on my arm pointed at Ridley. The Quailin. Thank you for this. Shit. All I'm missing is a fucking flare. Uh, Hero of Time went there and everywhere. DNL Kuro has me pointing at, at Mario. There he is. Super Mariano. There it is. Um, De Quailin? Uh, Hero of Time turned me into Bohemian Rhapsody. Dino Kiro put me inside of the orb. Moan Decay. Sweet Jesus, Poo, that's not honey. You're eating Bar Point. Tree. Tree, Tigger. Tree. That's f fucking excellent. Um. Uh, soup. I'm pointing at the orb now instead of being in the orb, and Oh no, the dinosaurs! Look out! I skipped by the last one by and Can we go back? No. Um, Dino Kiro, the final evolution. Now I am the wizard looking at the orb. This is good. Here of time. I point. Um, God damn it. This fucking shit here. This shit right here. Thanks, Vix. Uh, I think we're caught up. God damn it. Great. Great. Googly moogly. It's a lot of points. Chill in the bath. You got it. I'm on it. Um. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just, I, we'll just, I'm saving again. I don't know why. There we go. Did it. And we're done. Hey, I'll be back to this on Thursday. Most like. And, um, I hope you all have a good one. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Hope you're all doing well. Hey, speaking of bath, they're streaming Faz. Mophobia. I don't get to raid bath ever. So let's do that. What's a good raid message? For Bath. Yeah, Bath. Well, Bath's done with school, so they have a bit of time to stream now. Let's make sure you throw Bath a follow. They're, they're my fiance. You could do that. 
blooper chain mail. The, uh, the, the postman's job is never done. Call me fish mail. I hate that. I hate that. I don't like that. A postman's job is never done. There you go. Uh, thanks, everyone. Be well. Take care. I gotta go lie down. Um. See you later. Remember the prologue that I skipped over because I thought they'd do it in game? Like once I started the game? Yeah, it's fine. Oh no! Brah. You mustn't do that! Yeah. Have a normal one. Remember all that food crimes from earlier? I already forgot about those. That feels like a lifetime ago. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> go watch some bath, and then maybe go watch some GDQ. See you later. Have a, goodbye. Have a good. Get out of here. Get out of here, dang kids. Hey, VOD watches. You gotta get out of here too, capiche? Hope you're doing well, and you join the Pep and Mache. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next... Whatever. Goodbye. Wait. Wait. There it is. Next time. The Invincible Tubba Blubba. Alright, bye.